Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street on this lovely Saturday morning. A little bit frosty this morning. I can't believe it was like one and a half degrees this morning, but oh wow, beautiful sunrise. So I hope you've got a lovely weekend planned, um, but are going to stay with me this morning on Sewing Street because we've got some great things. We have got brand new fabrics, brand new fabric bundles. We've got extra wide backing, which normally can be a bit plain, but you are going to love this. That's coming up in this hour. And we've got um, Amanda Little in as our guest. Look at this quilt, look at this. Look at that. If you're thinking, I want to make my first patchwork quilt ever, this is the one for you. Or if you're thinking, I've never made a log cabin. I mean, isn't that beautiful? We have got kits that, in fact, Amanda's got two quilts with, the, with her today. Um, and back in stock, Amanda's makeup bag. When she brought this on air before, well, it's the kit, you don't get to buy that, you have to make the bag. Full kit to make this. Um, when she had it on air before, completely sold out, but we have it back in stock today. Look how clever this is. Just gonna give you a little, look, look at that. Opens up, it's all on pre-order. Just the instructions for it, use your own fabrics, brilliant stash buster, great for presents. Look at that, just some of the treats today. So just wanted to let you know about that. That's back in stock because we had sold out. Um, shall we start with the early bird this morning? Um, something happened with the early bird this morning. Half of the early bird is still in bed because it's so early. So this won't happen to you. Now there were two fabrics in the early bird together as one bundle, but I think they maybe they were on a let's go home early because it's Friday. So we only got, so we're not going to do it. We only got sent one part of it, not the other part. But we've got a picture. It's all good. Um, but because, oh, so because of that little mistake, um, we've been given some of the extra wide backings that were supposed to be. No, no, I'm not looking carefully. Because of that little mistake, we've been allowed to have, look at these extra wide backings that are supposed to be in for later in the week. So that's our little bonus because we were sent the wrong fabric. Soon as we've done the menu, brand new, gorgeous extra wide backings. I will show you those in a minute. So, so lucky. So I am quite glad the early bird was wrong or we would have got those and I've got my eye on them because I've just made a quilt and I'm looking for some extra wide backing and I think my name is on one of those. But aren't we lucky? And they're the special ones, special ones, because we were so cross about this. But don't worry, you will get both pieces in yours. It was just the warehouse, well, obviously, weren't concentrated. So look, this is, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's a little panel. Well, it's not that little. Panel, panel with the fawn and you get half a meter of the miniature fawn print fabric to go with it. So the bundle, the um, panel is, how big is the panel? Shall I get a tape measure? It is like a cushion, oh, hang on a minute. I've got to find the tape measure. I'll be back, I'll be back, I'm back. So the panel itself with the fawn on measures 18 inches square. Perfect for a cushion front, or you could use it for the centre of a quilt. Brilliant for a um, centre of a table runner, because with it you get half a metre of the same fabric with this linen effect background, but it's got miniature forms printed all over it, and you get half a metre of that. So, there you go, that's what it looks like. 
80% cotton, 20% polyester, which gives it a lovely drape. It's thicker than your normal cotton. It's more of a linen weight. So really lovely cushion, bag, centre of a quilt, table runner, as I say, be quite nice, wouldn't it? So pretty, so pretty. Um, and then the, yeah, the fabric that we haven't got here, the fact that we don't speak of, and that is, you get half a metre of it, but it's 140 centimetres wide. 140, so the same form, but small, so it's absolutely perfect to complement it. But at 140 centimetres, that's really wide, isn't it? So annoying that we didn't get it sent up, but you will get it in your bundle. You'll get that half metre with the 18 inch square fawn. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like um, a watercolour print. It's got all the grass in the background and this beautiful little, so realistic, isn't it? And it looks like, well, it is a watercolour paint, painting printed on this gorgeous fabric. It's got a really nice drape to it as well. Um, so normally, the price would be eight ninety eight for these two, which I think is a really good price for half a metre fabric, considering it's 140 centimetres wide. And the 18 inch square, eight ninety eight. that would be your normal price. You know, so if you, even if you're like, you've got this in your present drawer, because I always have a few things around when I think, oh, yeah, I need to make something for somebody, or let's have some, I need a few things around. At, even at 8 .98, for half a metre of, well, it's wide, isn't it? Dressmaking width, really. Um, and the bundle, and the panel, 8 .98. So what are we going to drop it today to, Hannah? So um, Hayley's told us that we can go to 5 98 Wow! Five ninety-eight for an eighteen-inch square and half a meter of wide fabric as well, one hundred and forty centimeter width. But Hannah is obviously on one today, and be, uh, is going lower be, as a special compensation that we can't show you the other one. I know. Lots of you who are regular viewers to Sewing Street might have seen this before, so you know what it looks like. But for you new customers that haven't seen the extra piece, as a special bonus, a little extra temptation for you, we are dropping the price to four ninety eight. Four ninety eight for an eighteen inch square with this beautiful watercolour of a deer and a half a metre of the matching fabric with a miniature version of the deer. And that's 140 centimetres wide, 4.98. Wow. Now, if we've got any left of these bundle, which I doubt very much, that price will go back up to 8.98 at midnight. But get it in your basket, get it checked out. Because you're saving four pounds there. That is more than the PMP, which is 3.95. So that's an amazing value. What a fab early bird. I'm gonna have a word with the warehouse and ask them not to send up everything again. Because we've got the photo. Because if you were going to buy the half metre fabric, it's five ninety nine for half a metre. So you're getting the half a metre, the panel for free and an extra pound. Can't do better than that. Can't do better than that, can we? I think that's beautiful. I tell you what, it would, it would, um, it would look lovely with a bit of quilting as well. Put this bit of um, H640 fusible wadding on the back, quilt round the edges of it. You could um, use some green thread, would look lovely if you just sewed, you know, just straight stitch along the grass and round the edges of it. You could actually do some of the grass overlapping the deer then to give it a real 3D appearance. So 498, what an amazing early bird. The, the panel, loads of you have got this in your basket remember you are saving four pounds which is more than the postage and packing and what a lovely thing and because it's that kind of natural look that's where all the interiors are going at the moment everything is very neutral and natural and a lot of these animal prints if you look in some of the main shops you know if you look on the john lewis or the mns or the dunelm websites you'll see these animal print cushions everywhere at the moment but do do personalize it i really would suggest get even if you don't quilt it get some green thread and just work straight lines of straight stitches you know echoing the lines of the grass and I think that would look fantastic. So it's very low in stock. Very low in stock. Okay. So it's very, very low in stock. So if you want it, you do need to check out. Now, remember, as our little bonus, we've got the special extra wide backings. Now, traditionally, oh, sorry. Sorry, 
I folded it up. I was ready to move on. I'm on to the extra wide backings. Sorry, there are still people who are checking out on this. I, I was just excited about the next thing. Please do check out. What I wanted to say is there are lots and lots of you who've got this in baskets. If you don't check out, then anyone else who comes in, because we will be playing this all day while we've got it in stock, it will go. There are loads of you interested in this. We had hundreds and hundreds of these and over half the stock has gone. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I love the watercolour effect. And I would say, you know, if you've never tried hand embroidery before, you know, even just doing little backstitch lines for the eyelashes would look lovely, wouldn't it? It would really give it some depth. It's a really safe way of you trying out a bit of machine embroidery. And if you don't want to do free motion, a bit scared, you don't need to. You can just do lines of stitches, but highlight the sort of the darker areas on it will really make it stand out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And remember, you know, this is really good. If you think about um, the fabric, because it's like this linen polyester, it means it's got a nice drape. It presses well and it washes well. So the half a metre fabric would be really good for making napkins to go with it. Right, we only have 20 of these bundles remaining when you've checked out. Only 20. It's only 4.98. Now, where you, I mean, when you think that half a metre fabric is normally five ninety nine, and we're selling that with the panel for four ninety eight this morning, it's so pretty, isn't it? I mean, it would look lovely in a bedroom, guest room, look nice in the on the corner of the kitchen. But you could make it into a picture, give it a nice press. And what I would do is, I mean, you can buy, you can get them framed. But what I tend to do is go to one of the sort of cheaper discount stores and buy those artist canvases. And they're white and they're stretched around a piece of wood. They're only like sort of, they're only like, well, you can get them in the pound shop. But even in the discount stores, you can get them for about three or four pounds. If you buy an 18 or, or maybe a six, I, yeah, because it's 18. I'd get like a 16 inch square or a 14 if you cut off part of it. And all you have to do then is stretch it round the edge and staple it on the back. Or you can use tape, hang it up. And then what's lovely is that the fabric then sort of stretches round the edge and you've got a beautiful piece of art and you've got the half a metre fabric left over. Make yourself a tote bag. With 140 centimetres wide, that's quite easy to make into a tote bag. Now, there are more of you who've got this in baskets than we have got available. So I would get it checked out if I was you. Um, but normally, we, we know for you who are regular viewers, we go to our menu, we go to how to get in touch, but we're not. But because we've got these specials that we were being allowed to have, they've been sat in the office, I think they were saved for somebody else, but we've managed to squirrel them downstairs got them mm, I know there was almost, almost fights in the office because um Vix wanted them Vix wanted them and Hannah said no we're having them we're having them so there was almost fights in the office I'm glad I wasn't here really but we've got them today and I'm really pleased because I have just finished my log cabin quilt actually and I need um I need some extra wide backing and I was going to get some just plain so I'm quite excited about this Look at these. Now, you know extra wide backings are normally as all over print or quite plain or um, very simple colour. No, no, plain colours, quite neutral colours, that's the word. Neutral is the word I'm looking for. Quite neutral colours, but these are amazing. Now, before I open them up and show you, extra wide backing is quilting weight cotton, absolutely normal, but it's extra wide. It's not just double the width, it's two and a half. So normal fabric width is 44 inches this is 110 so that is two and a half times we worked it out so if you have a think about um what it would normally be so this is de this is designer fabric which would normally be say 6.99 7.99 for half a meter so if we're talking double that's 15 what's two and a half times seven forty about 17.50 about that yeah yeah so it would it would range between depending on the cost of the fabric I would range between 16 and 20 pounds for two and a half times if you were going to buy it so a you are saving on price big time 
but B, it means that if you're back in a quilt, you don't have to join fabric. And that seam means you don't need to pattern match. That seam also means it's, you don't have to worry so much about getting that seam actually straight. And also you're losing bulk. I was talking to Amanda Little, who's coming on in a bit in the next hour to demonstrate this beautiful quilt behind me. And she runs her own um, long arm quilting business. And she was saying that when she gets given X, when people send her quilts, and they give her extra wide backing. She's so pleased about it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice to quilt with. But if you're not a quilter, then this is brilliant because, because it's so wide, there's lots of these selling in pre-order. Um, I'm going to start with the Christmas one. Now, remember, this is not just about quilting. This is about tablecloths because it's so wide. It's about sheet duvet covers you can make a king size duvet cover with this because it's so wide dressmaking is brilliant because it's quilting weight cotton fantastic value for money maybe you've got a stall that you make at charity maybe you've got school fates coming up and you make tote bags cushions small cosmetic purses big bags the quality is the same um, maybe you don't want to do patchwork you just want to do a whole cloth quilt which basically means one piece of fabric this is ideal or if you're doing sashing bindings and borders and you know I've, the quilt i've just made i had to join three pieces to get all the borders together don't have to do that with this so that's the advantage of it let's look at the prints i'm going to start with the christmas one i know it's not christmas but we like to get ahead now look at this so it's beautiful it's all featuring like um christmas tree pine leaves and holly berries all together I've never seen holly berries and pine leaves but how Christmassy is that so um Hannah, Hannah my glamorous assistant is um going to come and hold the other end one half meter. Why am I speaking? yes could <laughs> you yes Hannah's going to now tell us all about it <laughs> could you um, say hello to the viewers Hannah I'm going to drag in morning Hannah look that's Hannah the glamorous assistant <laughs> She's like Andrea Redfern. She's too young to know who she is, but hopefully some of you will. So like, who's Andrea Redfern? Bruce Forsyth, glamorous assistant, and then he ended up marrying her. Does that mean you get married? Yeah. Look at that. So I'm on one side of the set, Hannah's on the other side, and it's still going. So, you know, Christmas duvet cover. Tote bags. How many tote Red bags? Hands. You could make a lot of tote bags. Uh, wrap your presents. Yeah. Gift bags. Make to sell if you've got a store. Yes, brilliant. Napkins, tablecloths, yeah. a table runner. You only need half a metre for a table runner. I oh, know. I'm thinking Christmas tablecloth and it's nice quality, isn't it? It's lovely. It's quite, it's quite thick, isn't it? I love them. It's very soft. No one can hear me, but I love them. Yeah, Hannah loves them. <laughs> Hannah loves them. I'm going to go because I've got to check how much Oh, yeah, she, she's got to go now because she has to press all the buttons. We'll have no button pressing going on if she st stands here all day. Thank you, Glamorous Assistant. Um, all of you who know Andrea Redfern, she has no idea who I'm talking about. Quarter of the stock of this has already gone. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Hey, how about Christmas dress? Mmm. And lay your, lay your pattern out, work out you won't need anything like as much fabric as you normally need because it's beautiful for dressmaking. But measure your table, it's 108, is it 108 or 110 this one? 110 wide, 280 centimetres. Anthea, Jan, sorry. Yes, Jan Hill said, wasn't it, Anthea? You're absolutely right. And didn't Anthea Redfern marry Bruce For Forsyth after she was his gla glamour system? Yes, yeah, so now um, Hannah and I will have to get married because she's my glamour system. Mind you, that happened with Paul, um, what's his name? Um, Debbie McGee, the um, magician. What's his name? Paul, um, oh, yes, that's what happened. Come on, what's, his name? what's the magician, Paul? Please messaging because it's you know you all know who exactly who I'm talking about and they ended up getting married. But look at the detail, it's beautiful. It's I mean it's nice. This is Wyndham Fabrics as well. So you if you you know the Wyndham fabric label, it's designer fabric. So I just want to do I know it's not Christmas yet, but also think about if you're gonna wrap your Christmas presents, wrap them in fabric. Make drawstring bags now for all of your Christmas. Paul Daniels, thank you very much. Debbie McGee, they ended up getting married, didn't they? No, nothing to do with extra white backing. But relevant, over half of the stock of this one has got relevant to my glamorous assistant. 
Do you remember that? I'm just. Do you remember? Do you remember that interview with Mrs. Merton and Debbie McGee? This is one of the funniest things I ever saw. And she said, "So Debbie McGee, what first attracted you to millionaire Paul Daniels?" <laughs> Which is really still tickles me. Still tickles me. That does. Um, can I choose what we do next? Stained glass. Now, look at the stained glass. I'm thinking, so if you want to make a quilt and you don't want anyone to know that you haven't pieced it together, look at this. Look at that Gaudi Barcelona. Bar if you're going to a little Barcelona mini break, make yourself a dress. Actually, I'm going to Spain in a couple of weeks. What do you think? I am. Do you think that'd be nice for a little dress? I know, I'm going to Spain on the train. Um, Spain on the train, I am. Um, that'd be nice for my little Spanish holiday trip, wouldn't it? But if you were going to make a quilt from this, don't even need to piece it. Buy yourself two metres, got a nice two metre quilt. You could just then, in black, just stitch around all the lines, or just some of them, but isn't that gorgeous? But look at the detail, what a lovely... So, if we were going to make a 16 inch cushion, we need 17. So Hannah, what's 108 divided by 17? Yeah, can you use your calculator? I mean, she's brilliant at maths, but I just wanted to do it quite quickly. <laughs> 17, because you need 17 inch square for a 16 inch cushion. It's coming. 6.35, so you can make six cushion fronts, or if you use it front and back, three whole cushions at 11.99. That's fantastic, I mean, this is beautiful, isn't it? If you've got quite a neutral color scheme, how pretty that would look. Cushions. Summer in the garden. Make them slightly waterproof, put a bit of eau de coat on top. That'd be brilliant for that, wouldn't it? So just remember, this is not just quilt backing. Half of the stock of this is just gone. 11 99 for six cushions. Obviously, you need plain fabric for the back. But that's fantastic, isn't it? But also, think about your FPP or your EPP, and you want lots and lots of different colours. Look at all these different colour prints in here. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Look at all the colours you've got. Turquoises and pinks and mustards and citrine. Um, lots and lots of you have got this basket in your basket checking out because this is the first time we've ever had this on air. Brand new. I cannot believe the price. Problem is, I can't actually decide now which one to have. Absolutely good. Sorry, the early bird has sold out. Quick stock update. Not surprised, though. Absolutely gorgeous. Not $4.99. We haven't even done the menu yet. Do you think we'll get in trouble? No. Nah, be fine. But these are lovely. Let me give it a little swish for you. It's got a nice drape to it, a really nice, because I was chatting. Um, yeah, why is it? Yeah, because normally when I was looking at the extra wides, you get them at like $8.99, $12.99 or $13.99. Oh, sorry, the $8.99 ones apparently was a mistake by Hannah. And, and we had to keep them going, but they shouldn't have been that. But these are normally, because I said this morning, oh, these are the twelve ninety nine ones. But these are lovely. They're supposed to be twelve ninety nine all of these back ins, and, I, and this wasn't even Hannah's mistake. But let's just go with it. It says eleven ninety nine on the screen. That's the price it is. But it is a nice drape to it as well, so it would look lovely. I'm thinking, um, well, it'd be lovely as a summer dress all in one. But just even you know a nice A line skirt, maxi dress. Well, no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking dressmaking, but also fates. And tablecloth. This is your picnic, this is your summer outdoor table, isn't it? Or you could make a lovely picnic quilt. You could just use this on the front and the back. Be beautiful, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what it would be nice for is binding as well. I love scrappy binding. So if you cut this into strips to bind your quilt, you'd, it would be like scrappy binding. you get all of those colours. That would be nice. Now, remember that this is multi-buyable. That is a word, multi-buyable. So if you want more than half a metre, if you're new to us, if you're not, I'm sorry, I have to repeat this, but um, it's important that if you wanted two and a half metres of this, put five units in your basket, it will be sent as a whole cut piece of two and a half metres. It won't be sent as five individual half metres. So if you are thinking, I want to make a tablecloth for my outdoor table, measure it, it will be sent as a whole cut piece, don't worry. 
so if you want to make a two and a half meter square because this is two tw is it two twenty it said on it said no it says on the on the square when the next 280 so if you want to do a three meter square then put six units in your basket the blue circles look at this completely different so these are like circles let's have a really close look at this one quarter of the stock of this oh look it's like that beautiful indigo let me have a look on the overhead because if we look at the rings themselves we've got some of the rings are plain but look at others of them we've got um, a floral print are we on the overhead there we go um, so we've got like a pale like a china blue floral print yeah it, it looks like it'll work with kind of traditional modas, but the sort of Japanese quilting with all of these circles. But these have got floral prints. These have got like mottled prints, beautiful for bag lining. But not just like, don't even, even like, maybe like a weekend hold all. You could use it for the lining. You could use it for the outside. Gorgeous. But you could do, um, you know, if you, if you want to do hand quilting or just running stitch in red around it, it'd be gorgeous. You could echo all the shapes with it. It'd be beautiful. Again, dressmaking. This is just a beautiful summer dress, isn't it? It's just a really good way. Or even if you want to like line a jacket or something and you want something interesting, nice pyjama bottoms. In fact, you could make the whole family's pyjama bottoms with this. But, you know, remember, uh, think... Oh, my glamour um, Anthony Redfern's coming back. <laughs> To hold the X to hold it because I want you to be able to see. Well, Anthe, come on in, please. Oh, she's got bunny ears on now. Only you can see them. Oh, <laughs> Hannah has. No, no. Funny enough, everyone can look. <laughs> is it Easter? It is. It is. <laughs> I swear that was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. No, no, it's Easter. It's Easter. Look at that. So, because it does look different when you see it in its beauty. Remember, that's only half a metre dungarees oh yes they would look fab wouldn't they you got a nice festival coming up festival dungarees i'm going to glastonbury did i tell you i'm going to glastonbury now wouldn't i look nice in festival dungarees i'm crocheting some trousers at the moment <laughs> i haven't quite worked out how to do it just making squares <laughs> I'm not absolutely sure how I'm going to... I'm just crocheting squares and I'm going to think about it later. Isn't that gorgeous? It, it is. I've got to go... I am thinking... I mean, I'm thinking bed linen. Make yourself a duvet cover with this. In fact, you'd have enough to make your duvet cover and your pillowcases because it is so wide. Measure it all... Measure it all up and then work out what you need. But you need to be quick because over the half of the stock of this has gone... And we've only had it on air for like three minutes so do have a think about it it's gorgeous but it is very it has that real japanese filter what i love about this circular print as well is that i'm not brilliant at getting my quilt back in absolutely straight with my quilt front but when you've got this circular print it doesn't really matter so much beautiful though isn't it absolutely love that very, very deep. It's a beautiful, really strong, deep navy in the background. And then you've got all shades of blue from, you know, light, very pale blue to that sky blue. You've, there's even a check in here as well. Got a little bit of gingham going on that circle. Gorgeous. 11.99 half metre. Which one should I do next, Hannah? Please, please keep checking out on that one. Very, very busy. And I really don't want you to miss out because it's gorgeous. The Swiggly Rainbow. Is that the name of it? Now, this one is back in stock. It, it was on and gone. That is a technical term. On and gone. A few weeks ago. And we've got it back in stock. We don't have as much of this as we do of the other ones. The other ones we've got hundreds of units of. Right. We've got 30 metres of that. And that's all we can get at the moment so we've got 30 meters of this in stock it is gorgeous because it's your swirly rainbow but it's got that slightly textured appearance to it what it's got is is 
there's a no, look, you won't know it's exactly the same. It's your quilting weight cotton. Hannah was saying it looks like cotton canvas, but it isn't. But if you look at the actual swirls, where you've got one colour, you've then got a few shades of that, darker shades of that colour printed on top. So it gives it that real sort of textured, almost canvas look. But it isn't, it's just quilting weight cotton. But again, brilliant for quilt backings because if you're slightly off, it's not completely straight, doesn't matter. Dressmaking. That, yeah, that's, no. Yeah. We've got festival vibes on this one. A lovely, all right, Charlie wants to come to Glastonbury. Yes, you can come, you have to share my tent. I've only got one. Oh. <laughs> I've only got one tent. But it has got a porch. <laughs> and it's a blow up tent. Interesting. We'll talk about blow up tents later. Yeah, look at that. You're not even at the end. I'm not even at the not end. At the end. That's why we're doing Look at that. Look at that. We're going all the way. Lovely for like pajama bottoms, lounge pants, palazzo pants. Very... And you're thinking quilt backing. Well, because it looks so. Different. I'm thinking maxi dress. When you hold it out, though, I'm really thinking it looks so different. Now, I'm big. It does. No one can really hear me, but you know, like when you've they got can. quilts and you want to hear, see both. both yes. Lovely. Yes. Well, particularly if you've got it and you've got it on the um, on the sofa, or you're using it as a picnic quilt, and you want to see both sides of it. Certain quilts I'd have as wall hangings. Yeah, some are wall hangings. But, I want quilts that I can use. but this is cheaper than buying normal fabric. More affordable. More affordable. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to say that word. <laughs> More affordable. Why can't cheaper? It's meant to sound cheap, oh no it's not cheap it's more affordable it's gorgeous isn't it i love that one if you get that one tell me what you're going to do with it okay. yeah message in i want to know what you're going to make with that but it would make a lovely bag as well wouldn't it but if you're thinking you know get a head particularly for school fates and things um cushions and Cushions and tote bags for store. I can imagine on the, in the school fate on your store and you've got all tote bags made for this. All those drawstring pee bags. Kids would love them, wouldn't they? Now, over the half of the stock. Right, less than 15 metres left of that. So please be quick. Loads of you have got these. Um, it's called Terrain Wave. Mm. We have got it in a monochrome alternative as well. We have it in this. Do we have much of this left, Hannah? No, not much of this one left. So if you're thinking monochrome, look at that. Love the monochrome. Actually, you do you know what? If you want to make a quilt and you can't be bothered to do the patchwork, get the ray, can't be bothered. No, or just don't have the time at the moment. Wouldn't that look nice on the front and that on the back? Quilt along the lines would look amazing, wouldn't it? Again, brilliant for binding. Even if you just get half a metre, when you cut it for binding, we can do a quick demo, just so you can see. Right, and then we'll put the black one there. So say you were cutting it for binding, cut yourself two and a half inch strips, fold that over, look at that. It looks like you've joined together loads of fabric. More, which one? The black one so there are more people who've got the black and white one in baskets than we have available so say if you've got quite a plain you know white or cream sashing that would be brilliant this one is sold out now sold out no black and white mess addresses right we're saving our favorite till last and it is time for the favorite look at this one i love this i've never seen quilt backing like that half of the stock went on pre-order it's tumbling blocks no need to make them yourself just quilt round them gorgeous but you know you could choose where you put the quilt in to see how depending on what you wanted the block if you look at it really carefully if i lay it down you can make different squares in different angles depending on how you look at it so where is my hands there they are there they are there so if you look like this is a square there's the top and there's the sides but let's go in and there's the square and there's the inner parts so depending on how you look at it and how you quilt it is what you make it look like it's gorgeous you could put a free 
so what you could do is you could do free motion, but you could do like um, hor vertical lines on some. You could line across there. If you were just doing a cushion, obviously, maybe a whole big, big quilt, you might want to do that much detail, but for a cushion, you would. Again, what a gorgeous um, outdoor tablecloth. Because honestly, it looks like you've patchworked it yourself. It's beautiful. We've got all the colours of the rainbow here. We've got blues, greens, red, pink, orange, yellows, purples. It's fun. It's bright. It's quilting weight cotton. So it drapes really nicely. Again, it's two and a half times the width of normal fabric, but less than half the price of so if you think this would normally be, say, $6.99 for half a metre, this is $11.99 for two and a half times. I mean, it's just fantastic. Look at this. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? It's really beautiful. I mean, look how look at it. Tell me what you're going to make with it. I mean, I honestly think, like, well, that, that one would be good for kids' bedding, wouldn't it? It's lovely. But you could even piece with yeah you could piece with it so say you wanted to use all the colors i mean that's the good thing so say if you bought some of this and you were going to use it for something keep the bits left over or use it if you if you do fpp or epp and you want lots of plain colors but small quantities of look at all the different shades so even in green we've got one two three four different greens one two three four five different blues yellow We've got three oranges, a dark red, a bright red, two purples. So there's so many different colours in this. So there's so many uses for it, isn't it? And only eleven ninety nine. Gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. And remember, it's extra wide as well. So measure up what it is you want to do. Work it out. Remember, it's 108 inches wide. And um, so my fave, my my favourite, oh no, not my, <laughs> Anna says, which one's your favourite? I'm thinking, oh, I don't know, actually, no, which one is your favourite? Tell me, which one's your favourite, which one are you going to buy? Hannah says that one is her favourite, and that's my favourite, I love that, gorgeous. Message for me, hi Rebecca, oh, let me read that one, I've just got the Terrain Wave Mono to back my Janet Clare quilt. Kit I bought two weeks ago, just perfect. Yeah, that is absolutely perfect. I think it's really worth it, isn't it? Even if you've got a quilt in mind and you haven't started making it, get the backing now and then it's all ready to go, isn't it? Because that's the worst thing. You know, that's when you end up having a lot of quilts left around because you haven't got the back in or you don't want a piece or you know that that's going to net another expense. But at this price, if you've bought a quilt kit or you've got one in mind, get the backing now. But I think you're right. I think that um, the black and white one is absolutely gorgeous for the back of that. It just gives it, I think it just, it's like lining a pocket, isn't it? When you put something a little bit special. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. But when you buy, but it is when you go to boutiques, high class shops and stuff. It's that, it's that attention to detail that sets things off. So when you go to a, an, ex, an expensive shop and you buy a cardigan, in a normal shop it's just a cardigan. If you go to a really posh shop, they've bound the edge in a nice sort of liberty binding. And when you make things yourself, you can do that. So you can do things like you make a dress, you put the facing in something really fancy that only you see, but it gives it that finish, doesn't it? So. Oh, I've got my dump tumbling box on pre-order um, from Angela. Yep, not it's very gorgeous. Mary says, I need them all. Yeah, I do as well. I need them all. So in most quilts, to be honest, you need two and a half metres of. Most of them in length. But work out what your quilt size is because you might need that much. Uh, message from Susan is coming. Morning, Rebecca. Can you please hold up the mosaic? I can. Of course. I will do. I will do the menu at some point because it is twenty-two. Yes, I love this one. I'm gonna hold. I'll hold it up as far as my arms will go. Brand new today. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's Barcelona Gaudi, isn't it? Yeah, it's not actually called that, but that's what they should have called it. Look at that. Now you can see it in its all its glory. 
It's all, um, each of the little shapes, can't they, they haven't even got names, all of the little shapes are like mosaic filled as well. So they've, there's little, like little chips of mosaic colour. <laughs> um, Hannah said, has anyone been to the man who mosaic his house in Philadelphia? Because Hannah's been there, so... And no one has ever answered. Maybe you're the only person, Hannah, who ever went there. If anyone's gone there, can they message in? Hannah would like to know. It's gorgeous, isn't it, though? But that's why I think that would make a fantastic outdoor tablecloth, wouldn't it? Because it, it would give you that lovely, hot, summer mosaic vibe. So I hope that helps. If you want me to show any others, I will. But we really ought to do the menu so we know what's actually you've got coming up today because we've got a lot it's a bit intense we've got a lot coming up today so now at eight o'clock we've got the um not to be lewis and i'm in top picks which will we do so we're going to do we've got um hannah's top picks from the lewis and i in fabrics and the not to be missed extra wide fabrics we've done those already any will you want to see again i will keep you updated all day with stock updates on that because um it is very a lot of them are quite low the black and white has sold out and the others are getting lower so I will keep you updated quickly go and measure what you need to measure and then get it in your basket and check out um, that was eight o'clock we will be finishing the Lewis Nine in, in a minute at nine o'clock Amanda Little's on which is fab I love Amanda I used to work with her at Sewing Quarter um, we used to have a lot of fun together she is a patchwork maths genius and she has designed two quilts for us today. The first one is the log cabin quilt that's coming at nine o'clock. Now, this is the one. You've, you've heard of log cabin. I love this one because log cabin is a technique and you make blocks. And then depending on how you arrange the blocks, there are different names for patterns. This pattern is called barn raising. But Amanda has done it off centre, which I think gives it a really unusual look. And we've got complete kits to make this with Amanda's fantastic instructions using mode of fabrics the the fabrics are slightly different prints to this one but the same color it's the same color palette and we'll show you them when she's on air um please do if you want to get ahead with that that is available on pre-order please get it in your basket um amanda is going to show you how to do it from the complete beginner aspect because i think the log cabin quilt is brilliant for those people who say i've always wanted to make a quilt don't really know what to start and I'm a bit scared to. This is ideal and she's going to go through it from a complete beginner's point of view. Also, you know, if you're an experienced quilter, you know what you're doing. It's really good to hear an expert's tips and it will be really quick make for you. So Amanda will be on at nine o'clock with that. Um, at 10 o'clock, it's all about the quilting tools because we'll be needing the quilting tools. And I'm going to be talking about FPP. Hannah said to me this morning, um, can you demo the FPP? I went, well, I haven't prepared anything, so we'll just have to do it on air. So again i'll start you from the beginning i've got a few fpp um products as well as books and i'll show you how you get started with fpp and the basics behind it that's at 10 o'clock um, at 11 o'clock amanda will be back with another brand new quilt the nosegay quilt here it is we have got this available in three colorways it's in jason yenta fabrics this is one of the colorways the pink and the green there was a blue and a citrine one and a purple and a blue as well obviously i'll be showing you all the fabrics later um that's at 11 o'clock also remember the easy reach makeup pattern bag is back in stock as well as um two of amanda's other quilt designs so if you've made her quilts, you love her designs they are very easy to understand she's a real quilting expert she runs a very long arm quilting business she must be um and you will really enjoy that save your questions up if you've got any burning quilting questions or patchwork that you want to ask an expert save them message us in and we will ask them and she'll she'll answer you on air um, at 12 o'clock to finish off the day we've got jason yenta fabrics over the last six months we've had quite a lot of different fabrics from jason yenta they are so popular and you so love them we have got a little bit of a few things left but this is really last in stock end of line so that we can buy some more so last opportunity buy now or miss out that's at 12 o'clock it's all about the jason yenta fabric so what a great day we've got a lovely day full of sewing and loveliness so should we do we'll do the website in a minute i haven't got, I haven't got time for the web we haven't got the time so if you want to shop online go onto the website we'll go into that more detail but these are some half meters of lewis and irene fabrics again 
um, items where we have shown them before. Well, actually, there's one that's never been on air. But what we love about Lewis and Irene is they, well, they're, they're a Brit British company, absolutely gorgeous, designer fabric, but a really good price, $6.99 for half a metre, and they are gorgeous. Now, we just, we just picked, well, Hannah, Hannah picked these out. They're called Hannah's Favourites. Hannah Favourites, Lewis and Irene Fabrics. This one, very topical with the Jubilee. It's charcoal. Let me put my extra wide out of the way a moment. Um, charcoal, but with the London bus and the soldiers and the flags and the beef eaters all in red. Um, that's just half of it. So it's a border print fabric. So what you get, let me just put it over the desk, is you get the border on this end, you get the birds in the sky, goes up to the grey sky there, and then it repeats at the other end. So absolutely perfect for making things like bags where you want that running across the bottom. A lot of people use them in dressmaking, particularly for children dressing along the bottom of a skirt. They look lovely even in things um, like a cushion, because it's a really unusual thing. If you think like a cushion, if you cut this, you'd get two cushions out of half a metre and you cut it across the top. You've then got the sky leading down. And look at the detail on this. We've got um, William walking the corgis with Kate and the three children with George, Charlotte and Louis. Love that. Well, it might not be them, but I, I think that is them, isn't it? It is really, isn't it? Oh, on... Right, so there are lots of patterns on um, Pinterest using bo border prints to create this, what you see, what you can do with it. <gasps> Look at that. You could use this border print. I love that. So there's low, that's a really nice one, isn't it? So you could use those border prints. Like I say, you can use it very simply to make a cushion, but there are lots of things. Have a look on Pinterest under border prints. And you can, to give you, if you love this and you want to know what to do with it, that you can use these. But also, I, a lot of people I've seen have used these for um, fussy cutting and used them in their own patchwork because they want the individual elements. So if you want Big Ben or um, Buckingham Palace or you want a row of soldiers or the, or the carriage, it's all on here. Or you just want the London bus. But six ninety nine for half a metre. If you buy more than a half a metre, it will come as a whole piece. So if you want a longer border print, if you're thinking, actually, I would like, again, I'm thinking church fates, summer fates. If you've got your own little stitch in business, you could have, have a load of cushions or tote bags on your stall. That's about to sell out, by the way. Very limited on that. If you want that one, you need to get that one in your basket. The ones with the peacocks. I've got... I've got nothing with peacocks on. <laughs> oh, sorry, it, I have got it. It was on the other side of the desk. Right, peacocks. Oh, I like this. is very William Morris-esque, isn't it? Oh, have you got this? There's two colourways of this. Oh, I've got the darker one. Um, if you look at this, this has got metallics in it. They do them really well. The peacock feathers are all formed of a copper metallic. It won't come off. You press it, you can wash it. It's in the fabric. It will stay there. It's a very slight shimmer. Isn't it gorgeous? But the, the style of the print, the, the scale and the swirls, does look very William Morris, doesn't it? Or maybe it's the colours on the leaves. Gorgeous. So you've got this lovely repeating print of the pairs of, the pairs of peacocks. Come there. Um, it... It isn't like, if you've not worked with metallic fabric before, it's not like stiff metallic. It's just printed lightly on top. So it just gives your fabric that slight shimmer without any stiffness. And it's totally washable. It won't come off. But it's really, I mean, I'm amazed. It's such good quality. But six ninety nine for designer quality fabric is a fantastic price. You see, it's got a lovely drape. It's your quilting weight cotton, 44 inch, 112 centimetre width beautiful colours isn't it but it is very yeah, Liberty Peacock William Morris feel to it and the background is a really sort of soft um, beigey peach gorgeous isn't it probably called taupe 6 99 for half a metre if you multi buy it, it will if you want metre and a half put three units in your basket it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece but I really love this one now we've also got this fabric but in a cream well ivory background 
two, exactly the same. Now this one, again, it's got the metallic print on it, but the um, peacock feathers are in gold instead. That's the metallic on it. So you've just got a slightly brighter, fresher look to this one. Exactly the same print. The colour's a little bit different because the peacocks are in red on this, in, well, a corally colour on this one, whereas they were blue. But this is lovely, isn't it? Um, this would look lovely, I think, is um, napkins for a table because it's got such a depth of print that these would look like really, so add half a metre, you would get two. Just cut the half a metre in half, hem the edges. But the sort of thing, if you wanted to give a gift for somebody, maybe for a new home, a set of six napkins is a lovely thing to have and would be incredibly expensive with this, this level, intensity of print. And with the metallic, it's gorgeous. Obviously, brilliant for patchwork as well, but that's what I would make with it. So that is the one with the... Um, is it hasn't got a name for the colour, but it's just an, an ivory background. Should we do pigs? Right, the extra wide backing in the tumbling blocks are sold out, just so you know. And so has that lovely mosaic. Both, so the black and white one, the tumbling blocks. And that. If you want to know what we've got and what we haven't, if you go onto sewingstreet.com, click on watch live and scroll down from there, the ones that have gone will say sold out, just so you know. Oh, this one. Right, we've got two fabrics that have never been on air on their own. They were bought in for a quilt kit and they remain in stocks. Well, it's all got lost in the system. And although they're all, they're autumnal, but we've never ever sold these on their own. I'm gonna show you the one with the ivory background to start with. They are absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the whole half meter. Shall I hold it up? Look at that. So you've, it looks like almost in stripes, doesn't it? It's only ever been in quilt kits. We have never shown this, sold this singly. Obviously at 6 99 for half a meter, you can buy more than a half meter. So you've got almost lines of leaves, but in shades all the way through from sort of pale green to darker greens to the deep red. So it is an autumn print, but it's gorgeous isn't it should we have a look at it a bit closer up now you've seen what it looks like it's a real ombre pin so lovely to use as it is but if you were doing patchwork maybe you were doing like half square triangles and you wanted them in different shades but the same print you could cut them out of each section they would look it would look fantastic as a border or sashing because of the difference in colours. But you can use it and cut it into strips. You could use it and cut it into strips and use it for log cabin. It would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? Because you've got the depth of print of all the different colours. Um, again, lovely for binding because the colours change as it goes along. But we have never sold this before by the half metre. So while we're having our Hannah's special favourite Lewis and Irene fabrics, and then we find them. I'm just amazed that they, you know, it is a designer fabric. It's a British company and how it managed to get it at 6 99 so that is the one with the ivory background. But if you want um, another one to go with it, there's only seven metres. Never been on air on its own, only seven metres of that left. But thinking about, you, you know, if you love this colour palette or you're thinking of your stash going forward to autumn, this is ideal. This is the same print, but it's got a really... Let me put them together so you can choose, or if you want both of them. This one has got a um, a lovely like pale mustard beigey background so you've got exactly the same prints but don't they, they look lovely don't they depending on whether you what sort of depth of background color you want but they also look really nice together don't they so if you love the autumn leaves you could even cut all of these out they'd be brilliant for appliquing if you were doing some pictorial work and you wanted realistic leaves instead of um, creating them you could just cut all of these out and sew them on get some put some bondweb over it all and then scatter them across your fabric you've got a beautiful autumn leaf display again this is 6.99 for a half meter it's your quilting weight fabric 112 centimeter 44 inch width and that's what it looks like as a whole isn't that lovely liking that now we have more people who've got this in their basket than we have available so if you want it you need to get it in there and check out quickly Right, we've also got this, Lewis and Irene like this ombre look because, 
because they've done it in stars. Now, this what I love about these these ombre looks is that they're really good for people who are doing like EPP and FPP um, or applique. So it's not just about using it by the half meter, but people who look at all that. Let me. I'll show you. The, ooh, I forget this one. Or look at all the different stripes of colours you get in there, and that is a a pale ivory background and you've got all the colours of the rainbow printed there in stars yeah May the 4th is coming up yeah Star Wars Day stars let's have a look at this in a bit more detail so you've got spots and stars of all different colours so from a distance it just looks like a, a polka dot but when you get close up if you can see like I can there you go now you can see what I can see um, is that a song? Yeah, no, and that's made Tanga sing. I hope you're all singing too. Now you can see what I can see. Um, you've got red, orange, yellow, greens, and look at the way that the colours move. So they move from like a lime green through a darker green, and then the green turns into a turquoise before it comes blue, which goes into a bluey purple, and then becomes pink again. And then the pink turns into orange. So it's beautiful colour palette. Can you see how the, um, the colours are moving? And that's lovely because this is so multi-use. But I mean, Lewis and I, mean, they're quilters, they work with quilters, they understand what people want. Fabric needs to have multi-use. You need to be able to use it like it is. But also, a lot of the time, if you get a fabric that you can cut into strips to get different colours, that you can just use little pieces of, that you can save the offcuts and think, oh yeah, fantastic, that's exactly what I need. I need a blue and a pink and a green, but I need them in the same print. It's all in there which makes this even better value for money. Only 6 99 Fantastic. Nice. Which one next? Pigs. <laughs> Hannah's shouting pigs at me. Um, it's called Pigs, Pigs, Pigs because there's lots of pigs on it. Um, I love that. When in, um, these are fun um, they're enchanting, they're quirky, they're all different sorts of pigs. In lockdown, I needed a new peg bag, so I did an FPP pig, because it just made me laugh. So my peg bag's a pig bag. Wouldn't this make a nice pig bag? It's so lovely, isn't it? You could use them for a plique and cut them out. Or, brilliant, if you're doing EPP, then look at the scale of them. Like, look at that little pig. You could just cut your hexy so that little pig was in the middle. You've got pigs of all sorts. So any, if you've got any pig lovers, any farmyard lovers, brilliant for the lining. Even if you make a very serious grown-up um, wash bag, put pigs on the lining. Lovely for pocket linings as well. Really nice. Um, or if you're obsessed with pigs like Hannah was as a child. Buy, you can buy more than a half a metre if you're thinking, wouldn't this make a lovely... Um, Roman blind, then you could buy the lengths you need because it looked absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? Uh, little drawstring bag for your PE kit, if you still have a PE kit. But things like this, this is what I use for a lining. I made somebody a wash bag from denim and I put all farmyard animals because it's just nice to have something a little bit fun. I love these novelty fabrics, the sort of thing that you don't see very often, but I think this is beautifully done. Pigs, pigs, pigs. Which one are we going to do next? Should we do rainbows? We'll do the rainbows. I've got two rainbows. Um, one has got, let's go for the bright one. One has got like a bright royal blue background. Shall I hold it up and then we'll have a little close up? These are the last two that we're going to do because we've run out of time. Um, there we go. Brilliant, fun, joyful rainbows. And they're really lovely, quirky ones. So that's what it looks like. Let's just have a close up. Because they're not your standard, perfectly um, correct rainbows. They're perfect, you know, because they are bigger hoops, aren't they? These are like sort of child, the ones that you think of in children's drawings. They're just really fun with little clouds here and there. I love these. So this one here has got a very bright royal blue background. We've got two, so I want you to see the difference between them. But I love that one. So many different things. Well, rainbows, are, you know, especially in lockdown, so popular. So many people making things in rainbows. And I think it's continued as well. Because they just are joyful. They are joyful. I embroidered rainbows on my jeans at the weekend. They look fab. So excited. That's it. They're on there forever now. On there forever. Right, so that's the royal blue one. And then we've also got it with a navy blue. 
it's called over the rainbow this one background let me show you the two together because i know sometimes when we have two colorways it's quite nice if you can choose so there's the royal blue one and then that's what the navy blue one looks like so very similar but this one just is um that's like a much brighter one and then this one probably makes the rainbow stand up a bit more so there we go those are the two over the rainbow ones let me take that one out of the way so you can see the navy blue background on that one it's lovely isn't it oh let me turn it over you can see the sticker i thought it was a bigger cloud it was the sticker 6.99 for half a meter lewis and iron fabric you know it's beautiful quality it's really soft it's lovely quilting weight but don't think it's limited to quilting brilliant for home wear as well um quick question oh about the quilt on the wall from edna good morning to all at sewing street i good morning that's in charlie um best channel I can't read that. I have to go over here. Best channel on my TV. A question. Are the quilts that are put on the wall handmade? Love today's. Yes, handmade by. Of course they are. This was made, handmade, well, by machine. When you mean handmade, you mean hand sewn or machine sewn. Handmade made by machine by Amanda. Yes, I can see all the individual scenes, seams and quilted by her as well. Yes, they are. Amazing. And you can make your own. So, in a couple of minutes' time, um, Amanda will be on air. She's going to show us how to make this. Get ahead with pre-order. Go on to sewingstreetdom.com. Click on Watch Live and scroll down from there. You will see all the kits on pre-order. So, get yours before it sells out. Amanda's quilts always go very quickly. And then you can sit back and watch enjoy the demo. Save up your question. She is an absolute quilting expert. Um, well done to all of you got your extra wide backings. Please do message in and tell me what you're going to make with them because I will be even further inspired. And I will see you back in just a couple of minutes time. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses but I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based the thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that my top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Congratulations to all of you who got your extra wide backing in the last hour because lots of it sold out. If you um, have only just joined us, have a look on the website. We've got some brand new extra wide backing. But anyway, this hour is all about the amazing quilt that Amanda Little has made. It's all about Amanda Little and the amazing quilt. Morning, Amanda. Hello, hello. Nice to see you match your quilt. Is, do I? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I think you do because you're all sort of red and lovely. Camouflage. Camouf <laughs> red camouflage. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure where you'd be camouflage in a poppy field, maybe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, some some <laughs> yeah. Some burnt leopards. Yes, <laughs> some burnt leopards. Yes, before we talk about the quilt, we've got to talk about the makeup bag okay. being back in stock. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to mention it now because it sold out last time, didn't it? it? I think this is the third restock, actually. The third one? It seems to be really popular. Okay, so we're just I'm mentioning. So the instructions for the gorgeous makeup bag that we will be talking about later are back in stock because it's sold out twice. So just to give you an advance warning, if you want the makeup bag, instructions only. It's not a kit, it's instructions. A quarter of the stock has already gone of this. So if you want the instructions, quickly get it in your basket. Just mention that. We'll show it later. Um, so this beautiful quilt, Amanda, what was yes. your inspiration? Um, I like the inspiration. <laughs> I was asked to create a log cabin, yes. so I thought I'll do a, a sort of a contemporary twist, I suppose, on a, a traditional log cabin in that, like you said earlier, it's barn raising but offset, right? which I think gives it that more modern look. Yeah, no, I love it, um, I love it. And then just something fresh and spring-like, mm. um, but would equally, equally work in a, you know, sort of a classic country house kind of setting. Well, I guess because the pattern... The block is traditional, yeah, isn't yeah. it? But you've used really lovely spring fabrics, yeah, wouldn't yeah. it? But I think if you put that on your bed, it would just look oh, loved. Yes. Yeah. Loved. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. So our kit, well, the kit that we're selling is slightly different it's to slightly this. slightly different. It's still so, when I designed this, we've got one block that uses more warm-based colours mm. and the other block is uh, a cooler-based. Right. There are 15 of each, so you've got choices if, if you would rather lay it out in the traditional straight setting or if you wanted to do right. um, fields okay. and furrows, th th you, you can choose where to put your blocks. They don't need to go in this okay. setting. But the colourway that we've got... the colourway is, um, yes, very moda. Very similar. Um, and it's all moda. It's moda, yes. So absolutely. let's have a quick look through the kit itself. So this is a picture of the kit. So in the kit, you get... So you get the instructions written by Amanda, beautifully written, very easy to understand. If you're a beginner these will be great for you then you get I mean obviously these, these you get all of the all the fabrics in here now the instructions include instructions to make the quilt and the cushion as well which I'll be showing you in a minute in the um, kit you, it's all moda so you get eight cool colors fat quarters and then you get eight warm fat quarters. They're from the Moda Cozy Up collection. So you're getting 16 fat quarters. You're also getting a metre of white fabric. Sorry. I think that's because I can't read that screen. 
you know, even with my glasses on, can't it's read still it. Blurred, it's just well, it's just thin. Sorry, <laughs> rewind. <laughs> Three meters of white. You're probably all looking at that, thinking, "What is she on about?" Three meters of white fabric, which is used. Oh, which is used <laughs> for the background. Sorry. It's for I've the got blind my on people. The side for I know it's great. I don't need to wear my glasses. <laughs> um, and then you get three fat eighths of um, misty blue coral and salmon, and they are used um, for the squares. For the centre squares. For the centre yes. squares. And the binding. Yeah. So shall we have a look at them live? I'm going to put the um, the centre squares to one side. And there's your three meters of white. So look at these fat quarters. Remember, this is Moda fabric absolutely gorgeous um, so you get I'm gonna lay them out look at the fabric oh I'm gonna lay them out and then I'll tilt them up for you so here's one there we go that's one this is the cool they're the cool, cool yeah the greys and the blues I thought were the cooler so colors. why is it important to have cool and warm then just to get that contrast so that you see sort of a secondary pattern not oh, just okay. sort of the way that the blocks are laid out um but you, your eyes just taken you know sort of as the yes, blocks alternate in a little yeah. journey yeah it's gorgeous I absolutely love it so these are the cool ones there's another one I mean this is a fat quarter I'm just showing you it fold up so you can see the whole thing. But just so you know, it, there is a fat quarter of every single one. So the fat quarter is 20 by 22 inches. So basically it's a half a metre fabric cut in half. And then a fat eighth is that cut in half again. So it's nine by 22 inches. Of that. And those are the solids. So these are the, these are the cool fat quarters. That one and that one. Oh, I like that one. Is that raspberry? I'm not quite sure. Or is it little know. hydrangeas? I, I thought it was hydrangeas, but I, I honestly don't know. Maybe, and maybe it is on a really lovely teal background. It's very pretty teal blue. Oh, I like this one. I like fabric with words. I like the, um, the ones with the words. On. Red oak, sugar maple, aspen and ash. Oh, that's all trees. So you get a fat quarter of the that lovely teal fabric with words on i like it when you have text in quilts yeah just because it's a little bit of interest, interest and yeah. when you get close thing you start reading it as yeah. well don't you lovely um then you get we move into this um what is it it's like a grey charcoal on charcoal the, um, but it's a brownie charcoal isn't yes, it yes it's it's not it's uh, it's not your dark grey yeah charcoal yeah um with floral same color background but again with the um the text on it that are the trees Let's turn it around that way so you can actually read it there's so much in here i'm still going mm. lovely warm mustard with these little i think maybe they are i thought they were raspberries but i think they're hydrangeas, I think they're hydrangeas. <laughs> not raspberries they're hydrangeas and then i love this one you've got a gingham but a quite a big one in that charcoal background again that gives a really nice finish to it. Now that's just half of it. Amanda's made blocks of these, so you'll see what they look like. I was just looking over because they're <laughs> gorgeous. So that's the cool set. There's eight. We've got another eight in the warm set. So this lovely um, limey green background. Go with your hydrangeas. No, it's not as bright as lime, actually. Maybe apple. I think it's described as kiwi. Kiwi. Okay. <laughs> kiwi. This is kiwi. Not lime at all. No, it's not as zingy as lime, is it? I love it in the um, the gingham. That's really on trend, isn't it? I gingham. A, I'd quite like a dress in that. <laughs> yeah, nice Would it be frock. nice? Lovely for a summer frock, or obviously in your quilt. Um, then you've got this really lovely peachy coral with floral. This is still going because we've got sixteen fat quarters in this. Um, then we have the text print, but isn't it lovely? It's on like an ivory background. I need to hold it up this way. But all the words are in, in the colours that are in the fabric. So you've got the kiwi, uh, the blue, the peach, but it's the same words that are in the other one. So the, because this is from the same fabric collection, you've got the two sets of colourways. So they really go together. They blend beautifully because the colours are of the same tonal range. So even though you've got the warm and the cool, it's the same tones. There, there again, you've got the kiwi background. Um, this one looks like it's got little acorns on it, mm -hmm. like a peachy background, um, and then a slightly darker peach. 
and then we've got the white one and Amanda's obviously going to show us how to do them so those are the 16 fat quarters you also get three meters of white this is quilting weight beautiful um, quality fabric as well and I've got three three fat eights three fat eights and these are using for the center squares so you get three fat eights in here I think that one should be a fat eighth that are used for the center square so a lot in this kit that's an amazing price 89.99 for three meters of fabric, three fat eights and 16 fat quarters and the instructions are very good. That's a very, very good price. Um, so show us the blocks. Okay, so um, they're both um, 12 inch finished right. uh, log cabin blocks. This is the warm. Yes. Colourway, and this is the cool colour. So way. now you can see all the fabrics in yeah, action. Yeah. So you've got your eight fat eights, sorry, eight fat quarters mm. of each colourway. So you can put them in any combination you want. Okay. I, I put them like this. Um, I thought sort of uh, peach in the middle, peach on the outside, and then just, you know, sort of we got two that were lighter and, and three green. So I thought I'll, I'll keep the three green, go light. Go peach. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, and then I've tried to do the same with the, the cool colour. So, sort of the duck egg, misty blue colour, um, one and the three. And then I've got three of the charcoal and again two of the lighter. But you can mix, there's, there's enough fabric. Um, right. So you, you can, can have put a thing them wherever what you, order want. you want. Yeah. yeah. Um, a nice way to do it is um, to lay the fabrics out side by side mm. and take a picture of them on your um, phone or your tablet. Oh, okay. So get all the fabrics and lay them turn out. Turn it to grayscale, and sometimes it becomes clear. Strangely enough, it becomes clearer to your eye. Oh, okay. You know, if, if you wanted to, uh, you know, sort of have like more of a colour wash mm. effect. Um, oh, wow. But yeah, there's, there's enough fabric for you to okay. choose exactly where you want to put your So colours. if you want to make this quilt using your own fabric, we do have a limited number of the instructions, just the instructions on their own, with no fabric in the kit. These are $9.99, um, just for the instructions. So remember, which is what we haven't said, because I need to get oh, the cushion yes, down. Um, in your bundle, up. so this is in the instructions, $9.99, there are all the details to make a cushion and the quilt so if you want to use your own fabrics you'll need 16 fat quarters three meters fabrics all the, all the information is in there um, that's just the instructions on their own but if you're buying the quilt kit which has got the instructions obviously and all the fabric but there's also not only the quilt there's enough fabric to make one cushion and amanda says if you cut very very carefully there's enough to make two and don't mind the, <laughs> mind the odd tiny bit of selvage remember your fabrics are slightly different to this these are the ones that amanda made originally your fabrics are very slightly different same colorways but slightly different prints but the instructions show you how to make the quilt and there's enough fabric to make one cushion two just if you cut carefully cushion front. cushion front not cushion back but that's fine you can just use plain for the cushion back so that's amazing value for money then it is i, I think it's Good really value, achievable value, so, uh, so tell me about the log cabin why did you choose the log cabin for this What's so um i really enjoy the log cabin there's so many different variations depending on um you know sort of the width that you cut your strips you can get curved effects so it's um, sort of a beginner's oh absolutely yeah it's a really it's easy block okay. i don't think perhaps well short of perhaps the nine patch you know yes, four patch or yeah. a nine patch block um it's a really easy block um but I, I like as well that the texture that you get, you know, sort of as, as all the layers sort of knit together. Yes. Just that extra texture. I know you sort of quilt over the top, but you still But it still does give see. it a depth and yeah. a shadow, doesn't yeah. it? Um, but um, I think traditionally the log cabin, um, that the centres um, would be red and they would signify um, the fire, you know, like the hearth oh, in, inside okay. of the home. Yes, I've seen that before. Yeah. I made one once and it was a blue one, but I had red, red centres, centres and I didn't know why, I just did yeah. that. I believe it, it's be, that would signify the um, the hearth, you know, sort okay. of the heart of the home. Uh, and then the light, usually as well, you've, you've got one light side and one dark mm. side. So the light side would... Um, represents the the light streaming in through you know sort of the front of the house right um, and also you know sort of happy events births marriages successful harvests okay. that sort of thing um, but then the dark side would um, you know sort of the, the shadows I suppose um, perhaps sort of deaths and failed harvests <laughs> so <laughs> 
So, no, I should have started yeah, with Yeah, death and failed harvest. But yeah, the, there is an actual yeah. oh, um, okay. story behind it. And that's why they're often made for um, new couple when people yes. get married, aren't they? Yeah, so I, 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 don't, I could be telling you, can yeah, she's actually just yeah, made that up. Yeah, just, um, but I think, you know, sort of as the men would be um, rising the barn, mm. um, the women would be um, sewing away to make the quilts for the couple, you know, sort of when the barn oh, was complete wow. to, to move into. Yeah, oh, so how nice. Like, so you're actually quilt. stitching a little piece of history yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. So if you know someone who's getting married, this is the quilt. A perfect quilt, yeah. So where do we start with it then? Okay, so... Um, if I move those... Oh, Pauline has asked, what's the finished size of the quilt? Oh. Oh, you know, uh, oh, so we've got. Mine has got. So we. <laughs> slight problem with. <laughs> Can't remember. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, twelve, sixty, uh, sixty by. I want to say seventy-two. Two. Sixty inches by seventy-two yeah. inches. Half of the stock is already in baskets. So if you need, if you want to have this girl, you need to get it checked out. So and we are limited in patterns on their own. So, okay, right. yeah, so I've keep interrupting the questions. <laughs> no, you're right. So, um, what I would do then, to begin with, um, you'll get a much better finish because you're using yardage rather than pre-cuts. I would take the time to um, best press or starch, what, whatever okay. you prefer. Okay, why is that then? Um, they, they can be slightly prone to, um, you know, just stretch um, so in the instructions, I have where I can to, to get the most you know, or the, the least wastage from your yardage. Um, I've asked you to cut a, a long strip and then um, subcut it, sub -cut it right, vertically okay. on the vertical on the, the, the lengthwise grain, mm. so that there's minimal stretch. Oh, okay. Um, but just to, to help yourself even more, I would um, take the time and just give it a good starch before you start okay. to cut. And because it's yardage, it's not going to, you know, you, you're going to cut after you've starched, right. so you're not going to get any shrinkage. Um, and you, you've got sort of some straight edges, so they are prone, depending on how much you handle them, mm. um, they are prone to, to fray on, on those outer edges. Okay. So the starch will just make right. your, your life a okay. lot easier. So spray it all before you cut spray it? Spray it all before you cut it. <laughs> and I like to, there is a lot of cutting, um, you know, so you can imagine sort yeah. of how many strips. I, but it's quite nice yeah. that though, isn't it? Because yeah. you sort of say today is my cutting day. Yeah. Well, that's what I would do is I would just spend an afternoon um, and just cut. And how and do you then, label yours? Because I would say I've just made a quilt, so I was, okay. and I did label mine as I went along, but I did it all with um, heat erasable pens. I couldn't press anything yeah. until I finished it, which is quite annoying. <laughs> That's pretty weird. So how do you label yeah. yours? So if I was at home, I've, I've bought, I've just got one of each yeah. here. But if I was at home, I would have all of my 12 and a half inch, well, I would have a pile of cool and a pile of warm. Okay. 12 and a half inch strips all together. Um, and then I think these are 11 and... And do you label those? Yes, or I, I would at least lay them out. So I tend to, even though I've got a really nice workroom, I'll take over the dining table. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> So for a couple of nights we'll sit and eat on trays. Yes, I'm um, sorry, but I'm making a quilt. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no yeah. slamming of the door or no. wafting when they all just disappear into the air. Um, but yeah, I would um, pop them out. And lay it all out. All like that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, they're all like that. And then the same with my uh, background. So these, mm. we've got white with this quilt, but it would look, if you're just getting the pattern, it would look fab with um, a dark navy or a black, yeah. you know, like a jewel. And then use some really bright. Bright Yeah, you want style. a really modern look, yeah. that's true. Yeah, for a w more wintry mm. um, quilt. But yeah, I would have these all rowed up, the whites as well, and then I would just sit and I would just Piece, strip piece, piece, strip yeah, strip piece. Okay. piece. Um, and I would perhaps do all of the the cool blocks on one day, and then all <laughs> yeah, of the you get them all mixed up. Yeah, yeah. I've done that before. But it is, yeah. Um, but it, I think if you have like a cutting day, yeah, I yeah, quite like cutting. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, don't, I, I think, yeah. Once you've sort of you know what you're what cutting, you're cutting yeah. it is quite quick. Um, but perhaps also when they open the instructions, they'll think, oh, my there's, a lot my of word, there's a lot of cutting. I know, I usually and take over the kitchen table, yeah. actually. I move to a different room, so I've got yeah. loads of space, clean the table, yeah. Yeah. get all the ketchup off it. Yeah. 
And then have a lovely yeah. cutting day. Um, but yeah, so if a I was... A third of the stock has been checked okay. out and loads in baskets. Yeah. If I was doing it all in one day, I would just What's simply the lay them out. What's the in this quilt? It's beautiful. It is. That was a different question. It is beautiful. The Co quilt on the wall was in a different fabric. Was yeah, the quilt on the wall is an art gallery range. Um, but the fabrics that we've got today are Coriodas Cozy Up from Moda. Right. And they are, well, you can see they are all the same. Yeah, Teals, sort of the, peaches, yeah. kiwi. Kiwi. A little bit of warm charcoal. Yeah. So it is the similar colourway, yeah. but it, it is beautiful. And you can see from the blocks that Amanda has made what they will look like, but they are very similar to the one on the wall. Um, yeah, so if, if I was doing a batch in one day, I probably wouldn't label them up because you can see where you go with yes. just sort of on, yeah. on the cut size. Um, but normally I would either just pop a pin in or, you know, one of the wonder oh, one clips. One of the clips, right. Um, and then I would just put, um, you know, sort of 12-inch... Uh, um, 11 and a quarter yeah. inch or whatever um, just so that I know at a glance but um, I think by pre-cutting like this then that gives you your accuracy oh, so yeah it? yeah so yes you can I would always pre-cut my uh, print pieces mm. but you can um, you leave your background strips as just width of fabric if okay. you prefer but they tend to grow I, I, I yeah. really would take the time, starch first and cut. Exactly. And you know right exactly yeah. what you're aiming yeah. for and you're not going to end up with a distorted block. Well, you want to have that perfect finish, don't yeah. you? And particularly if you're new to quilting, by yeah. taking the time to cut. Yeah. And it is stunningly accurate. Well, as somebody messaged in and said, is that made? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I can see the seam. I think the thing is, is when you've quilted it, though, and it looks like a whole piece, I suppose, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you see perhaps sort of the... Um, but that's the point of the quilting, The isn't quilting it? more, but if, mm. if you look inside, yeah, it's, you can see. And I think it's a lovely secondary pattern to see the seams as well. It is, it's lovely. Um, well, it gives it that extra depth, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, okay, so we've cut everything out. So we've cut it all out. If I pop that £89.99, what a fantastic price for the whole quilt. Um, Not the batting and the wadding, though, I might add. Not the backing and the wadding. I'm just going to quickly... My mum's got a Janome, which I believe is the same as Elma. It is, yes. Um, and so I'm using her quarter inch Oh, I think we do have quarter oh, inch feet, yes. Yeah. All of these Elna machines actually oh, come with course, a quarter yeah. inch foot. So I'll just quickly pop that on. All of them. I haven't got one, but I haven't got an Elna machine, so I can't even take one. Um, but yeah, a quarter inch foot, um, especially for log cabin, is really uh, handy to have. What have I done there? A quarter of an inch foot. A quarter of an inch. They come with a walking foot, but I think all, don't they come with a quarter of an inch foot? Yeah. Yes. So all of, yeah, yeah, not the walking foot, but all of the um, Elna machines that we sell come with quarter of an inch feet. Oh, they come with one ready done. Okay. They, the fives don't come with the walking, the 620 and the 720 do, but they all come with quarter of an inch feet. So we're going to start off then, if I lay it out first. We're going to start with our centre block and we're going to work in a, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, let's pop this round this way, in an anti-clockwise direction. So we'll start with two backgrounds and then we'll move on to two prints and we're just going to keep going in that round and round and round. Yeah. Okay. So because you've all cut them beautifully, they will now In theory, they should up. fit. But what I would do, um, or what I, I like to do, is just pop a pin in that end, just so if it is going to move, um, right. you, you know, sort of the, the ends are together and, yeah. and you can almost... That's a really good tip. You know, sort of pull it taut and yeah. just encourage it to... Encourage it to behave <laughs> to as it should. Yeah. Over half of the stock of the um, the kit, the quilt kit has gone. It is only eighty nine ninety nine, and you have got enough materials to make the quilt front. You will need extra backing, which we have extra wide backing and wadding. Enough fabric to make the quilt front and a cushion front. And if you cut very carefully, another cushion front as well. 
you can also buy instructions on your own so if you've got a massive stash you know we none of us have a massive stash of fabric but say you did have a massive stash of fabric <laughs> i've got a massive stash. Yeah. <laughs> None of us really do, do we? But say you did, you need lights and darks if you want just the instructions on your own. But we are very limited on them. Obviously, the kit, the, the 89.99 kit, comes with all the fabric and the instructions. So then once you've made this one, you can make another one. Right. So um, in the instructions, and this was purely based on that first batch of fabric that I used, the, um, the background fabric was really quite sheer. So okay. there was a chance of um, the darker prints shadowing through. So I've written the instructions um, saying to uh, press the seams open. Right. But you don't have to. Not with this. I found this fabric is really quite nice and opaque. So if I turn it's that one really, over. It's a real, I mean, because this is our normal quilt to make cotton, but it's a nice weight, it isn't is, it? Yeah, yeah. And there's sort of like a... Yeah, it's a slight coziness. To, I, I don't yeah. know how to describe it. Yeah, it's not a cold feeling fabric. No, no, it's got a, quite a weight because it's a yeah. lovely white, but it has got enough weight yeah. so that the the darks don't show through. Yeah. Um, so yeah, on this on on these samples, I've pressed the seams outwards. Okay, every so, time. Yeah, the. Um, the piece that you've just uh, stitched on, mm. you're going to be pressing your seam towards okay. it. But if you use, if you're buying just the uh, pattern and you're using your own fabric, say if it's like a Liberty Lawn, right? So check that first. Yeah, they're gorgeous, but they can be quite sheer as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is just press to set the seam, and then just press that seam back. Press it okay. open. Okay. Easy. Easy. And so you can far. see it, they will sort of twist and turn a little bit but as you keep adding the next strip yes, you'll, okay. you'll bring it back it will even um, it out so yeah don't you know sort of worry um, so that's like so because I'm, I'm thinking like you know you were you've used the sewing machine a few times you've made a few bags think this is my first quill so this is this is easy so far because we've yeah. got it to the right size yeah. so the next piece what we're going to do is attach that to, again because we're going anti-clockwise yeah. um, and I'm just going to put a pin in this end just to keep it matched up and I'm also going to feed it through the machine so that that seam is going um, a, a, away from the Rock, yes. feed dog so it hopefully doesn't flip up. That's another, if you choose to press the seams open obviously it takes a little bit longer because you've got to you know sort of fiddle to to separate it yeah but you've then got two flappy bits mm. um which can flip it's up if you're not careful yeah. whereas if you press to the side um it, it should stay nice and neat and it'll be a, a quicker um a quicker make for you because you're not having to fiddle with the, the pressing as much okay. So I guess once you've got the hang of this, you could then chain piece several blocks I, in one I go. Would, so yeah, but I, would you always make one first? I would make one first, purely because like today, <laughs> I'm thinking, what colour did I put next? Yes, <laughs> so true. You've got sort of a template. To look at, plus yeah. Plus as well, any mistakes. So first time I would make the block, I, I, I like to sew with um, a two, uh, point 0.2 stitch length. Right, 2.2. Two, uh, two two. No, I, I like a 2. Okay. Um, just because the stitches are like that little bit closer and, and just more secure, there's less, oh, okay. less right. excuse me, movement and stretch. If I were dressmaking, I'd use a 2.5. Right, But for okay. my piecing, I tend you to use a two. 2. Okay. Which is lovely, apart from when you go wrong and you need to, <laughs> <laughs> to unpick. So I would make one of each block to begin with and set your machine at two and a half if, Just, if you like a smaller stitch like right. me when you know what you're doing then then go down oh, no, that's down. really good but so it, practice on that one yeah. and then hang it on the yeah. wall yeah so you can copy it yeah on a two that's really good i didn't know that yeah. i always use a two and a half whatever yeah. i'd never thought i of use that. two and a half for the dressmaking but not for, oh, but okay. not generally for piecing um just because the the, the two just gives you that to, Especially, I suppose, with using the long arm, I've to put a fair bit of tension on at right. times. And if those stitches are two and a half, plus if, you know, sort of, uh, sometimes you can go a bit wonky and you've barely caught any of the, the mm. seam. And if you just put a little bit oh, of tension on, mean. it yeah. can pop But if you haven't got a long pop. arm, 
Which sadly, not all of us do. It's, it's no, terrible. It, it, well, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Only we all it's, had a long arm. Yeah, um, Is it okay to quilt? Oh, yeah, yeah. And how would you quilt so it? If I quilted, I would probably whack the stitch length up to a three. Right. I'd, I'd like a longer stitch length um, for, for quilting. And you can, I guess, the size of this is perfectly achievable under a normal machine. Yeah, so um, if you wanted to, to quilt this, you could, um, you could just, you know, sort of uh, cross hatch. Mm -hmm. um, you, it would be perhaps a little bit tricky, but you could even follow, you know, stitching the ditch. Um, yeah. You'd get a lovely texture then, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you know, sort of, there's loads of ways that you could um, quilt it on a domestic mm. and get a really professional okay. looking finish. Because yeah. you could, yeah, just follow the lines, yeah. like you yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with the. Um, the westerly rulers and things. Yes, you yes, could, true. you know, a bit of a wavy line or something mm. like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Right. So that's so two I've got, pieces. Yeah, that's two pieces. Um, so I'm now putting a print on, and again, that seam is going to go through the machine in okay. that direction. to set. Sometimes I can be a little bit lazy with my pressing but I think with the log cabin it is quite important to keep pressing as you go um, just to make sure that everything's staying square. Once you've got it to that size it can be it can be tricky to actually get in yes. and, and you know sort of deal with each seam um, and it's perhaps more inclined to, to distort so I do tend to press I guess I this is quite useful that's why it's quite nice to have a, like a little line and a little line in yeah mat, yeah you get you yourself just go from one up. to the other yeah, so you've just literally mm. got a twist <laughs> from machine to and I would I, you know perhaps day one I would do my cutting my, my starching and my cutting mm. day two I'd piece all my cool or, or warm blocks day three the next batch day four, day quilt four it. Put it together. It, put it together. Day, Day five, five quilted. quilted. So that's it. Done yeah. in the week. Day six Ready for the weekend. Underneath, it's on the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. But this is a. I mean, I, you know how it gets to sort of November, and you think, wish I'd made that quilt for Christmas yeah. for someone. But this is a, the sort of thing you could buy now and think, I, I'm going to do yeah. that. What a lovely present. Emma on Facebook says, morning all, I'm loving this gorgeous quilt. I know, so am I. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Oh, uh, who was that? Rosalind said she was so excited she ordered her own 570A last night. I'd be excited. It comes with a quarter of an inch foot. <laughs> it's nice, the 570, because it's got the thread cutter as well. Yeah. I think that is that the one you're you Are you on the it's, 570? Uh, yes. It's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Because is, yeah, that's like got the... a thread cutter. Yeah. Uh, these that you'd say, I'm, I'm just going to stretch this Am I right slightly. in thinking it's in 20 blocks? Sorry if it's a silly question. Um, no, there are uh, 30 altogether. You get 50, whoops, 15 uh, cool, 15 warm. Right. I think. The math isn't that yeah. Well, how many have we got? I'll, I'll count them. One, so, two, three, four. There's never any safe thing as a silly question. Honestly, ask for anything because everyone's thought it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. There's 30. Yes. It's five wide and six long. So there's 30. And then there's more, and then there's four for the cushion. Although the cushion... Um, but the cushion's smaller, smaller. Smaller blocks. The blocks yeah. are smaller, but yeah. you get four blocks, but they're smaller. Um, you would I would definitely do that. And like you say, when you, if you want to make two cushions, you just have to cut into the salvage a little bit, which sort of goes into the seam oh, allowance. So the, the salvage will be in the seam allowance, mm. but yeah, if you just... Um, cut an eighth of an inch into the salvage, yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, And isn't and the what a fantastic it. present for someone to get? Yeah. Um, yeah. And you could, I mean, I've done um, just an envelope back. Yeah, so the back um, on this is um, just really simple envelope back. But you could, nice. you could put a zip in it if you want. You yes, know, you true. Could, um, or you could make a little bag to put the quilt in. <laughs> yeah, or even turn it into um, one of those reading cushions. Oh, yes. You know, yeah. turn it into a pocket. 
it is lovely and, the, yeah. and I think the the color is really lovely when you see these Moda collections and you've got a whole mixture between sort of charcoals and peach and you think what would you do but to yeah. see it made yeah. is beautiful yeah. And the cushion, so Amanda put on the back of hers just an envelope back. You will need your own backing fabric that doesn't come in it, but it's only a little bit for the cushion back. But isn't that lovely? It's a smaller version, but that's all covered in the instructions, whether you buy the instructions in the kit or not. But um, but you need, if you want the instructions on the own, you need to be very quick. There are single figures left of the instructions on their own, so you need to be very quick. But I think for a full quilt like that and enough fabric to make the cushion as well for 89.99 and it is mode of fabric as well it is designer quality i mean it is beautiful beautiful moda got quality i'm just picking out my favorite ones and they're all selected amanda was selected these specifically so they work with the log cabin because there's no point in using the fabrics that don't work because the log cabin works because of the fabric choices so all of these are selected for you so although these are slightly different to the quilt behind amanda it is the same colorway and you will get the same effect amanda's such a fab quilt designer she always chooses colors that work together and she's selected these herself but this is going to be one beautiful quilt it makes a bed look loved. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I always think children in hand-knitted cardigans look loved. Yeah. <laughs> I like a hand-knitted cardigan but as it well. Makes, but children are loved to wear hand-knitted. You look yeah. at them and you think, oh, someone really loves you. Yeah. And I think a quilt makes your bed look Oops. loved. Yeah. I love a hand-knitted cardigan as well. Yeah, I've, um, I've got so much wool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never done any well so I'm the slowest knitter in the world right um, it's because you're too busy making quilts <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I don't know why I hold the needles like I do um, my mum is brilliant she can you know sort of needles under the arms and it's Pit all like this and she's had a go at the uh, the Arne and Carlos Continental right yeah so mm. she's a whiz I'm more like <laughs> wind it round yeah. I knit like that I have as to well loose the needle <laughs> no I, yeah. I knit like that as well um, but I'm not a pit knitter that's a northern thing the further <laughs> up north you go the longer the needles get and then they put them under the really? arms as you go down south the needles get shorter yeah. and people knit normally and in Wales the needles are even shorter still Crikey. the um, man one of the knitting needle reps told me that yeah because he Looking sells like all that. over the country yeah. and it's true if you meet, meet northern people they have long prefer, needles and they go under their yeah. arms well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I. Um, so anyway, not talking about knitting. <laughs> talking about. Patrick. I've got lots of wool that's never actually. Uh, well, you need to start knitting to... cardigans to show how loved you are. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually growing quite quickly it now, is, isn't yes, it? Yes. Um, and you're talking as well. I, yeah, I, I'm not the best multitasker. <laughs> <laughs> Surely not. I'm, I'm trying to. You are. You are. <laughs> you must be. You're a woman. <laughs> Women are brilliant at multi multitasking. So you can see it's just I'm I'm going um, or trying to. So you to just go keep fast. going round. Yeah, so you... it's gone a little bit, but I'll just adjust that now. So as I put uh, this next. Okay, so if you get any that aren't totally level, yeah, so, you can absorb that. Yeah, shall I move that out so is it better contrast? Probably. Oh. So if you Have get I it, there's not... Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, sorry, can we where do the we? overhead for this one? There you go. If you move... Um, there it is there. Oh, if you right, move okay. uh, no, down a bit. No. There we go. <laughs> I'm a bit down a bit left a bit right a bit. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, you can okay. see just there. I'm just slightly off. Um, mm. I think it's because uh, the the white fabric um, has just got a slightly more open weave, perhaps than the moda. Right. And okay. And it's just got a bit more movement in it. Plus, I didn't do as I said and starch. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, I'm going to match up the white. But if I turn it over, that's probably better. So the white's going to go edge to edge there 
but I'm just going to leave it just a hair's breadth so that it's short all, yeah. and it'll come back. So any yeah. little bits like that, just even them up. Just, yeah. And what I love about this, there's no seam matching, is there? There isn't. It's, love that. I think there's maybe when you join, just you know, when you've when you've got your rows together. But in together, the blocks, brilliant. And I hate yeah. Yeah. matching seams. Yeah. But if if um, if you choose to to press to to one side. All the seams will nest anyway. Right. You know, so yes. if you've pressed open, then mm. yeah, perhaps you, you need to just take a bit more time to get those intersections. Yeah, but you haven't got too many seams, so no, therefore it no. doesn't matter. It is a really So Nick quick... the message on Facebook say lovely morning, lovely ladies and lovely quilt. Thank you. Yeah. I wonder what she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is she on the right channel? <laughs> yeah, she something. Who are those lovely ladies? Yeah, they must be watching Hannah and um, Charlie in the gallery. <laughs> the lovely ladies. But yeah, if I were doing this at home, it would be con I would just have another you and would another just be and going another. Yeah, there this. wouldn't be this, you know. And then I would obviously press them all mm. at the same stage. So at this the end. quilt was originally designed for today's quilt magazine. It was, yeah. So Amanda is a magazine um, designer as well for um, Britain's best-selling quilt magazine. Today's Quilter, Today's no quilt, less. Yeah. So if, you have, if you've bought Today's Quilter at any point, this quilt was featured in that. So you can make your very own version of Amanda's magazine starring <laughs> quilt as well. So it's, you can see that it, it's come back now. Um, yes, so that little eighth or sixteenth of an inch it's is now absorbed. Yeah don't, 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 yeah, don't sort of fret about, um, obviously, if, if that's happening on every single yeah. block. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, but no, the, the odd one, you can just, you know, sort and of... And, uh, yeah, and you don't need to worry about this. You just whoosh the whole yeah. strip across. And then at the end, if you find that it is slightly skew mm. um I would uh, just spend a little bit more time just with your um, your iron. And it, okay. it'll come back, you know. If you, especially if you've got a mat like this, you can, um, you know, sort of aim for twelve and a half, and and I would even, um, you know, sort of spear it down. Yeah, and then press and it. Make it oh, okay. Um, within reason, you know, sort of if, if it's only a little bit uh, out. So but I'm, you know if you've cut all of your strips to start with it should in theory yeah mm. see that one there you can see i've just got a bit more in the top than the bottom but yeah. i've pinned um at what is going to be the bottom as it goes through the machine and i'll just pull it taut okay and, and that will straighten it, even it, up. it out yeah. so when you write down today's date which is the um 30th 30th of april so when you get your kit home watch back amanda's demo because then you'll be able to see all these because it's all these little tips that amanda has discovered over time that you can have straight away about you know if you find that the topics don't match you can just spray starts like a best press or something like that to even it out you know they're, they're not things that you have to do but they're those little professional tips that makes a bit of difference which is why we invite experts like amanda on air <laughs> message from Lynn on Facebook this is a great demo oh, and the lady is lovely <laughs> she explains <laughs> everything so well it's a beautiful quilt it is very enjoyable morning thank you very much well thank you for that message Lynn that's lovely yes Amanda is a very knowledgeable lady <laughs> and she owns a long arm quilt she owns a fab long arm quilting machine as well She's quilted a couple of things for me. Yes, yeah. Amanda quilted the um, Bird of the Month quilt that we gave away at the very end. Yeah. We had a special prize draw. Yeah. At the end of it, if you remember, when we did Bird of the Month last year, and at the very end, we had the quilt hanging behind me for every time we did Bird of the Month. And then we had a prize draw and gave it away. And the lady who won it messaged in, and she loved birds and did was she? really oh, chuffed. Yeah. And it was quilted with birds on, wasn't it? I think, yes, it was... Um yeah, I can't, because I did the cat as well, didn't I? Yes, I can't the, remember, I don't think I'd got a cat. The birds had Hatton. birds yeah. on uh, it. It was actual um, birds. So Amanda owns a long arm quilting business in her shed. And we are, we'll mention it now, but we have got, um, it's supposed to be in the next hour, we've got one of um, Amanda's quilt patterns that she did previously, which is her French braid quilt. 
So it looks like this. This is the picture of the French braid quilt. And that's the instructions, 9 99 for the instructions to make the French braid quilt. But in the instructions, you will get a 25% off Amanda's long arm quilting. You can quilt but have whatever you call quilt. And all you do is you phone Amanda and then you put it in an envelope and you send it to her. <laughs> and then it comes. And then it comes. You do need the instructions of the voucher code, 25% off. And it's valid for three months. No, you haven't got to finish the quilt in three months. No. No. <laughs> Don't worry, you might have another one. You could use another one. And then she sends it back to you and it's got back in a wadding and it's quilted. Mm -hmm. There are less than 20 of these instructions. And do you know what? I think it's well worth it. I've, she's quilted two quilts for me, absolutely beautiful. So if you get this set of quilt instructions for 9.99, you get 25% off. And then the day that it comes back to you is just a moment of glory. So the your piece top that has no texture to it at all comes back it amazing. Is, um, it's just cool, cool, isn't it? How it, it changes, yeah. Yeah. And I think that is often something that puts people off is the quilting. Yeah, yeah. But I... it's perfectly achievable. And I just. I mean, I've had a couple of quilts done, but I have done it myself, yeah. just on my machine. I just get my heat erasable pen. Yes, yeah. Draw uh, all um, over it. I think, yeah, if, if it's a small quilt, mm. have a go. Just um, have a go. Yeah. But yeah, if, if it's, you know, sort of um, a bigger one that's it's going to be tricky to um, get under your machine, mm. then yeah, just and every send now it and to then Mandy, just put it in an envelope. Yeah. And then one day it comes back to you. What did you use? <laughs> I'm just checking now. I don't know if I've. <laughs> oh, because I've been talking to you. <laughs> Bear with me one sec. <laughs> yes, yeah, one moment. She's just checking. It looks right. I say it looks. No, those two shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a a shoes and socks off job. <laughs> what does that mean? I've never heard you that phrase. Assume, when it gets too complicated, you've got it like that. <laughs> 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 I haven't got enough fingers. No, so I've... Um, you said the wrong bit to the wrong yes. bit. Because so, I was talking to you. So when that happens... When that happens, if you've set your machine at two and a half... Yes, <laughs> then you can unpick it. You can it. just unpick it. Um, yes, so perhaps <laughs> with hindsight, <laughs> it's best to... Yeah, don't talk. With my Amanda's top tip is do not talk to people. So um, I know you've got that fancy unpicking machine, but we have if a I, stitch remover. If I yeah. need to unpick, I'll just choose one side, and every four or five stitches, I'll just put the seam ripper through. We've, if I we've can even see got the professional unpicking tips as well. <laughs> you can tell I do that a lot. Oh, <laughs> I do so much unpicking. I think because I'm a little bit impatient, so I just go, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. And then don't check. It's, it's not too bad when it's just one block like this, but if, um, if you've sat and Would you've Would you like to have a go of the stitch remover? Um, I, I don't know if I can be trusted with <laughs> electronics. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with them. <laughs> don't worry. We'll save it. Man, um, I will, Hannah said I've got to use it, so I will sew a seam in the next hour and but use it. Do you want to, shall I try? I've never... Have you never used it? I've never used it. Oh, no. it's fab. Can we have it, Hannah? We'll do it. Please, shall can you? I, I'll just get I, the stitch remover and we'll yeah. show you how it works. It is fab. Yeah. So if, if I hadn't got a stitch remover... If you didn't have a stitch remover... <laughs> so I've just... Every four or five stitches and then I would just flick it up from the other side. Oh, here's the stitch Ooh. remover. Thank you very much, Anthea. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know who Anthea Redfern is. Oh, no, not the... Yeah. What Bruce. was the other one that he did well? Hi, Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bruce Forsyth. I yeah. thought it was Andrew, but then, card, right? but then Jan Hill messaged and said it's Anthea. Because Anth he married her, didn't he? He did, yes. and as did Paul, um, which I can't remember now. And, and, Paul um, Daniels and Debbie McGee. Yes. And, oh, crikey, who was it? No, perhaps I've got... Did right, I'm going to show you Iris this. Iris St. Clair, who was she married to? Oh, um, Larry Grayson. <laughs> Was she married to... No, I don't... I don't they were know. just... Oh, sorry. Right, this is the stitch just remover, on... which is JCM092. So it's actually a lady shaver. It's yeah. not, but... I was like, can you... <laughs> yeah, trimming her. 
<laughs> no one. It doesn't even cut. Oh, sorry. Right. No, it doesn't oh, even. It doesn't even cut your fingers. Yeah. It's that safe. And then when you want to undo a seam, so I make sure I undo the seam oh, you actually yeah, want okay. undoing. So if we start from this end, yeah. You just put it in. It won't cut your fabric. And it just cuts. Wow. And if you get enough tension on it, once you've done a bit, you can you hold can both ends. You can just go all the way along. Look at that. And then you, once you've got enough, you can hold that and then just, and then just it up. Wow. Yeah. So Brilliant. even the reverse stitches, yeah. you need one of those. Oh, I do. It's fab. Yes, I'd forgotten about Larry Grayson and Isla Sinclair. Yeah. Did they get married? Yes, yeah, no, sorry. I think, um, oh, sorry, JCM092. I think they were just uh, on screen. Well, they, he, that was when he did the Part Generation the Game, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Have you got I used to love that. It's coming. Oops. Um, right. M092. So right, there's where I went wrong. No. Where did you go wrong? I say, I don't. <laughs> Here, should we analyse? Let's put it. Analyse the block. So that one's right, and then that goes round and there, and then that one's right. That's it. I'm going. No. So no, the last one that's gone on is goes across the end of a strip. Yeah. And then across. S uh, and then that one goes up there. Um, right, I'm just going to talk about the bridge water okay. stitch remover. $34.99. So you see how fab it is. So when you do go wrong, which sadly does happen, um, this is just brilliant. It's so fast. It's really good, obviously, for undoing seams, but it is brilliant for removing embroidery as well. I'm going to talk about it a bit more in the next hour. In the box, you get the charger because you don't need, obviously, because it's better to use it wire, wireless. You can charge it while you're using it or you just charge it up and it has a little brush as well for cleaning it off. Really good for removing embroidery. So if you've maybe got like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt with a logo on that you don't want, you can just push this across the back and it will remove it all. And it won't cut the fabric and it won't cut you. It has been developed, although it looks like a lady shave, it isn't. It has been developed specifically for removing stitches. Absolutely fab. But only $34.99. And it honestly, if if you um I mean it's called, I love the way it's called an embroidery re mistake remover tool. <laughs> <laughs> embroidery mistake removal tool. Brilliant for undoing seams. Um but say you're doing something like Bargello which where you actually have to undo seams. This just makes light work of it. It is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Have you sorted the problem out now, man? I think so. Yes. They're all <laughs> present and correct. All problems <laughs> now sorted. It was only one seam. It was all fine. So if you've got this in your basket, 89.99. If you've got the whole kit in your basket, which is just coming up now, um, you get instructions. 16 Moda backwaters, three metres of white fabric and three fat eights. We are on single figures of this now. So if it's in your basket, you need to check out 89.99. The quilt measures 60 by 72 inches and you've got enough fabric to make one cushion and two, if you cut carefully, um, Backing and wadding isn't included, but you can buy that separately. We have um, extra wide wadding available by the half meet on the website, which I'd recommend because it's easier than joining it together. And cheaper than buying it as a whole piece. And it's the 80-20 cotton wadding that's my favourite. What's your favourite wadding, Amanda? I do, I, um, at home, I stock Hobbs 80-20. I yeah, do like I it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Love it. It just gives you a really nice I amount know. of texture. Have you um, used wool wadding? Because I, I haven't. haven't. That's gorgeous. Is it? But it's really expensive. It is, but, yeah, but I, for a special is quilt. Is it really? Yeah. Is it puffy? Puffier. Yeah, it's like, um, it's it's very similar to Hobbs Polydown. Right. But it hasn't got that, you know, sometimes when you touch that, it makes your teeth go a bit... <laughs> yeah. yeah, it doesn't do that. It, it's gorgeous, but it, it's warm when it's on your lap or on mm. your bed. But there's no weight to it. Um, but what's gorgeous, if you've got a really special quilt, mm. I would put um, a Hobbs eighty twenty, and then wool on top, and the you the three D effect is just mm. out of this really? world. Really trickier to to bind, obviously, because you've yes. got a bit more. Um, mm. Uh, loft, loft in in the, okay. the edges, 
but if you want, you know, for a special... For something quilt, really special. Or if you were going to put a quilt into a competition, if you want your quilting to stand out. Okay. 80, 20 and one and then, Right, yeah. okay. Well, we sell the wool wadding, but yeah. in, cut piece, in cut pieces, different sizes. Have a look on the website. If you go on sewingstreet.com and go on to wadding, all the different ones are there. So the poly wadding that we sell is um, in really good quality. It's we have got some cut wadding there, Sal. We've also got the 80-20 cotton and we have wool wadding. So we have all of those different sorts. So they're for different, well, they're for different budgets and different items mm. as well. So if you're making a bag, you might not want wanting to use your wool wadding. No, no. And it is washable as well. I know. Um, I'm going to do it one day. It doesn't tend to shrink, you know, like a cotton. Yeah. If you like that sort of antique finish yes. once it's been through the wash. But the wool tends to stay oh, exactly okay. as it was. That's why I like the cotton, because I like that little shrinky look. I like look. the, um, yeah, Aldi world. The first time I used I sat in front of the machine and yeah. watched it thinking, oh God, please don't let anything happen to you. <laughs> I, I did have on a cold water wash, yeah. but yeah. and then it came out beautifully. Yeah. I've pre-washed. It's not something that I like to do. I know um, a lot of the manufacturers say you pre-wash your wadding. Oh if no, you, you I made wash the quilt once I'd made yeah. it. Yeah, I always wash mine because I like you, I like mm. that antique look. Um, but I tried once, um, just as an experiment, oh, I'll wash the wadding first, mm. just to see if it does stop the shrinkage. Um, and perhaps I'd got, well, I thought that I'd put it on a woolens wash, um, but it, it wasn't really usable when it came out. Oh, really? But that could just be me, <laughs> okay. you know, sort of. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I no, I, I think life's too yeah. short to pre-wash your wadding, but you know, I don't know. Let yeah. me know if you've ever done it. What do you think? Have you tried pre-washing your wadding? Do you find it works better? I I don't even pre-wash my fabrics. I'm too no. impatient. No. I do if it's if I'm using um, two different colours that are very strong. Yeah, like a dark red or a dark yeah, green. Yeah, I might. Yeah. I might possibly wash those, yeah. but other than that, no. What I do do if uh, I mean. Most of our quilts get put through the wash because we just, you know, they're not precious. We no, no. Um, but I will put uh, the colour catcher sheets, mm. even if, you know, sort of, that one's not being washed actually, but even when I put that one in the wash, I'll probably put two or three colour catchers. Oh, okay. Just, just in case. Peace, yeah, just for peace of mind. Okay. But, um, but they, do, they do work well, um, mm. you know, when you take them out of the machine. There is always a little bit of colour run. That I often pre-wash dressmaking fabric, though. That is one thing I do, because if my dress shrinks, I'd be very annoyed. Yeah, yeah. I made a patchwork dress. Did you? Yeah, I've always wanted to do it. It's been one of my great aims in life, and I finally did it. Yeah. Um, I've got some fabric. And so I did pre-wash that, yeah. but if that shrinks, yeah, and, really and it had cross, a lot of yeah. pieces in it, yeah. I did it in pinwheels. Yeah. Batik lovely. pinwheels. Yes. Wow. I look like a walking quilt. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a challenge. Yeah. Um, there's, um, I don't know how many years ago it was now, uh, Dolce & Gabbana did a patchwork collection. Did I don't they? know if John, John Scott mm. perhaps posted, oh, I, I bet you it was maybe before or during the very first lockdown, oh. um, just some runway shots, but they look stunning. Um, but really, you know, well, sort of the, crazy it's all prints. in, the yeah. patchwork jacket, yeah. isn't it? I've got um, a pattern for a jacket and it says, in the you will need a patchwork quilt. I thought, well, I'm not going yeah. to have a patchwork quilt. I'm yeah. going to have to make one. Is it the Hoeva? Ho I don't know. I don't know, don't know what it's called. There's one. You're maybe um, on the last strip now. Yes. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> then everyone switched off and gone for I it. know, but you think. <laughs> so we've spent a lot of time talking about it. We've gone yeah. through the fabrics. We've unpicked a bit. Yeah, we've chatted. Sorry. We've talked about Bruce Forsyth and Ivan St. Clair and don't know whether they ever got married. And you even, in that time, you've finished Still the whole book. yeah. But no, you, you will be. Um, much I don't know better. what the pattern was for the jacket, but it just said that you needed a patchwork yeah. quilt. I thought, so I'm going to have to make a patchwork yeah. quilt. Yeah, so that's kind of put me off a bit. Yeah, but no, they are quite um, trendy, aren't they? Very, no, very, very clothes. trendy. Well, crochet clothes as well, and yeah. patchwork clothes, really trendy. If you've got this in your... <laughs> Hannah just launched into a West Country accent. If you've got this in your basket... <laughs> I think she's... It's not pirate day today. If this is in your basket, you need to check out. Um... There are more people who have this in their baskets <laughs> than we have available. <laughs> I'm not sure why she's talking like a pirate. <laughs> are you making fun of me, Hannah? 
Yeah. Just because I come from the West Country, you making fun of me? I've never. I've if you have this quilt in your basket, you need to check out because we have more people that want it than is available. But it is a thing of beauty. Make it for someone for a present and then keep it for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't finished in time. And guys, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buy them a duvet cover <laughs> from the pound shop <laughs> and keep it for yourself. I know. I'd struggle to give this one away. Absolutely. I must admit, it's one of my favourites. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't give this away because yeah. I love it. The other one, which, bless it, it does look sorry for itself now. It was um, a flannel quilt and it was oh. such a pig to do. But you, you know when you um, sent me your um, penguin one? Yes. How stretchy and <laughs> naughty flannel fabrics are. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was such a labour of love, sewing that thing together. Yes, Amanda made quilted my beautiful, I made a penguin quilt for a friend's baby and Amanda quilted it for me, but it was all made You've in got flannel. With some like one inch half square triangles in there, weren't that? Yeah. 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 It was very small. Yeah. There were different sized penguins. Yeah. It was, um, I think Elizabeth it was, Hartman, was it Elizabeth Hartman like, design? Yeah. But I made it all in flannel fabrics, like white and black and gold. It took me ages and print yeah. flannels to find it. It did look amazing when it was quilted oh, so it though, was didn't good. it? Yeah. What was funny is I gave it to my friend, I posted it to her and she opened it up and she was so impressed, she thought it was absolutely beautiful because she had it on the wrong side with all the quilting. Oh no. And then when she opened it all up, she, <laughs> she, she, she was like, oh. <laughs> but she said that for quite a long time, she was, I think, there with her husband, she's like, oh wow, look at this. So I think she thought, because I'd just done it as a whole yeah. cloth with the quilting. Imagine the surprise yeah. when she realised on the back there were some penguins. Yeah. Was that hard to quilt then? No, well, you, you've done really well. Your piecing was accurate, <laughs> so it stayed square. Mm. Um, but that is a, a tricky thing with a flannel quilt right. and with Minky as well. There's there's just so much movement in oh, it. Oh, okay. Um, but no, your, yours was really good. Okay. Um, but this one that there were so many pieces though. It was probably very stable. Yes. In the yeah, end, with lots of stitch lines lots which help. Of yeah, stitching. Stable. Um But uh, yeah, our other favourite one at home is um, it is just a uh, charm square size. You know, just mm. like a something you'd see in an old Western movie kind oh, of thing. Right, okay. So rough so and just redder. squares, just together. squares, and on the back, I just used a flannel bed sheet, mm. and we fight over it because really? it's so warm. Um, but bless it, it does look sad. It does look sorry for itself. Look at that! That's but brilliant. Said, yeah, yeah, so that's absolutely brilliant, and it works. Yes. I mean, look what at I, that. What I would do now is just, so just you know, sort of pin it out. Or type it out. If okay, you've got a bit you need of to just move type. it over oh, down a bit. There we go. Yeah, so I would perhaps just. You're aiming for 12 and a half, so it might be just a little bit of masking tape if it's really wonky, mm. but it's not too bad. But even just a spritz of starch, and that will just, and it will just shrink, shrink it back, back again. into shape. But that's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? But you think if you've made that whilst doing everything else yeah. as well, that yeah. if you're actually concentrating yeah. and it's quiet, how yeah. quickly you, you can actually get, put this yeah. quilt together. Yeah, yeah. so um, I mean, we can't really get that good an idea with... But you and could, then once you've made them all, I guess, then you can play with the layout. Then you can play about, yeah. So you could have them barn raising, you could have a central barn raising, you could have just standard so straight So if you go onto um, Google or Pinterest and put in log cabin... Settings, yeah. Um, setting, arrangement, what are they called? Um, I, I think I would probably, t yeah, log cabin... Variations. Block layouts. Oh, block, like, yes. Yeah, and so then you can see what the different see, ones yeah. are. So you could just have a straight setting. Um, oh, that's true. And then as, as it came down, so I would have another peach there and perhaps a peach mm. there. Um, no, I wouldn't. I would have a blue there so that you get lines or you can put them. But you could lay them all out on the floor, take a picture, change the arrangement yeah. and then just decide which yeah. one you want. Yeah. Um, you could oh, do that's it quite nice. if you've got another like peach there and have like, um, I think, do they call it a sunshine? I don't know setting. what that called. I think that's a sunshine setting. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, that would look nice. So you would just have. Yeah. What give you the effect of circles? Just depending on what you yeah. say. Have a go, yeah. or you can do it that or way around. Or follow. Yeah. I'll do it that way around. Yeah. Well, that was fab. That was fab. Yes. The kit. We have a few left, but not many. Let me warn you. So we have got more of these kits in baskets than we actually have in stock. 
So if you've got it in your basket and you want it, you need to check out. So remember, it's we'll make the same size that's on the wall, which is 60 by 72 inches. But in these mode of colourways, which are very similar, they're the same um, peachy greens, teals and charcoals. Um, they are different, but they are the same colour codes. You get full instructions, which you can then use time and time again with your own fabric. So make this one, keep it. Um, yeah, so they, that log cabin block you can use for lots of other quilt designs. So make this one, keep it for yourself. And then you can make one for somebody else. But in here, you've got all the fabric you need to make the quilt and a cushion front. Um, and another one too, if you cut carefully. So everything you need to know, watch Amanda's demo back when you bought it. But if it's in your basket, you need to check out because there are people, there are people who are going to, you know, remember if you haven't shopped with us before, you can check out as many times as you like. It's 3.95 PMP per day. If you check out now, you can then check out again in a half an hour, in 20 minutes, in another three hours. The basket is closed at midnight and at that point the PMP is applied. So don't think, oh, I won't check out until I've decided what else I want. Check out now to secure it because if it's in your basket and someone else wants it, they will just, well, they won't know they will, but they will, it will get, they won't do it, they won't know, but it will come out of your basket if you see what I mean. Anyway, that was fab. Thank you so much, Amanda. That You're was welcome. brilliant. Well done. Yeah. I will see you back in another hour an to hour. do the news gay. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that because that's so yes, pretty. Some nice techniques. Isn't yes, that? that would be really good. It's a beautiful quilt. We'll see you back here Lovely. in Thanks. an hour. And I will see you back here in just a few minutes' time when it's all about the FPP and the quilting tools. Thank you for joining me so far, and I'll see you in a bit. Too far. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school. I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with the sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Um, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas. So do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. 
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media and pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Um, thank you if you joined me in the last half of this fantastic quilt. <gasps> it's almost sold out. If you want the quilt kit, quickly check out. Anyway, we've got some lovely fabrics and tools from this year in this hour. Um, quite a little bit of FPP actually. Love, love, love FPP. I'm going to start off with some classic stash building bundles. So this is, if I had to choose my favourite background fabric, um, I would choose this cotton because I love calico. I love the look of calico. I like the seeding in it. But some there are calicos and there are calicos. Some are more open and more flexible than others. So if I meet, want to use a calico type fabric with quilt, other quilting weight fabric, say if you're making like a red and white quilt, red and this is look amazing. So it's our, our normal quilting weight fabric beautiful quality but it is, has that natural calico look with the natural seeded effect in it and it is absolutely gorgeous it really it's it, this this piece is pre-cut into two meters 14.99 for the whole two meters so it's your normal 44 inch width but, but it's a two meter piece well it's folded in half oh completely so this is the width of the fabric all of this so for 14.99 this is all the fabric i'll keep going all of it 49 so this is great for um obviously brilliant for quilting if you want to use it as a background fabric really good for things like cushion backs tote bags it because it has that calico look and feel and effect but it is but it is the same weave as a normal quilting weight cotton, so it does sit together with it better. So in less, if I wasn't using a white and I wanted a cream, this is the one I'd use because I love that natural fleck. In single figures <clears throat> on this bundle, so um, if you want, we need to get it checked out. 14.99 for two meters, 44 inch width. Amazing. Right, now white. So exactly the same fabric. 
This is all, always a fabric that people want. It's white. It is your necessity. Looks beautiful with blue. Looks lovely with primaries. Um, two meters of white fabric. Always useful. You know, like with um, Amanda's quilt here, she used the white fabric for the background. It is brilliant. It makes obviously white makes other fabrics show up so it depends on the effect whether you want that sort of more traditional neutral um, natural seeded look or whether you want the crisp white bright fabric 15 pounds for two meters and remember it is your normal quilting weight cotton it's 44 inch width 112 centimeters two meters of it very nice to have in your stash so you know when i say to you with these kits if you want your kit to go further um, and you want or you've got some fabric like with those extra wide fabrics and I said you could use make six cushion fronts from half a meter of extra wide fabric but use a plane on the back this is where this kind of fabric comes in useful because you've then got all of that fabric you can make loads of cushion backs on that but just lining really good for linings but you know, when you haven't got it and you haven't got the white cotton fabric, it's really good if you just want to put a little pocket into something. But it is our, it is beautiful quality. It is quilting weight cotton. It's the regular fabric that we use. It's not, I mean, we often mix and match plain fabrics with our designer fabric bundles. So we have to use fabric of a similar quality. Otherwise they don't sit together properly. So this is our, it's called optic white. So it is your lovely bright white, 14.99 for two meters. Put it in your basket, check out, and then keep it on your, keep it in your little stash. Cause we've all got a little fabric stash. And, and it's really good for background. So if you've bought maybe Amanda's um, pattern from before and you need some background fabric, this is ideal. If you multiply, remember this comes as a two meter cut piece. So if you buy two, it will be in two individual two meter pieces. It won't be a whole four meter. So when we sell fabric in bundles, it is pre-cut like that. But we don't normally, do, we don't normally sell stock of these like this. We normally do it in individual half meters. So this is a really good price. Um, so it's because, well, they get put into quilt kits all the time. We haven't got enough stock. Right, the natural seeded cotter bundle has gone already. Half of the stock of the white fabric bundle's gone. I'm not surprised because it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful. So we obviously should have made some more, but the problem is it's just the stock in the way. We are, we are, this is why we, quite, we have to keep having little clearance days to make a little bit, a little bit more room. There's only 10 of these left, only 10 left. So if you want it, you need to check out. If you've got any questions at all, please do message sewingstudio at sewingstreet.com and I will answer you. Yeah, if you've just checked out that and you love a bit of quilting, we've got this new book. Now, who loves foundation paper piecing? I used to hate it and then I realised I hated it because I couldn't do it. I couldn't understand it and I actually really liked it so one day I sat down with YouTube my best friend and worked out how to do it and now I'm obsessed with it I absolutely love it and I love it because foundation paper piecing known as FPP allows you absolutely perfectly accurate images pictures scenes symbols piecing without having to think about it without having to match seams it is amazing and you get you use tiny pieces of fabric to create really intricate pieces and because you're sewing on and through paper you get an absolutely perfectly accurate thing um, and it, a lot of people say oh I, I don't understand it, it you, you just have to work out once you get the concept that you're working in reverse it's very very easy I'm going to do a little demo and show you how to do it it's not from this book because I didn't want to um, I want to show you the principle it's easy and I think the best way to start with FPP is use a really easy shape so you get it in your head and then honestly it's easy peasy and for me FPP is my mindful sewing it's the time where I want to just relax and switch off and I it's very you concentrate you sew you cut you sew, you press, you cut, you sew, you press, you cut. And then before you know it, you've created a thing of beauty. But look at this. 
and it's quite nice that I mean there's because um, obviously we keep talking about the size of our fabric stashes it's really nice to have books like this where you can use your own fabrics and I often talk to you about fabrics and say this would be ideal for FPP because it's little pieces so when you cut fabric and you keep all the small pieces you keep them for your FPP the book is really good if you've never foundation paper piece before it explains everything from what paper to use I mean she mentions that because obviously it's paper you use specific paper she says I recommend Carol Dirk's foundation paper we've got that in stock I recommend it too it's brilliant you can use normal photocopy paper if you want, which is what I always did until I discovered the Carol Dirks and went, this is amazing, and now I only use that. But it depends what you want to do. If you just want to have a little go. And then look at this. Absolutely clear step-by-step -step photos of how you do it, how you prepare the patterns, and actually how you do it. Um, she uses in this book an add a quarter ruler for trimming. We've got that in stock. Got it. And my other favourite thing, I wonder if she mentions it, is the rotating cutting mat, which actually I launched the other week, brand new, and I said the first thing I would do with this is I would use it for foundation paper piece, and we've got that as well, which is great. Um, so look, then we get, so that's all the technique you'll know, and I'm going to cover that in a little bit, but then she's got the projects. So look at this. Look at the intricacy and the fine pieces with the with the crab and the octopus how would you get the that detail without foundation paper piecing so there's the instructions for that isn't that gorgeous and what's lovely about it you can just make little intricate things and then and then you can join that into other things love the mini quilts two dogs again very very intricate um, the pillow, look, little gnomes. I like that, little gnomes with um, pinwheels. Oh, and there's a little, and that one's a little duck. So a lot of these, it's showing how you can make mini quilts, and that, main, that mini quilt is using the little duck in the flower pot. This is brilliant for beginners to FPP, or somebody who wants to refresh the technique, or somebody who wants some new patterns. But all of the projects that you can use with all the blocks. So if you want to make the cushion, but you want to have the crabs on the cushion, you can. So they're just giving you ideas, which is quite nice, isn't it? That if you want to have some of the patterns and have a go, but you want to be able to give some ideas of what to do with them. So they've used um, the little dogs on baby bibs. Look, isn't that so cute? And it's, it's like the effect that you get you'd never be able to with normal patching and not even with a plique it's a very different effect and once you understand how to do it it's not difficult oh look i love the snowman so now we've got all the blocks so if you look at the blocks you can see this is where you look at thing what is that i like the fact they've colored them so this is the, when you do fpp you do it in sections so here's a so you'd make section a once now piece one is blue and piece two is white so you make section A. Then you make section B and they've coloured them in. So one is blue, two is white, three is orange, four is white and five is blue. And you piece them together in the order of the numbers. And then there's section C and D and E. And once you've made all the sections, you then sew them together. So it's all very broken down. This is already, this is all explained in here. But look at the little, look, when you see what he's made like, um, now, FPP patterns are always printed in reverse because you sew on the back of them. So don't worry that that one looks like the other way around. They're always, what, what, what do you want about? I, I'm going to show you, but a lot of FPP patterns don't, aren't coloured in. And that, I think it really helps so that you don't get confused with where you're going. So that's January 1 and January snowman 2. So we've got a little pair of snowmen. Uh, February is obviously the Valentine heart with the bow and look so what they've got is they've got the um, the template and then they've got the pieced item so you can see what they look like um, a February Valentine with an arrow but at see look at how intricate this is to be able to do that with patchwork really honestly really achievable you don't have to be an expert you just need to understand it March gnome with fish and March gnome with flower He's lovely. So you can make a whole, um, a whole quilt for the whole year. April bunny in a flower pot, obviously, and chicken a flower pot. Look, 
I mean, that wouldn't that be lovely? I love the fact that this is all year round. You could make um, like a sampler quilt for the whole year. It'd be lovely for a child's bedroom, wouldn't it? And if when you when you want to make a quilt maybe for summer, you know, because they've done this butterfly in black and orange, but you imagine it'd be beautiful, you could have a whole quilt full of butterflies all in different colours. And then what they've done here, the lines on here, they've done this in hand stitching afterwards, which is quite nice to, to finish that off. Um, then we've got another butterfly. So every month has two. I like the June watering can. That would be nice, wouldn't it? You could just make that one and put that on a pocket of your gardening apron. And tulips oh oh i like that one that is gorgeous isn't it so you could use this um just for the center of a quilt or just a cushion you can make them as cushion i'll tell you the other good thing about fpp is if you think if you think oh i really like that but i would like it to be bigger or smaller you can just photocopy it but reduce the size and it works perfectly you don't need to do anything else and it works just saying july patriotic pup with glasses and patriotic pop with hat august is the crab he's gorgeous and obviously some of these are harder than a well they're not hard some of them have more pieces to be honest they're not things are not diff sewing the pieces together sometimes people go oh it's got really small pieces it actually doesn't really make a difference to the technique it's just some take longer than others i love the crab and then we have the octopus september is acorns very cute and the squirrel. Look, <laughs> I love his teeth. They're fab, aren't they? October is the cat with the bow tie. The Halloween cat. He's slightly mad. Use that for your little Halloween bags. They're just so, FPP is such a lovely technique to do. But you could be any colour. It'd be nice in ginger stripes, wouldn't it? Um, cat with a hat. I think he's like a witch cat, a witch's cat. Um, November is a turkey with a hat, obviously. Love his eyes. And a more traditional turkey. And then December's the Christmas puppy with the Christmas bow tie. Isn't he lovely? Be nice for a, a gift bag for Christmas. You could, um, if you've bought some of that Christmas extra wide backing, you could sew that into the centre of it. Look fab, wouldn't it? And finally, another Christmas puppy. So you've got loads in there. You've got 24 different patterns and you've got all of the instructions about how to do FPP as well as all of the instructions of how to make other projects. It's amazing, isn't it? But if you want to have a go and you want to have a go of it for the first time, it's not in the book because I want to save that for you but I, the whole point is once you've learned the technique it's easy peasy it's really good um, so the fat quarters that I'm going to use for this we've got a lovely bundle I like this colourway £12.22 for seven fat quarters oh not today we've got a special price on that £9.99 today because you having these plain fabrics is perfect so this is to encourage you your beginning of your FPP journey Obviously, you could use it for anything. So you've got black, you've got royal blue, imperial purple, fuchsia, sky blue, lime green, and daffodil yellow. Less than £1.50 a fat quarter. That's a fantastic price. So that is the special plain fabric fat quarter bundle. Perfect for FPP or other things. But you've, but you've got a special saving there of 9.99 and this is our normal quilting weight quality fabric like the white fabric i was showing you earlier this is our quilting weight quality fabrics gorgeous isn't it fat quarter is 20 by 22 inches shall i show you one so you know so what they do when you make a fat quarter is you cut half a meter fabric so it's half a meter from the top to the bottom Oh, wrong way. There we go. So you cut half a metre, which is from here to here, um, from across the selvage, and then you cut the fabric in half. So the other half is the other fat quarter. So it's half a metre, so 20 inches that way, and 22 inches that way. Half of the stock of these fat quarters are gone. Don't remember your... Don't, don't remember. Don't remember. Don't forget your FPP book. 
don't forget to always remember your FPP book, which is really, really useful and great if you want to start your FPP journey because the technical instructions are really simple with it. Um, okay, should we start? Should we get my equipment? So I'm going to get the cutting mat because I love... I love doing my FPP with a cutting mat, with a rotating cutting mat. Now, this is brilliant. We had these on air before. They are fantastic. This is 12 inches square, which is perfect for FPP because you don't often do it bigger than that. Um, so it's a rotating, same as a normal cutting mat, it's rotating, but it's locked if you don't want it to be. All you have to do is open it by pushing those inwards, then turn it over. And now, look, it's rotating. So it's brilliant. The best thing about it is you can cut. So I use it for trimming like um, half square triangles. So you trim one way and instead of moving the fabric, you move the board. There we go. So that's what the rotating cutting mat is. $16.99. I use it a lot for trimming squares, but I also use it for FPP. But when you, you know, if you've ever cut your fabric and then moved around to the other side of the table to cut the other way or cut a crossways, because to get the pressure and for safety, you really need to be cutting away from yourself on the right if you're right-handed or left if you're left-handed so that's the best way to do it like now what i did was i printed out um an fpp pattern off the internet to show you so just something that i have so this is just a basic fpp pattern now this has got numbers on it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this will be a heart when it's finished as you can see but what they've done this is exactly the same technique. So if you look at the heart, you'll see it's got like one half of the heart has got several pieces of fabric and the other half is plain. So this is a really good thing. And that's what I would suggest if you haven't done FPP before, find something, find a pattern that's quite simple so you can get your head around it. Now they've let me pinch this to use. So do you know what? The one thing I forgot was a pair of scissors. So what we're going to do is start with piece number one, obviously. So I'm going to do piece number one in yellow. You can do this, um, yes. No, I'm not, I'm gonna do it in blue. Because I. if you look at the heart, in that book, the best thing about that book is their patterns are colored in. So you can see what the background are. Now, if I was gonna color this in, the background to this heart is that is number one, number eight, number 10 and number nine because you can see the heart is within it so it's nice that this is colored in what i would do is when you get your patterns if they're not colored in is just write on there the color of the fabric just to make sure you go right in the in as you're doing it otherwise you get the wrong pieces of fabric so it's quite nice that this is colored in so you can see that so with number one i'm going to do that in pale blue because i think i'd like pale blue so you've got to cut a piece of fabric that is at least quarter of an inch bigger all round than the piece. I would say half an inch. If you cut it half an inch bigger, that just gives you, or more, and if you're new to this, cut it even bigger than that. It just gives you more margin for error. Now, there are a couple of ways of doing this. You can um, trace over it. Sometimes you can see that. You can just guesstimate. You can measure it. I'm going to just place it on top, and I'm going to do it very roughly. I can see through that it, that triangle goes from there to there. Oh, these scissors are not very good. And there, and I can see that goes there. So I would say as you get more experienced and you get better at FPP, um, you'll be able to cut the pieces of fabric smaller. But to start with, do this. Now, what we're going to be doing is keeping the paper the right side up and the fabric's going underneath because we need to use these lines to draw along. This is why the patterns are printed in reverse. So there are two ways of doing this. You can either use a glue pen which is the easiest way to glue it onto the back. So this is the right side of the fabric. So the, the fabric, wrong side of the fabric goes with the wrong side of the paper. You, that's all you need to remember. And that's the one thing that people can't get their heads around is this has to be the right side of the fabric. So what I would say is when you start, use plain fabric, not a print fabric. There isn't a right and wrong side, so it's a little bit easier. But, and once you get the principle, then it's easy but to start with. So, so look, if I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna hold this up to the light. Thank you, Hannah. A morning cat, cats, cats in the office. We've got, we've got cat and Hannah today. That's nice. 
Oh, cat, we've had Hannah on as our glamorous assistant. Yeah, with bunny ears. Mmm, we did. So, you can see, look, I've got my piece of fabric. You can glue it or pin, fabric glue or pin it, up to you. I often use fabric glue, but we couldn't find it in the office, so um, I'm using a pin. So, on that side, you can see I've pinned through there. I've held it up to the light, or you can put it on a light box, so I know that there's at least a quarter of an inch of fabric all the way round. So, that's number one. Now we're going to do number two. So I'm going to, so this is like the side of my heart. I think I'm going to go yellow for number two. So again, I'm going to cut a piece of fabric that's at least a quarter of an inch bigger all round, but I would go for half an inch. And some people cut all their fabric in advance, but I prefer, I am over cutting here just to make it easier for you to see. Um, I prefer to cut mine as I go. So this is, can you see, you can see through, you can see how this is loads bigger. So I've overestimated, but um, if you draw out the pattern, you can make them a bit smaller. But to start with, let's keep it like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, we're now going to be sewing along the line between one and two. So what you do is you fold back. You can score that just with your nail, if you like, very vaguely. You fold back the line between one and two. Make sure that's, oh, that wasn't really it's because I'm trying to do it away from me. Right, fold back the line between one and two. Right, now what you need to do is cut this a quarter of an inch outside. It's all held in place. So the best thing to use for that, you can use a normal um, ruler like this, maybe one not quite as long as this, and you can put the quarter of an inch line and cut it that way. Or even easier is the add a quarter plus ruler have we got that one Hannah the add a quarter <laughs> um, the brilliant thing about this is that there's a little lip that's the that's exactly a quarter of an inch long so if you want to add a quarter to something this will butt up against there and then you get your rotary cutter which I put to one side earlier and you just cut along and that is exactly quarter of an inch so it's just a much quicker and easier way than lining up your quarter of an inch on a main rotary cutter um, the one that we have here is what's the length of this one doesn't own 12 inches 12 really good so it will cover most things but it's it's good if you've got to trim something to quarter inch you know things like um half square triangles or when you're cutting pinwheels or brilliant for fpp really really useful gadget so now we've cut that i'm now going to get my piece of yellow fabric and i'm going to put them right sides together matching them up i'm going to put them centrally so I'm just matching those up and they and they must be right sides together. And then just hold them in place and fold it back because we're going to be sewing along that line. You can, this is what I do at this stage, is I pin along the lines. You sew along the lines. But when I, I just want to be sure before I do it that this is in the right place. So I just hold it up to make, if you then fold this piece over, because that's where you're going to be sewing, and make sure if you hold it up to the light, or you see here, that that, that piece of yellow fabric goes all the way around the lines and it does so that's fine if it doesn't because sometimes when you cut it you've you've realized it's not covering because it needs to come a quarter of an inch outside all of these lines you just can move it over a little bit right when you sew and do fpp you need a nice short stitch length the reason for that is so i do about a one and a half um you are going to be sewing through the paper the smaller the stitch length, the closer the perforations of the needle going through the paper are, so the easier it is to rip the paper away, which we'll be doing later. Um, also, it just makes it a bit tighter, especially if you've got lots of pieces, it makes it a bit more stable. Now, when you start with FPP, um, this I'm starting at the top of the block, so you can sew beyond there, but when you come to the end of this piece, you can see that is within the block. Don't stitch beyond the line, just do a couple of little reverse stitches. So I'm gonna sew from here, you can sew just outside it a bit, 
and then stop in the middle but along that line between one and two so so far so easy the only the only thing i would say you maybe need to think about is being absolutely sure that your pieces fit but if you just hold them up to the light if it doesn't I'd move it over or cut a bigger piece right so now I'm sewing between one and two this paper we're going to be getting rid of later so I'm using ordinary photocopier paper here but the foundation paper the Caradoc is brilliant it's thinner so it's easier to tear away you can put it through the print your photocopier so you can print designs on it um, it's also has completely matte whereas a photocopy paper has a little bit of a sheen which makes it a little bit more slippery but it's absolutely fine it's absolutely fine but as you progress now in the pack you get a hundred sheets I use mine I trace on it I can put it through my printer I was worried because it is quite fine it's lightweight but it goes through absolutely no problem at all um, it's not very absorbent so it will take the ink that you go through the photocopy but it won't transfer onto the fabric if no I mean it is absorbent it won't let the ink go through <laughs> while we're out. It's, it is um, and it does help it is a lot easier if you've done FPP before it's so much easier to tear away it really is um, and it works it but it is brilliant 100 sheets 14.99 I hadn't ever tried it before until we launched it on here absolutely love it if you do FPP this makes a difference you get 100 sheets there as well right so now we've done one and two so the, what we need to do now is press it open so just get my little pressing mat so this there are a couple of ways of doing FPP in different orders this is just the order that I like to do in it do it in if you do FPP already and you do it in a slightly different order you might cut and then press that's fine but this is just the order I find these probably just the way I first learned so press this seam over to one side now It always helps if you turn your iron on first top tip top tip top designer tip always turn your iron on first which is usually indicated by the red line <laughs> idiot right okay so there's number two let me just move my ironing board out of the way so what we're going to do now is sewn on one and two make sure that's lying flat i, I felt it moving um, i'm now going to sew on number three so i'm going to have green for number three um, remember you can just measure these or hold the i usually hold the fabric to it i can be just as to make sure it's really big and to make it really easy i'm going to just cut it extra large but sometimes what I do is I'll cut it in strips so I'll work out maybe I need two inch strips for most of this and then I can just cut it down but you can see now double check that goes along there nicely so the line between two and three is where we're going to sew on next I always just run my nail across and then I can fold it and we're going to fold all the way across all the way so although if you look at it that line's going through there don't worry about that we're folding it all the way across so let's get our add a quarter ruler and we're now going to trim those fabrics always keep your cut off pieces because you might need them for another piece so adding in a quarter of an inch seam allowance trim that off now because i i want a straight line for this so i'm actually going to um because i cut that with a pair of scissors because I want to match up some straight lines I'm just going to trim that into a straight line so now I'm going to put that right sides together with these pieces I'm just going to hold it in place and turn it over and make sure so I'll put a pin in at the line between two and three at one end and this is the best way if you do this because the thing is with unpicking with FPP you can do it but you have to do it very carefully because the lines the perforations are very close together you could end up ripping the paper if you want to do it so try and get it right so I've put my pins either side so I'm just going to fold number three. Oh, I didn't catch that one um, I'm just going to fold there we go number three over and make sure it covers at least quarter of an inch around the whole piece I'll hold it up to the light yep yeah, that's fine 
So this is why when you start, if you use bigger pieces of fabric than you need, there's a little bit more margin for error. So now I'm going to sew two, three. I'm going to sew from the top of that two line down to the bottom of it. I'm not going to sew beyond it because there's a line that crosses. So you just sew the line. So put it under the machine. Make sure it's all nice and flat. Lower the needle at the beginning of the line. You can take one pin out now. Do a couple of stitches forward slowly and then do a couple of stitches backwards or a lock stitch and then sew along the line. Now this is the why FPP is so fab because you are sewing along lines. So it's perfect and it's lovely, particularly if you're new to stitching. But you can start to see the process now. I get to the end and I'm going to do a couple of either lock stitches, which a lock stitch is where you do two or three stitches on top of each other. Um, but you see the process. So I'm sewing now. Then you come and you press it open. It's a really lovely process. Sewing, pressing. Also that um, foundation, the Carol Dirk paper, is absolutely fine to be pressed. It doesn't wrinkle, it doesn't go funny. So it's because it is invented especially for that. Okay. So now I've got two and three. So I've laid that like that. So now if I, rather than moving that, I can just move my cutting mat so it's in the right place. Um, and then the line between three and four, I'm going to fold that one over like that. It was just double check it. You can, oh, it's not quite right, is it? It doesn't matter too much because this is only so that I can trim. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate, but near enough. Um, now that's in the wrong place, isn't it? But I don't want to move my fabric because it's all right. But if you've got a rotating cutting mat, look, I'm moving it to exactly where I want it to be. Mm. But you're saving your fingers in that small movement because you can cut that way, but you shouldn't. It's so much easier. And most FPP is smaller blocks. So this 12 inch rotating mat is fab. It's just fab. If you've got the, the paper, the ruler, the cutting mat, fantastic. But obviously, I mean, you use them for other things, but this is just one thing. And it's so little, you can just store it on a shelf. So there's, um, there's it cut between three of, so now we need piece four. So I think I might go for this one. This is going to be a rainbow heart, isn't it? Again, I'm going to, I'm going to um, overestimate how much fabric I need, just to show you, but you measure yours. And as you, once, once you finish one piece, you'll get better at it, at getting it just right. When I do it normally, I don't cut such big pieces, but it's worth using your sort of fabric scraps to start with. And then you get, then you will work out the placement. So this piece four needs to go from here to here. So right sides together. Because I'm using plain fabric, it's not too difficult because there is this, they're the same. But all of this, um, everything I'm doing is in the book. So it's just so that you can see it, see it visually. I don't think I'm going to have time to do with the whole heart. But I, it's just the technique. So pin it between three and four. And then, as I said before, fold this piece over and just double check it covers it by at least quarter of an inch all round. You can hold it up. Now I would, that's a little bit tight. This fabric is a, quite close to here. So rather than sew it and it be just a bit close, I'm going to move it over a bit. And this is the beauty of the pinning because the is, it's just a bit too, so I'm going to move that over a little bit. And then I can see because the unpicking it's not that unpicking is difficult, it's that um, the perforations in the fabric, you can do it, but just do it very carefully. It does start to tear and then you can't sew along it anymore. So let me just pin it one more time. Now, if I fold this over and hold it up, that covers it beautifully. So I'm going to sew the line between three and four. How long do I have, Hannah? Right, okay, well, I'll just finish this one piece and then you can see that. But, but do you see what I mean? It doesn't matter how many pieces you've got. 
doesn't matter how many people whether you've got lots of pieces or how big the pieces are the technique is exactly the same now there are several fpp projects that you have you make sections and then you join them together so it's all done in the same way so if this was one section you would just make this and then join it to another section so i'll just do the last piece so you can see um, you press this open over to one side and then that's that piece done so we've now got the beginnings of the heart but you can see where I've got all of the numbers here and you just carry on so you do five then you do six you might think why they're in that order but they are done when you see an FPP project it's designed in a specific order so the pieces go together and then when you've sewn all of the pieces together you just tear the paper away and then so it might look a bit like what is you know but look look at that that seam how would you ever get that matching so perfectly in the middle that's number seven goes in the num goes in the corner there goes a bit like that you wouldn't be able to be really hard to, pe to piece that shape. But I, this, is my, um, this is similar to my crochet in front of the telly in the evening, which I find really relaxing and lovely. If I want to do something and I really want to concentrate and just lose myself completely, because it's the, you know, you, you've got cutting, sewing, pressing, cutting, sewing, pressing, and, you, and it is just, lo it's a lovely thing to do. Anyway, that's FPP and we have, and it does make a big difference if you have the right tools. So the book, paper piecing, it does talk. So where I was just showing you, look, cutting, folding. It talks about exactly um, stitch pieces in numerical order. Don't forget to set your stitch length to one and a half. I'm glad you said the same as me. You know, when you read, you make do things, and then you read and think, oh, thank goodness it's the same. Pin the wrong side of piece one onto the unprinted side. So it's all there. It tells you how to make copies of the pattern, how to divide it. So you need to make, you will have to photocopy this book in order to get the patterns for it. Um, double check. I like this. Look, double check to avoid seam ripping. Oh, good, because I just said that. <laughs> so it's, look, it's all in there. So once you've got the book, what I was doing will make even more sense gorgeous isn't it so you need the book it will really help if you have the paper because it is a lot better I mean the book explains that but it does make a difference you can use if you're just starting out and you want to see whether you like it or not normal the cheapest photocopy of paper you can get because the thin cheaper normally it's thinner the thinner the better but this is will give you a better finish you will get more finish the add a quarter ruler fantastic but not just for FPP, but really useful whenever you need to cut something with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Fantastic, because it is absolutely accurate. There we go. And don't forget the rotating cutting mat. So I use mine a lot. I do a lot of half square triangle patchwork, which I really like. And um, when you have to cut, so maybe you do a half square, whether you do it in twos or fours. So, you know, if you put two squares together, cut your squares about an inch bigger than you want your finished half square triangle. So if you want a three inch half square triangle, cut two squares, four inches. You put them right sides together and then you sew two seams either side of the centre square. When you then press that open, it needs trimming to be the exact size. So if you're trimming a square of fabric, um, I'm just going to get one and show you. For example, look at this really badly. But if you are trimming a square of fabric with a ruler, and so say I want a two inch square. No, well, I've got enough here for three, haven't I? Three inch square. So I would cut this side to level it up now I need to cut it three inches on the other side but I don't want to move this because when you cut the fabric it's all, I lined it up with the lines it's sort of stuck into the board so all I need to do turn it round put my ruler on and cut I'm going to go for two and a half my fabric's not quite oh yes it is oh sorry I'm, oh it is it's just I'm using the other side of the ruler so then I cut that three 
remove that. Now I want to cut the other sizes, but I don't want to move the fabric and I don't want to be cutting like that because that is, end up cutting your fingers off. Turn your mat round. Um, trim that side. And then we'll turn that round again and then we'll trim the other side. So when you don't want something to move and you need to trim it, isn't that brilliant? And then you get a perfect piece without, particularly when, I mean, obviously this is a plain piece of fabric. If you've pieced it because it's a half square triangle, then things start shifting a bit. But if you can just keep it still, it just makes a difference. So if you ever find you're cutting and you're either going around to the other side of the table or you're cutting across ways, if you find you're cutting that way to get around the side, you need a rotating cutting mat. And I quite like this. We do sell them in, there is a bigger size as well. I quite like this size because you can easily just put it on a shelf. And then if you don't, for storage, or if you don't want it to rotate, just turn it back over. Um, you need to line it up. So these bits need to be there. And then you just push them out like that and then that locks it into place. It's got all the normal measurements. It's got all the inch measurements. It's got the 45, the 30 and the 60 degree angles, but it's got circles as well. It's a fab product. Right. Or a fill. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I've got lots on my desk and lots of little pieces of fabric as well. Um, this is brilliant. The Necessities Collection. Have you ever used Orofil thread before? If you have, message me in. I have and I love it. I didn't used to. I used to use um, less expensive thread. thread. And this is great because Orofil is Egyptian long staple cotton, but it's made in Italy. Orofil is an Italian company. Um, <laughs> Kat just dropped them. They're very, very durable. <laughs> These are brilliant. So this is your 50 weight thread, which is your normal thread that you use for normal patchwork quilting, um, hand sewing, dressmaking. It's, your no it's not your thick thread or your super thin. It's your normal weight thread. You've got four spools of it and there are is it 12 let me actually read the bottom 1300 meters on each spool but you've got your basic colors so you've got white um like a deep cream pale gray and black so that will cover pretty much all of your sewing and it is lovely it doesn't bobble in the machine so you know when you've been using thread for a while and you get a little a bobble in it it is 50 weight thread but because it's egyptian long staple cotton it um, lies flatter, so it feels finer. It sits more within the fabric. You get a better finish with it. And these reels, they just go on forever. 1,300 meters, that's a lot of thread, serious amount of thread. And it just try it. That's what I would say is I'm often skeptical of things until I try them. But this is a well-known brand. Orofil make thread for lots of the big fabric designers and they have their own chosen fabric collection. So Tula has, Tula Pink has her Orofil thread. Kay Fassett has his Orofil thread. Even John Scott's got his own Orofil thread. I mean, it is gorgeous. But as a, well, this is a necessity. To start off with, it's really nice to have four reels of these basic colors. So 35.99, put it in your basket, have a go and see what you think. If you've used Orifle Thread and you like it, message us in and tell us, because do you know what? Your recommendations are better than anyone else's, so just let us know. So Orifle Necessities, $35.99. Friends, yes. Friends! I had to just go to friends. <laughs> The Quilting Friends Ruler, that's so cute. You know when you just want, you didn't, when you saw me just now trying to cut those, that square with a massive ruler. You know when you just want a little ruler. So this is two and a half inches wide by six inches. And it has little hearts on it. It's got the, um, the metric on one side and then it's the, the normal inch measurements on that side. But when you just want to do little cutting, so this is ideal for um, trimming small pieces. It's brilliant. Um, all of this one, oh, it's covered up. It has a barcode on it. Um, it is, even though it's so small, it is non-slip. So on the other side, it has got the non-slip 
pieces on it all the way round so that when you use this for cutting so that although it's little you know sometimes when you've got such a big ruler it's quite hard to manipulate if you want just a little little ruler it is ideal two inch two and a half inches by six inches depending what you're cutting it's just a really nice thing to keep in your box but also just great for when you need to draw lines so you know when you're doing like your half square triangles and you have to draw a diagonal line down the center it's really useful for that because it's much easier to to do on that I mean it depends on what sort of sewing you do but if you're just trimming small pieces it's quite nice to have the different size rulers so 16.99 but you know Creative Grids is a great brand it's a quality ruler and you will use it it will sit in your work kit and you will use it loads in your little sewing box it's perfect mm. even though it's small you know that you're going to use it for loads and loads of different things and the grids got have got hearts on the grips sorry the grids they are so you know the, where the little grippy bits are hearts so these little um textured bits are hearts obviously those there and that will hold it really still very ideal and nice if you need a little ruler that you need to draw along or cut along this is ideal fantastic uh, yeah, I just want to mention wadding very quickly because I was talking to Amanda about it in the previous hour. I'm going to bring the wadding over. Right, am my back? So sorry about that. My batteries rang out. That probably means I need a cup of tea, doesn't it? My batteries ran out. So I'm going to go with the... Um, which one do you want me to go through first? I'm going to go for this cotton wadding, this queen size, 90 by 108 inches. Yeah. Um, but this one is ideal. This is more the, for the quilts that Amanda made in the last hour and is going to be making in the next hour as well. Cotton wadding. So 90 by 100. This is the one that if you would hear for the last hour that Amanda and I were chatting about. This is her favourite one and mine as well because after you've made your quilt, you pop your quilt in the machine on a cold water wash and you get, and it shrinks slightly so that you get that lovely antique quality. It is beautiful. So it's 80% cotton but it's 20% polyester which gives it its extra strength as well. It's a really, really lovely wadding. So that's the queen size. Um, if you need a bigger one, your wadding needs to be eight inches bigger at least than the, for your finished quilt. So just remember that. So um, if it's because you need the quilt and the backing fabric to be bigger so that when you come to quilt it, you've got room to spread it out and you can trim it afterwards. Um, so this one is 120 by 120 inches. It's, it's the king size. Now remember, if you're using wadding in a, la a lot of projects, so maybe you like to quilt your cushions or your tote bags or whatever, then having a big piece, you don't need to use this just for one big quilt, or you can use the offcuts for that, but it's really useful to have a load of wadding because then it's always there. It's like having the, the plain white fabric, having the wadding, it's really, but it is a beautiful wadding. It's needled really well, which means it's compressed so that you can sew nicely through it, which means it doesn't um, beard, which is when lodding, wadding fibers come up through the top fabric. It's a quality wadding, and this is the one, because Amanda was saying, because she has a long arm quilting business, this is the one that she keeps in stock and uses for um, her client's quilts. So that's, that's the one, 37.99. Measure your quilt. Your wadding needs to be at least eight inch bigger all round. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me in this hour. Um, hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, and I've encouraged all of you to do FPP. 
Now, the quilt, the nosegay quilt is on pre-order already. This is the one that Amanda's going to be demonstrating in the next hour. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful qu finished quilt. And the, it is available in three different colorways. The colorway that's on the wall is, um, is the one that I'll be showing that will be up in the break so you can see about order. It's already on pre-order. Get your quilt kit now, and then you can sit back and enjoy the demo. And I'll see you back in a couple of minutes time. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store.
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Sewing Street. Hey, look at that quill. How gorgeous that. It's been massively popular on pre order. It's gorgeous. Um, designed obviously by the wonderful Amanda Little, and I'm going to be asking about it in a minute. Give you a bit of inspiration behind it, but it is beautiful. Complete kit with Jason Yenta fabrics, full instructions. Less. It has been going wild on that. Less than 20 kits. We've got it in three colourways though three colourways so let's start with the colourway that's behind Amanda on the wall we've seen the picture of so in the kit full instructions obviously full instructions with everything you need there they are um, as you know they're, they're brilliant they make sense easy to understand um, thoroughly tested by Amanda thoroughly tested many times <laughs> she knows they work and we trust her <laughs> so it's all good <laughs> Now, these are all Jensen Yenta fabrics, and I know how much you love them, and I know lots of you buy them without really knowing what you're going to do with them, but here you go. So, in the kit, you get half a metre of the purple. Shall I just show you? I'm not going to show you all of them, because it'll take too long. Well, actually, opened up. But this is what one of them looks like. Less than 15 of these bundles in the bar in left. In the I was going to say in the basket, but no, less than 15, they're checked out. So you get half a metre of the purple. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Um, you then get, let me just fold that back up. That's really bad, isn't it? Half a metre, no, a metre of green. Look at the colours in it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's not just one colour of green. You've got all different shades of green. You've got lights and darks and circles and bits that look like they weren't rubbed out. Oh, single figures of these left when everyone's checked out. That's the green. And then you get one and a half metres of the pink. I mean, I just need to do need to unfold it a little bit. Look at that. Look at the colours. You've got pinks, mauves, fuchsias, very pale pink. It's like um, batik ombre all mixed together with a print on top of it. Full instructions. And then to make this, you need white fabric. So you get a metre and a half in the, in the whole kit of white fabric. Right, there are only four of these left now. 59.99 for all that, three colours of Jason Yenta fabric, all the white fabric and the instructions to make the quilt. 59.99. What size is the finished quilt, Amanda? Uh, She's going to measure gonna, it. She uh, can't remember. Ooh, I think it's well, about 48 by 60-ish or thereabouts. <laughs> Shall I go? I'll tell you what, I'll give you a tape measure, Amanda, <laughs> while I do the next kit. Sorry. There we go, you measure it. <laughs> Not that Amanda designed it, but she's forgotten. <laughs> so while Amanda measures her own quilt, we'll do. Now we have other colours. 
Um, which one should I do next? The purple and green one. Right, so we've got another bundle. Now, obviously, you've got the instructions. You've got the meter and a half of white fabric, but these are the three colours. So you get half a meter of the pale blue. Um, it's all Jason Yenta. <gasps> Not many of these left. Mm, only three of these left. So you've got the pale blue, half a metre. Then you've got a metre of the green. I like this one. This one's a bit like crocodile -y, isn't it? Pool tiles, actually, not crocodiles. Pool tiles. Yeah, I can see that. And then you've got a metre and a half of the purple. Let me just show you the purple. I love this purple. Look at this. Metre and a half of this one. So this this one is the border. Yeah, I would say that that would replace. Yeah, the, so um, it replaces yeah. the pink. So this is the border of the quilt and the outer edges of the flower. Yeah. So we'll show you in a minute, but that's what that was for. Full instructions and a metre and a half of white fabric. This one is about to sell out. So we've got purple, two of these left. Purple and blue for the flowers, and green for the leaves. And then finally, now this is my favourite one, because I love this green colour. So you've got a, a half a metre of this pale blue. This is very swimming pool -y, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So this one is the um, inner, think it would be inner the parts of the flowers. Yeah. So this is the blue, this will have blue flowers. Um, then you get a metre and a half of this dark blue and this is the border and the outer parts of the flowers. Anywhere there's pink basically on the main quilt. So this gives you blue flowers, I'll put them together. They like nice blue flowers. Mm. This is made, and the, I, the reason I love this one the most is A, I love the colour of this green and B, I love blue hydrangeas and those blues are the... It does look like a hydrangea. Yeah, and that could be a hydrangea, couldn't it? It could, it could. It anything. could be anything you, <laughs> you want, want it, it to be. be. <laughs> and that is absolutely the colour of when you go to Brittany and you see those blue hydrangeas. And then the green is this gorgeous green. It's like a yellowy green. Citrine is my favourite green. So I think that is a beautiful bundle. So if you want a blue flower quilt, and actually I, I have lots of hydrangeas and some of the leaves are, they do go this really light greeny yellow up to a very, very deep, deep green, but that's gorgeous, isn't it? So that's my favorite one. And full instructions, put it all together. Single figures on that one. Um, do we have, the, we have the instructions on their own, don't we? We do. So if you've got your own fabric stash, I mean, I know not many of you do, but if you happen to have your own fabric stash, um, we do have the instructions on their own. Quarter of these went on pre-order. 9 99 if you want just the instructions. Um, in the next hour as well, we've got Jason Yenta fabrics just on their own. Just saying. So if you want more Jason Yenta or you want to put some on the back, or maybe um, you are going to make your own and you want to buy your own fabric. Basically, you need half a metre um, for the half a metre and one and a half metres for the flowers, and then one metre for the leaves. Okay, and you'll need a metre and a half for the white. Um, Amanda, what's your favourite colourway? Um, I do like the blues and the greens that um, that you mm. like. I, I like all of them, to be honest. I don't think there's. Oh. I mean, I, I thought that was, you know, sort of when I was sent those fabrics, mm. I thought, oh, that's a really nice combination. But seeing the blues and greens, that is... That's lovely, isn't quite it? So how big is the quilt? Well, on account that I'm too short to reach the top, <laughs> I'm going to stick with 45 by 6, I think it is. OK. I just, I, I just couldn't reach the top. Um, but yes, Could sorry, have a step I, ladder. OK, lovely. Nice, but, uh, nice the, quilt. The blocks are... Um, Oops, sorry. You dropped your microphone. microphone. How big are the blocks? Um, the blocks are nine inches um, okay. square. Uh, so one, two, and then you've got one, two, three, four, inches. five, six, fifty-four, five, six. Yeah. yeah, it's probably about six. six feet. Oh, so yeah. it would be nice on the top of a single bed. Yes, a nice one for the sofa. Um, yeah, it would actually or on the wall. Yeah. Nice for a cock quilt, big cock quilt yes, as big well. Cock, yeah, yeah. Um, you could make it bigger I and mean, if, if you 
if there were extra fabrics available, you could just yeah, keep you going. Could, yes, I suppose you just repeat the block yeah, and just keep going just with it, don't repeated. you? So what level? I mean, because the log cabin, we really did say, beginner, yeah. give it um, a go. You know, this is really good. I mean, I would be inclined to say, you know, sort of confident beginner for this one. Okay. Because that, it is all just straight lines. There's no curves, nothing, you know, sort of... See, it looks tricky. like there's curves. Uh, the, it, it does Doesn't give it? you that sort of... Um, so I guess the nosegay, this is the yes, stem. Yes, so a traditional nosegay, that would be a half square triangle that would be sort of the... Yes, the, the, the holding... The bit. The yeah, the handle of your nosegay. <laughs> yeah. uh, that would be the... You, Sorry, the microphone keeps on. <laughs> that would be the wrapping. That would be, that would be the sort of the, the, leaves, the leaves around the, the edge. Yeah. And then this is the flower. Yes. So you just keep making more of them, but it does. Just keep it. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's not, you're not complete beginner, but confident beginner, confident or beginner. someone who's used a sewing machine. Yeah, yeah. This bit definitely is easy peasy. Mm. Um, half square triangles and half rectangle triangles. A little bit more tricky, but nothing that you couldn't nothing you do. Can't yeah. do. And you're going to show us anyway. Yes. Yeah, I think that is really, really pretty, isn't it? Mm. Lovely. So, right, where so. do we start? You're doing demo with the one on the wall. I'm What's that one? Has that got a name? Pink and green. Gosh, how did they come up with that name? <laughs> Is this one called blue and green? Oh, possibly. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's the other one called? Chance. Purple and Purple. green. <laughs> blue and lime. Oh, blue and lime. Oh, that sounds mm. Right, sorry. Right, so Making fun of the names. Been... We should, no, yeah, don't call us. <laughs> Right. Oh, that's um, a very nice rotating cutting mat you've got there. I'm going to use I it. I love it. It is good, yeah. Have you got one? Um, no. No? I've never... I've, we've got quite a small dining... It's, you know, a dining table that you can have circular or yeah, yeah. oval. Um, so more often than not, it's circular, so I just walk around the table. Oh, right, yeah, well... <laughs> no, if, you don't need to. I've got so, rotating yeah, one of these would mat. be perfect. So here's the block. Um, and we are going to break it into the different components. Which is, there we go. Okay. Purple and blue sold down. Already? Yes, okay. hope that wasn't your favourite. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we can right. break it down into okay. um, to, to four, four units, make yeah. it a little bit um, less overwhelming, perhaps. Yes, that looks a bit more achievable yeah, now. Yeah, so this one is going to be the easier one. So, perhaps if we start with that, um, and we're going to start off because you're making, I think, 24 blocks. Um, we can do some speedy strip piecing right. um, yeah. to get through it okay. nice and quickly. So we're going to make some strip sets. This we, we're going to make that nine patch block um, to begin with. So what I've got, I'll, I've labelled this one fabric A and then background fabric. Mm. And we've just, with a quarter inch seam, gone down the length of the fabric and pressed towards the dark right. side. So that's towards the dark side. Towards the dark side. That's the first <laughs> strip set. So we'll just quickly make a second and one. And you've done all the maths, which is fab. Yes. So, so we don't have to work. How many bits do I need and how many yeah. strips? No, it's all uh, I'll say it's, it's all in the instructions. Um and then this that is the looks second. It's lovely when it's it cut is out, nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I do like that. Uh, it, like you say, it's like a, a batik. Well, it is, isn't it? With I, extra. I, I don't know. It's almost like he designs in layers. Like he puts colour on one layer, and then the, I don't have no yeah. idea how he does yeah. it. But it's just beautiful, yeah. isn't it? So um, yeah, we need to make two different strip sets: dark and light, and light and dark. Brilliant. So if we, so. This I've, I've cut very small, but uh, in reality you'll have full width of fabric, mm. but just so that I can do this quickly um, and actually, you know, sort of show you something complete. So I'm just going to put a pin at the end and then just pop that one under the foot. If it were, or when you're working on your width of fabric, mm. I would just match the selvage and it just finishes where it finishes because you, you're going to square it off Oh, anyway. okay, so, you, so it's, it's not as crucial no. then. Okay, that makes sense. So just pop this under the foot and say a quarter inch seam all the way. Okay. 
Oh, that's... Oh, sorry, no, I sorry, reduced I'm it. No, sorry, I'm still I'm sewing on the side. <laughs> no, I was doing FPP, so I put it down to one and a half. But your fabric is beautifully perforated now. <laughs> it's just... Tear, tear along the perforation. Just tear along it now. Yeah, you thought you were doing a quilt. Oh. Well, you did say you like to sew with a small, oh. a shorter seam, a shorter stitch length. I know. It was one. It was FPP length. Okay. So what I would do now is press as I go. Um, okay. Just purely because they're going to be a big long seam oh, they're you're cutting across them the yeah. whole width right yeah they're prone to um, you know sort of stretching and bowing actually we're going to press to the dark side so if you press to set the seam with the dark side facing up and then you can just flip it right flip it back yeah it's funny it's like little things like that that just, just save speeds a, it up well yeah. it just saves a bit of time doesn't yeah. it it's really hard pressing the other way isn't it oh uh, yeah it's why yeah. is that I don't it's just like pressing upwards yeah. is fine, but, but press coming downwards, down, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know yeah, very, yeah. Maybe it's your hands or something. Yeah. So same again, just quickly whiz along this seam. And again, I would have um, just starched the fabrics before I uh, cut them out. I like to best press my fabric because it smells nice. Yeah, it is lovely, and, isn't it? And um, makes that I've got a lavender one. My yeah. husband came in the room the other day and goes, why have you been spraying air freshener around? <laughs> it does, it does, it smells. Well, it is yeah. my lavender best press, I'll have you know. <laughs> but it stays in my ironing board. And yeah. then when I come back later, it's still Reactivates, there. Reactivates, yeah. I did you know iron my nice son's jeans well, with on, it the other day. On your day. bed linen. Hmm? A couple of squirts on your bed linen as well. I did so iron my son's jeans with it the other day just because yeah. it made me laugh. And he went, Mum, my <laughs> jeans smell of lavender. I went, I know, isn't it that nice? <laughs> Everyone will be able to smell yeah. you coming. Especially if it rains. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> isn't that lovely? <laughs> it's so starched. They were really creased then. They needed doing quickly. They are really difficult, creased. aren't they, jeans? Yeah. yeah. Really creased. But that does, it does help, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't have yeah. to do it, but it's yeah. those little professional tips. Sometimes it's like if you just try one thing that makes a little bit of difference. Yeah, and then, yeah, just... Uh, and that's why I love working here, because yeah. I get to listen to all the experts all the like different, you. Uh, you know, have you tried? And you think, oh, no. Okay, so but there I are two, two strip sets. Um, so what we're going to do now is there? A, oh yeah, oh, yeah that's there, there is that one okay? Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, I've yeah. got a square one. Uh, no, this one will okay. uh, be lovely, thank you. Oh, I've got. So we just I've got now, all sorts here. This this is where you wish you were a bit taller to get up above your ruler, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. This. Yes, you need an extra <laughs> mat. Right, so um, I've just chosen a line um, and I'm going to square off the edges and then hopefully all the other lines will match as well. It does. Let's just pull that down a tiny bit. I think that will do for now. So, yeah, just square off your edges and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, rotating, <laughs> cutting that. that, yeah. Now that is what it is really good <laughs> yeah, for, because you good. have to square it off on the other end. Yeah. And then you Before, turn it around. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that saved me. Yeah. We also do a an 18 inch around the dining table. We also do an 18 inch square as well. That would be really good mm. actually. This have we got the 18 inch square, Hannah? Skirt circular cutting mat. Oh, Shall that one's out. Oh, um, the 18 inch is sold out. We must get that back in. We did have an 18 inch one, yeah, sold out true. yesterday though. Yeah. So we just need one for the uh, centre. Oh right, See, but you cut them all out. I would, yeah, I would just go through uh, and cut them all out as a job lot. Oh, that's I've not got it on there, have I? <laughs> Very good for tea this parties as well. It, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put this on the desk for you. Then it's to keep it on the floor. Okay. So, all we need to do now is just sew this into a nine patch block. 
um, that's going to be really easy because we've pressed to the dark side all of our yeah. seams are going to nest really nicely so I just slide them oh yeah can we get a bit closer on that because this is something a lot of people say is how do you what's the best way we know what it Should well what what is it and what's the best way to do it so seams pressed towards the dark side I just literally put them uh, right sides facing and just slide them till it locks and then my pin Nesting I will put things. yeah I will put the pin just before that the seam thing. but that way just round so it keeps, as well yeah just so that it keeps it uh, in place and then this one same again we'll just rub them against each other till they lock okay. and then seam again just and I've put it so, so why do you pin um, horizontal well, vertically then? So that if I, I try not to sew over my pins, but if if they're in you know sort of perpendicular, there's less chance of them uh, of messing up run. the, the okay. machine and possibly breaking a needle. But plus as well, once they're under the foot, as I approach them, I can just whip them out right. to the side. Okay. And because I've got a foot with a guard on, if they were on the other side, that guard would. You know, sort uh, of yes, I see what you mean. Stuck down on them, so um, I, I just and, and horizontally as well. It keeps it all sort of locked together. If mm. they were in vertically, it could still there's still the yeah, potential for it yeah. to slide and, and move. Okay. So just um, quarter inch seam. And then I just try and you know sort of get as close as I can to that pin before I take it out, just so that those seams are kept mm -hmm. hopefully nested together. And then we're just going to do the same then with the other side. It's so useful, isn't it, having it, having all of this, just breaking it down, all these yeah. little tips and things yeah. that... Um, I think perhaps if you'd looked at the quilt, you'd think all oh, that, you know, uh, because it well, looks as though it's moving. Well, it looks like you've got curved piecing yeah. and you think, oh, that's scary. But um, it, it really is a nice straight Well, when you forward. break it down like this, but also yeah. things like, you know, strip, where you're strip piecing, so that saves a bit of time. Yeah. The time that you can then spend nesting your seams, but also yeah. spending the time on pressing them so that they do nest. Yeah. And you've worked that all out. Yes. Which is so, fab. Yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. The, oh, sorry. I okay. have to put it up there for you. Lovely. Thank you. So sorting out my kits. We we'll just quickly press. So which side do you press these two then? Um. I I. I'll press. Sort of probably out to what towards the darker ones but you could I'll show you in a second um, if you really wanted to reduce um, the chances of the, the shadowing let me just grab yeah remember you can picker. just buy the full instructions so you can buy the quilt kit with all the fabric but if you want if you've got your own fabric because um, we are very limited on the kits. Um, if you want to buy just the instructions, you can. So if you wanted to, to twist or minute. spin your seams, I'm just, so we've just sewn that one across. Yeah. So the verticals from the first, you know, sort of when we made the, the strip mm. sets, if you just remove those stitches above Oh, I've never there, done that. Then you can, it will just separate this then and you can just press it okay. to spin it so that um, you've got no chance of uh, having that dark fabric showing through oh, on, on you. Oh, I see what you mean, yes. So depending on what sort of fabric so, yeah, you're using, with this one it's fine. Yeah, I was like, to be honest, I, I didn't bother and I don't think that you can see no, no, you can't. any shadowing. Um, but but yeah, like, with, if you, like you say, if it's a fabric. finer fabric. Yeah. 
Um, so that's our, our nine patch made. Uh, so that's we're the flower do, head. Yes, that's <laughs> your uh, your flower head. And then we're just going to, this I suppose is a bit like the, the log cabin. We're just going to sew a section, a rectangle to one mm. side and then a longer rectangle okay. to the other. So that's the outer petals. Um, <laughs> I, d I suppose that's where the nosegay variation is because traditionally you would you would just have flowers but I just you know sort of put that oh you wouldn't have the that, the, the, that would strip usually but you know just sort of a scrappy assortment of, of squares there mm. um, but I just thought just for a change we'll pop that across the top and turn the you know yeah, sort of the hand. But, that, but that is like the sort of the outer petals isn't it I suppose yeah 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 um, so we'll just quickly stitch that across. I like the quilting you've done on that one as well. It's got flowers on it. It's. I thought it. Well, it was similar to the pattern. You know, sort yes. of the the patterns in the fabric. Um, that and it, it just made me laugh as well. It's called splat. Splat. <laughs> splat. Yeah, <laughs> just, not flowers. Uh, splat. That was brilliant. And then I'm just going to press towards that rectangle. Okay. And then add on the last one. See, I guess if you did this yourself, you could do the flowers all in different colours, couldn't you? You could, yeah. It would look really nice, actually. So if you if got, got the kit and you wanted it to go further, yeah. you could just add in other yeah, colours. You could, yeah, just, you know, you could get the mm. a, a little bit of a half metre of the darker purple or so, and just have a Yeah, real... so we've got Jason Yenta Fabrics coming in the next hour. So if you bought the kit and you wanted it to be bigger, you yeah. just, it's only the flowers you need to change. Yeah. Well, or you could now have different yeah. colour stems, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So that's the um, that's the flower. The first Done. unit, yeah. So we pop those Brilliant. to one side. So next we want. There to are only four of the pink and green one left. Okay. There are none of the purple one. So we're going to make. And there's eight of my favourite blue hydrangea one. That's what you see. Next time we'll label them. Yes. <laughs> The blue hydrangea. Okay, so now we've got um, um, a little pinwheel block, and that's the handle. That's the handle. That's yes. not the name of it. Is it? What's it no, called? I don't know what you do. it's like a hand tied. Yes. Bunch, isn't it? But I don't know if it's got a proper. No idea what that bit's called. Yeah. I'd call it the handle. handle. The handle of your <laughs> nose <laughs> game. The stalk. The no, yeah. it can't be a stalk. Yeah. The stems, wouldn't it? The stems. <laughs> um, so we've got. Uh, we're going to make. E each one of these combinations, each one of these pairings will give you two of your okay. um, little uh, half square triangle blocks. So we're going to draw a diagonal line. You could draw it across the green or across the white. Okay. It's just perhaps easier to see across the white. I'm using the friction pen because it's going to be a cutting line mm -hmm. at, um, at the end. So it, it doesn't matter to me, you know, sort of if, if that friction pen doesn't come away or if it comes back as a, a strange orangey brown shadow, it's, <laughs> it's going to be, yeah, you know, be hidden in, anyway. inside. Yeah. And we're just going to pair them. It's difficult to tell which is right side and wrong, but you would put them right sides yeah. together. And then I'll perhaps just pop a pin just towards the bottom just to keep it in place and these as well I would strip piece I would just um, you know sort of send them all through at the same time you've got about 15 minutes left so Hannah. Oh. okay on oh, just on the demo okay yeah. so shall I leave those no because, no no let's well, do it but these ones I think are more Oh, okay. Uh, slightly tricky. So all that I would do right, then, okay, then uh, yeah. I would just under the foot, um, right side of your foot against that stitch line, quarter of an inch, come back again, split them in half, 
press to the dark side and then piece them together. Okay. 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 So this one I think is going to be more useful to people. Half rectangle triangles. So on the quilt they would be the outer leaves. The outer leaves yeah. of our nosegay or yeah. the cellophane. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you'll see we've got um, mirror images. Okay. So bring that, across. that one. And that one, and no amount of finagling is yes, going to Yes, I looked at that. Well, aren't they the same? No, but no, no, definitely they are not. Mirror images. Yeah, however much you try. Yeah. So, shall I put those there? Mm. So, we're going to start, and these ones, so, um, sorry, that, that pinwheel. So, what's this called? Half rectangle triangle. Half Okay, so yeah, it's not so half, half, half square, square triangle, oh. half rectangle, rectangle. Triangle. Oh, an HRT. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everybody needs HRT. Yes. <laughs> it's very low in stock at the moment, you know. I heard that. So I mean, yes. It's terrible, yeah. isn't it? Um, yes, so uh, the half square triangles will come out actual size. Mm. Um, there's no trimming to be done. Okay. Um, these ones are a little bit more tricky, so I've given you instructions for an oversized that we're going to trim down. Right. So we're going to, and we've got to make them separately as well. Um, let me let's do it this way first. Uh, so we're going to make, you're going to take half of them and mm. put from top left to bottom right okay. through the diagonal. So you will get two. Okay. They've got the same orientation. The same with your backing fabric. Now, it won't matter with this because it does look pretty much the same from the right or the wrong side. But if you got a, you know, like a tone on tone white yeah. that had got an obvious. Then you do need then to. Then you do need to be careful. So okay. top left to bottom right. But it's right. all in the instructions. It's all in the instructions, yeah. So there's one set. Okay. The next set, we're going to cut. From. Let me just twist that round. Mind you, this Jason Yenta fabric's almost reversible, isn't it? Yes, I'll say it, it's a strong uh, colour on the back as well. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, well, you get, yeah, you can see the back. It's not like batik, but it is yeah. quite a strong colour on the back, isn't it? So if I don't you, and don't mix them up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> once you get, keep them in separate piles. Um, Amanda's demo, demos have been fab, so clearly explained and with her lovely calm manner. I could oh. listen to all day and collect her mercy side. I know, <laughs> she's fab, isn't she? Right, yeah. so if I put them there, this is probably going to make more sense. Yeah, so top left to bottom right. Top and I'm right. sorry the um, cutting mat is not super clean, the pressing mat. That's okay. Um, but we can't get in, they're, they're out of stock. <laughs> If we had to clean one, we would. Yeah, no, don't <laughs> um, but so thank you. Sorry, thank you for your message. That was lovely because Amanda is very clear and calm. Thank you. Um, yes, so you've you've got a definite left and right. Okay. So, but it, the, the construction now for both of them is the same, but you just need to keep them in separate. So, separate do you label piles. these? Um, or you just set no? The I don't tend to just because you know, sort of, if you got them together. Okay. You you, you could you, right. tell yeah. you know sort of. Yeah. So we'll just take one of each. And what we're going to do now, so this is going to create that block. OK. OK. So we're going to sew them across or down the bias. We do want to offset them a little bit. So if I just grab. So does it does that start stretching because it's the bias? It will, but they're both on the bias so that you you can sort of stretch them together. Okay. So if I just put mark on what's going to be you know so that's going to be my quarter of an inch seam line. Have you explained? Is this in the instructions? This is all right. in the instructions. Okay. Yeah. So this is just bringing the instructions to life. It is. But yeah. all the detail is in yeah, there. In the, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so what once we're you get gonna, home and you go right, okay. You, it, yeah. So we've got that little, that there is, is our stitching line. So you want to get the edges together and then just shimmy that up until you get a little V there. Oh, uh, okay. And then in theory, it should also, is that, match up. 
So you start that, that one a quarter, the green one a quarter of an a inch quarter down of an inch, yeah. from the wide yeah. one. It's uh, it, it's worth doing it um, just so that they all come out, you know, sort of a uniform shape. Mm. Um, but because we're going to trim it down, there is a, a bit of leeway, so don't you know sort of panic. Right. So if it's so, off yeah. slightly, it's yeah. okay. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now. I'm going to sink my needle down and maybe take one or two stitches, and then I'm just going to. Okay. Not, not pull it, but make sure, you know, sort of if there's any buckling, I'm just going to lay it flat so that um, it all stitches through nice and evenly. Okay. We're going um, to press to the dark side again. If you just press everything to the dark yes. side, you can't, uh, can't, go, can't wrong. go wrong. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? You always do that, but then that makes everything nest together as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that hasn't buckled. That, you've done that really I'll say that neat. looks... Mm. No, it's really neat. Uh, okay. And that does look like a it does an hrt hrt but if you see now on this one if i were to cut off the ear the ear we've got an absolute you know a, a dead on point we don't yes. want that we need our quarter of an inch seam allowance um, of course, yes. at each oh, side about that. Yeah. so we're going to trim this up because it's not like you're square yeah it's, so if, yeah. If, if you sewed that in mm. it would look Ski whiffed yes, in the quilt, yes. so we need to make it ski whiffed to come right, out. Right, to pull it right, okay. Yeah. Now that all, all makes so, sense. I fashioned a template. Fashioned a template. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. So, what have you used? This is template plastic. Oh, not the side of a milk carton then? No, but you, you could. You could. <laughs> If or it was a six pinter, yeah. it'd be nice and flat, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, you might have to <laughs> split it under the mattress just... for a week to flatten <laughs> it. Um, now you could use a bit of grease proof baking. Oh, you know, okay. So, so anything that's mm. sheer. Um, oh, we but, do but, sell template plastic. Yeah. Oh, I just gonna... Ours is gridded. That's okay. That though, would be perfect. Yeah. Actually, no, we because, do have yeah. gridded, gridded template plastic. We'll put that on the screen in a minute if you want some. So um, the template is cut out to the unfinished size so we've I've marked on my quarter of an inch oh, okay. seam allowance all the way so around. do you need to have one of these uh, you, you couldn't you can do it just using your ruler but because you've got so many um, you know sort of markings on your ruler and it, it's not actually your 30 or your 60 degree either oh okay so you can't you know sort of pick a line and so you can I guess because you're not working out an angle you're just joining a diagonal line yeah. then it's fine yeah yeah. So, and, does it, and it says all this in the instructions. It says, yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, Fashion yeah, so the template. <laughs> uh, finish, so um, three and a half by six and a half. I've marked on my quarter of an inch um, seam and then I've just taken a diagonal from. Oh, okay. And then. And add, then right. So that then is going to fit on oh, I mean okay. you could if you wanted to mark there's it there's plenty of room oh, so you, well. you've got enough room so you could draw it on yeah so if you've used like trimmage. grease proof paper yeah. or something yeah um, but I found the easiest way was to just put that so if you just oh. luckily it fits your ruler yeah I mean, you, you could do with any ruler, you know, you, you just need to get it up into that yes. top corner of, of the ruler. Um, and then once it's on, I, I found it, again, because we're working on the other hand, no, it's not going to work on this one. So what I did at home, I just turned the ruler upside okay. down and it's it still worked. Um, so, yeah, you want that diagonal line to be on yeah the change between the the print and the, the solid and then you just want to oops it's because i'm using the wrong side of the ruler it's the shiny side so yeah perhaps do one set and then unstick your template 
Yeah, okay, so and, yes. Uh, and trim it and separately. Is that, yeah, that's the six and a half inch square. Yeah. I like, I've got one of those, I like that. I've only got four rulers, actually, which is surprising. I've not yeah. got many. I don't think you need no, a I've huge got amount. I've got the long one, because yeah. you need that for your wafts. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is. I, I perhaps mm. use that one the most, yes. of mine. And then I like the big 12 and a half inch square. Yeah, I haven't got one of them. I yeah. want one of them. Yeah. But I've got one of them, yeah. and that's useful. But everyone, yeah. Yeah, everyone uses different ones, don't yeah. they? Yeah, so then... Oh, rotating <laughs> cutting mat. <laughs> but you can brilliant. see we've got our um, quarter. <laughs> She's gonna have to give this I'm one to so my I know. So no, I am. I absolutely love a gadget. <laughs> and then obviously mine. Mm. I'm Is going a bit skewy because I've got the shiny gadget. side down. But you, you get the. Um, so I'm just. I don't know if you can see that. Just that. The, the edge of the yes, template yeah. plastic needs to be in that bottom corner. Maybe you could just draw lines on your <laughs> on your ruler. Yeah, you could. Oh, this is twisting. You could it. use masking That's tape. That's what I did at home, and I thought, no, I'll um, I'll come professional. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but that's because you are a professional. <laughs> or you could just buy the ruler and draw lines on it. Yeah. So, so you, yeah, you would you make a much better masking job masking tape up your ruler, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, just to... Because um, I did that when I cut um, jelly strips into yeah. flying geese, complicatedly. Yeah. <laughs> so you would do that for, for both versions. Okay. So that you've then got... Then you've got that quarter, quarter of an inch, inch seam. Yeah. yeah. Perfect okay. sense. And then it is just simply a case then of um, you attach triangle to the left side of the block, mm. just stitch straight down and press. How long have we got, Hannah's? Has Amanda got, got time, time to, do, to do, that? do that? Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see the block done. You got five minutes. Oh, That's ooh. ages. Yeah, we've got five minutes of demo left. And then whilst I'm there, I'm just going to, uh, so what did we? So second piece, we're just going to sew those yeah, two together. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, because you sew one bit at the end. Yeah, yeah, and then we just sew the two. Mm. I think it's, like, it's quite to... nice this, because you're learning something. You know, you're, yeah, what, you're whichever just you're up doing. A new technique. Yes, because I've mean, never done HRTs. No, uh, they're not that um, common, I don't think, in, in most quilts. But they give a curved effect. I really like yeah. that. Without having to curve. Yeah. And it's so pretty. Okay, so we we'll just give that a quick press. And I'm going to press this one to the the less complicated, you know, sort of we've got more seams and bits oh, of things. Okay. So I always press it to the, the, the less, easier side, the, the less easy side. side. Yeah. I know, that's quite good because I don't, I do this and I don't know which side. So if it's less complicated, if it's it flatter. Just be, yeah, easier to press uh, okay. flat. So it, it doesn't matter, you, you know, you can do... Um, no, but I'm sure you've done lots of pressings and I'm never really yeah. sure. And because we've pressed um, that seam towards the, you know, from the pinwheel towards the half yes. rectangle and then from um, the nine patch towards, they're going to interlock Perfect. again. So we can just do the same again to... Uh, so the pink and green that Amanda is demonstrating with is currently on the screen. $59.99 for everything. And again, there aren't really, there's only really that one seam that uh, you've got to nest. So oh, okay. it's not a tricky Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, because I, yeah. Yeah. But it's not too bad at all, is it? 
and as long if you've you know checked that your quarter inch seam and maintained it we should be able to just whiz through and know that we're going to get a nice sharp okay. point on that bit. And again, it doesn't matter which way you press this one. You could even press it open if you want. Maybe it doesn't. Um, Whichever way you fancy. Yeah. That looks lovely. It's a really nice colourway. It's very fresh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you'd spend more time, but that's the, yes, the yeah. gist of it. So that's you it. just make 24 of those, mm -hmm. and then all you need to do then is, I'm just going to lose my, uh, <laughs> I'll just bring, <laughs> bring your so mic with you. We're just going to alternate, so ping oh, wheel, top okay. left, ping wheel, bottom left, top left, bottom left, yeah. and that's the way that you get that sort of, I don't know, it depends where you look at it, it almost looks like a rugby ball. Yes. Shape. yes, I see what you mean. Yeah, when you look if at you it, look you can see there, the blocks. Yeah. But then, depending on how you look on it, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. And again, you could, if if you didn't want that layout, you could put them all, you know, sort oh, of pin yeah, all the same way, and you would get yeah. almost, you know, sort of a different. Yes, that's true. Look. So it's worth having a go. Yeah. And seeing what you think, and yeah. then you put the board, and there's enough for the borders. Yes. So then, um, there's just a sash. So yeah, in within the the fabric bundles, mm. there's enough then to put your sashing on. Um, that's dead easy. Uh, I always put the sides on first, then the top and bottom, and the same then with the borders. Right. Side borders, top and bottom, mm. and then quilt it. Um, and there's enough uh, fabric to do the binding oh, as well. Oh, lovely. So you just need to buy the backing and the wadding. Just literally there's the backing for and the, the wadding, yeah. The top and the wad. Fabulous. Um, right, just going to recap these two bundles. Don't go anywhere, because yeah, okay. we need to talk to you about your makeup bag, which is... Oh, oh it's over there on that trolley, sorry. Oh. Um, Yes, it's on the trolley. <laughs> right, we'll just go through this. So the one that Amanda has been demonstrating, there are more of you who have this in baskets than the three that we actually have left. Oh, yeah, I'll have that. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um, so we, you need, to, if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. Remember, you get all of the fabric to make the top of the quill and the binding. So you've got this beautiful half a metre of the purple, all Jason Yenta fabric, that's for the inside of the flowers. You get a metre and a half of the pink that's for the outside of the flowers and the borders. I mean, look, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? And it's labels. Pete, you are going to miss. People are going to miss out. You are. People are going to miss out, but you are going to check out really quickly and you won't. No, I, people are going to miss out. I hope it's not you. Um, green for the leaves and then we've got the meat, the wheat and half of white that's used for the background. If, however, and full instructions, which you can then remember, if you want to make it bigger, add some more Jason Yenta fabrics to it, which we've got available in the next hour. It's all on pre-order. If you want to add some more green, add a few more of the same colours, then you can make an even bigger one because all the instructions are there. If you want to make the um, hydrangea one, which isn't called that actually, but that's what I think it is. Um, single figures on this one, you get half a metre of this gorgeous pale blue for the inside of the flower. You get a um, metre and a half of this lovely, it's like underwater, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous, but it does make me think of Brittany or Cornwall hydrangeas. And then you get um, a metre of this lovely green that's used for the stems or the handle. And then you get a metre and a half of the white that's used for the background. And the instructions, obviously, so everything you need is in there. Please do check out if it's in your basket. We are on single figures of both of those and the other kit has sold out. Um, so the, main, the bag then, Amanda. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, sorry. So instructions on their own for the quilt. Sorry. <laughs> um, 9.99, and then you can use your own fabrics. And as we said, if you want to make your flowers all different colours, you can. You know, have a think about it. Have a play with what you've got. Have a go at making a block, and then you can just increase the quilt to make whatever size you like. Right. So the instructions for this makeup bag, they've sold out twice now and we've got them back again. 
Half of the stock is already gone. 9.99 for it. So, 9.99. If you want this, it's sold out twice already. Half the stock's already gone. If you want the instructions for this, you need to check out. So, Amanda, why is this so in demand? What is? I, I really don't know. <laughs> the answer <laughs> um, so, well talk me through yeah. why did you design it and okay. what's it for so I'd got a makeup bag um, that was similar in design but perhaps not as uh, robust as, as this okay. and thought I, I could make that better um, <laughs> fair enough <laughs> so, did. Yeah. Um, so yeah it's good so you've got a, a carry handle mm. um, but then with the velcro it opens out and so all your bits and pieces. Oh um, yeah, that's fab. You know, isn't sort it? of you, you can rummage. Let's drop some bits. In. So makeup, the brilliant. Makeup, for. yeah. Um, it's sewing contained. stuff. Yeah, yeah. EPP. Yeah. Some, uh, I think someone made it for you know like contact lens. Contact bits lenses. And pieces. Yeah. Um, Pencils and pens. Yeah, yeah. You could use it as a pencil case. Mm. But yeah, the, the the fact that it's um, it opens wide so that you can see everything. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't roll well, away. Well, like if you're on holiday, you could have that out, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, yeah. It would be. Um, <laughs> well, like things like on a cruise through well, the like a first aid and kit, and or you know, if you've got tablets yeah, and things. Yes. Yeah. And you then know, it just folds. And that's up, it. So you can have that out in your hotel room, yeah. all nice and yeah. safe. But with the Velcro on the sides. Mm, now I can see why it's sold yeah. out. Brilliant. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I, I like the idea of sort of when you're travelling that you can then put that out in your hotel room and it's like a nice little yeah. storage tray. Makes it like your room, yeah. doesn't it? And you're yeah. not going to lose anything, yeah. but then it travels. And then it's really quick to... OK, um, how much fabric do you need for it? Just a fat quarter of uh, your outer, a fat quarter of the inner, a little bit of um, interfacing and is it H6? Oh, that's fusible wadding. Fusible yeah. wadding uh, and a zip. The zip is, I think, a 56 centimetre zip and it's a size 4.5 rather than a standard dressmaking zip. Okay. It's just got that wider, actually I've got the same zip on there, you know a dressmaking zip is just a little bit daintier. Right, okay. Um, but this one, because it's it's chunkier, it's obviously a bit stronger, um, but it gives you, uh, you know, sort of, the, you've got room for... Yes, play, I see what for, you mean. For, yeah, sort of so it in there, gives yeah. you a bit more zip tape. Yeah. So two fat quarters, really. Two fat quarters and you're good to go, yeah. Or mm -hmm. a bit of Velcro. Yeah. Um, but literally, what, sort of four inches? But the instructions uh, tell you what you need. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but, yeah, they, you know, so they're perfect for and, and fast to make as well. So great for, for yeah, gifts. it's really well nice as a present because you could fill it with something, mm. couldn't you? Yeah, Rolos, yeah. I think would fit really <laughs> nicely. <laughs> Yeah. Tubes of rollers or twixes. Would, yeah, actually, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to measure every Yes. Guess. How many tubes of rollers can you get? Fit in a man. <laughs> um, yeah. That's brilliant. So, well, if you want that, put it in your basket because half of the stock is already gone. And it keeps selling out. I'm not mm -hmm. surprised. Right, there is a short queue on the phone lines at the moment, so please do keep checking out if you're doing it. Jan's asked us a question. Which colourway is the nosegay quilt on the wall, please? Jan, it's that cleverly named pink and green. Yes. <laughs> pink and green. green. There are only three? Three left? Two. There's only two. There's only two of those available, pink and green. So please do keep checking out for the makeup bag as well, because we are quite low on stock of that as well. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a few, there's cues on the phone line as well if you're doing that. Um, we have got another couple of your um, quilt designs as oh, well. Oh, ones from... Um, Concentric Squares. Yes. That's lovely. Yeah, so, so what's uh, that, yeah, what's so that, so that good for? That one was a jelly roll friendly um, pattern. So it took um, approximately one jelly roll with 42 strips. Right. Plus two, I think you needed two more strips uh, either from the same collection or you could Oh, okay. Mix and match. So you could use a jelly roll and a bit of a jelly something roll, else. Yeah. Um, and then some background fabric. And I think the choices in the kits were white. Um, I think there was a, a grey and perhaps a oh, navy. Okay. So again, you can make that. So how, you know, how big is, is that one? That was a big one. That was about 74. Wow. It was We're from jelly one jelly roll. From one jelly yeah. roll and the white. And some but, yardage. Um, yeah. That's gorgeous, isn't yeah. it? So 9 99 for the, the instructions to make. And obviously, 
you know, we have these jelly rolls because we love them, and then <laughs> what are going to do with them? Yeah, be nice yeah. with a bit of cave, a cave jelly roll, yes, wouldn't it? Yeah, especially if you use the uh, the darker background or yes. even the grey would set it off. Oh, that's it? true, actually. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. so it would make the colours really pop, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. And we have another one as well. Is that the? That is oscillating. The oscillating lines. It's is coming. It's, it's coming. Yes. So that one, um, that that one's a real, um, you know, sort of scrap buster, half of a jelly roll. Oh. So you could make two, if you know, from one jelly roll. Okay, so you could um, zigzag again. Zigzag again. Yeah, you could either yeah make mm. it bigger, or if you've got. Um, you know, sort of uh, siblings that want to match. Yes, they true. Could both have oh, one. that's good. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, all the fabric quantities are in there. Yes, but, yeah. But that's fine. And really quick to make that one as well. I like that one. Is that easy? Dead easy. Is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you'd say that because <laughs> you're really good. So it really is. Is it, is it it's, e okay. That's probably you know the easiest. The, the beginner. So, if you're, I would love to make a quilt, and I don't know which one to make. Yeah. Go for that one. Yeah. Cool. The makeup bag. Please do keep on checking that. There are only 20 patterns remaining, so please keep checking out for that of the makeup bag. Can you, yeah, can yeah, you? Sure. Can I, I had a, a lady email me um, mm. and she was struggling a little bit to get the side panels on. And when I was on, I think it was with Stuart initially when I um, demoed it, we just sort of ran out of time before I could get to the, uh, the end of the demo. But basically this is a, a, a rectangle, um, you know, sort of just a, a, yes. a separate rectangle. So if, if she gets that rectangle, folds it in half and marks with a pin the centre, and then when the bag is flat out, if she m puts that pin mark with that um, seam line there, and she's going to then with an eighth of an inch, just so an eighth of an inch f in from that corner to an eighth of an inch short of that corner all the way across. So at that point then, the rectangle is joined to the main bag just along that side. Right. And then she's going to then fold up the sides of the bag. Oh, uh, OK. So you make the end Yeah, it's totally. sort of a, a, a Y seam in, right. in effect. And then she's just, then she'll need to sew from uh, the, the very top to a, a, an eighth of an inch short. Oh, perfect. So that it meets. Mm. And then you would do that on the other side as well. OK, um, yeah, no, that makes sense. But yeah, we, we just ran out of time in the demo. Right. Um, and she said, uh, you know, sort of, I'm just struggling with, with that part of it. So hope, oh, I hope that's that really nice, helps. isn't it? Well, no, uh, that's great because, um, you know, obviously people would never have time to do everything, do we? No, no, it's, so um, it was quite a, a lengthy demo. Yes. <laughs> I know, but it is fab. Well, there are less than 20 of those left now. So if you want one of the um, patterns, all Amanda's patterns. Oh, can we do the last pattern that's um, the one that has 25% off? It's about to sell off. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah. She's about to sell off. <laughs> right, there's four oh, the of these braid. left. So if you buy the pattern for Amanda's triple French braid quilt, you get 25% off Amanda's long arm quilting services, which I can guarantee is absolutely amazing. So when you finish your quilt and you really don't want to quilt it, you just put it in an envelope and you send it to Amanda and she will quilt it for you. And you will get 20%. 25% off can be any quilt. Can't yes, it? Yes, it doesn't matter what size. Mm. And you will, on one off, edge. get 25% yeah. off her long arm quilting skills, which are fab. But only on that pattern. You can only do it on that pattern. Oh, no, they could send any quilt. Oh, no, sorry, but only the, on the that pattern. Yes, yes. Like they, yeah. you can send any yeah. quilt, but that 25% off voucher is only yeah. with that pattern. Okay. One last question. Uh, what is your angel policy on the makeup bag? Um, I'd not really thought about it <laughs> until <laughs> um, I, I, I don't mind. I mean, it would be nice for people to tag me in, but yeah. So they that, can make for charity. Yeah. yeah. And or you'll, but but you not sell the pattern. No, oh, no, no. So the, the patterns, please. And if it's yeah. like mass producing, no, no. Um, but but yeah, you know, yeah, church small, fates. small quantities for fairs, fights, yes, gifts, charity yeah, things, but thing. not for making no, large not, scale. Not, uh, marks because Amanda <laughs> will know, and she will come round <laughs> your house, <laughs> <laughs> and I will be holding her coat. <laughs> 
So, yes, age of policy is fine for charity stuff. Do not sell, copy, pass over the pattern to anyone because it's not fair. It takes Amanda a very long time to create these. Um, we're going to have a break just for a couple of minutes. We've got some more Jason Yenta fabric coming up. Thank you so That's much, so Amanda. It's been again. fab <laughs> having you. Do you know when you're back? Uh, the 29th of May, I think. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's, that's a, a Sunday, Sunday. I Sunday. think that is a Sunday, Sunday, actually. Um, yeah, don't know what I'm doing. Oh, OK. <laughs> Manda doesn't know what it's she's like, yeah. doing. Let's hope it's something lovely. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. I don't know whether it's so we'll be uh, a quilt or a thing. A quilt or a thing. Anyway, <laughs> that wasn't up fab. Um, having Amanda for today, learn absolutely loads. I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. More Jason Yenta fabrics. Very exciting. We're playing through now the Jason Yenta fabric by the half metre. And if you missed out on the extra wide backing that we had at eight o'clock, I'll be showing you what we've got left of that. I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost and most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our ah, Baffa when I message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags as you can see I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags um, however there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaid dresses for me and my sister. And basically, I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature, by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words. And basically, she said maybe when you're a bit older. So my when I turned eight. I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine. I'm now in my late 30s but still act that eight year old. My favourite tools or top tips. So I have two best friends. One's called the Bulky Sea Maid, which is this, and one is called Quilter Stay. This will help anybody, the Bulky Sea Maid will help anybody if yours um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend when I come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot. I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. 
we know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Thank you for joining me um, so far today. If you have just come on air, brilliant, thank you. We've had a lovely day with Amanda making beautiful quilts. But if you missed out on the extra wide backing this morning, we do still have some of it in stock. It is gorgeous. I have it. I have it. <laughs> the big wobbly rainbows. Have we, we've so, how many did we have? We had six or seven. I think different prints at six and we've only got three left in stock now this is 108 110 inch width which means it is two and a half times normal fabric width um Anthea could you come and hold this one for me <laughs> she's coming oh she hasn't got she had rubber ears on this morning when she was my glamorous assistant but no more where's the rabbit ears gone She's lost them. <laughs> she lost her rabbit. Were they confiscated? <laughs> yeah. So this is two and a half times yeah. fabric width. Da, da, da. Little dance, little dance. <laughs> it's making it wave. Do you know what it makes me think of? You remember Scooby Doo? Oh no, you're too young. Um, you know Scooby Doo would like transform into something. They'd go woo, -woo and then he'd become something else. Um, Maybe it wasn't on when you were watching it. Yeah. Anyway, two and a half, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anthea. I'm gonna call her that from now on. So it's two and a half times your fabric, normal fabric width, obviously, which makes it ideal for back in a quilt. Um, but it's not two and a half times the price. It's only 11.99 for half a meter now this is Wyndham fabrics this would normally be 6.99 7.99 for half a meter so it's less than half the price um, brilliant I obviously for backing a quilt because you don't have to join it but it's really good you can use it for piecing for the front of a quilt fantastic for dressmaking because it is quilting weight fabric it's lovely for dressmaking really good for things like tablecloths because obviously it's so wide you can cover a really big table with it um, really good for duvet covers sheets because it's big enough for a double king size bed but if you're making things to sell like you know to charity sales or to school sales fates the value in it so you can make six if you cut if you want to make a 16 inch cushion or a 16 inch tote bag um you need to cut it 17 inches you've got a seam allowance you can cut six of those from from half a meter so you think of all of if you were made working at um, a fate selling for charity or a small or you're a small business and you're making things this is a very very economical way of buying fabric these are brand new today we sold out of three of them but these are the ones we have left so isn't this beautiful i'm thinking as well things like costumes you know when you have to make costumes for kids for school plays and stuff and you want a lot of fabric you could be joseph's technicolor dream coat couldn't you um hannah was going what would you be well you know or you could be a shepherd you know the the multicolored jazzy shepherd possibly maxi dress so or um outdoor if you needed cushions for your outdoor furniture it's just you get a lot here lining lining that is about to sell out Right, so we had six, now we're down to three. I love the blue one. Love, this was my favourite one. I'm not going to open it all the way because it will take ages. But look, that's what it looks like. So you've got a lovely navy blue background and then you've got these interlocking rings. Should we show you, should we get in, in on an overhead? Look, you've got, some of them are floral. You've got a checked one. You've got splodgy ones, but it is really lovely. The beauty of using circular 
print fabrics if you're doing the, particularly the back of a quilt there's no one notices if you haven't got it exactly straight but again think about dressmaking summer pajamas maxi lovely summer dress but outdoor if you want to make um maybe you're making a quick picnic quilt you could use this on the front and the back because it's dark put the wadding in between quilt around the circles you've got a beautiful quilt be really lovely for um a tablecloth as well particularly outdoor but even if you don't want to do the patchwork, it'd be lovely just for the quilt top. Fantastic value for money, 11 99 for two and a half times the normal fabric width. Now, if you want more than half a metre, so say you want to, so this, because this is 2.2, is it 2.5 metres square? No, 2.8, this is 2.8 metres wide. So say you want three metres, so you've got a three metre square, you put six units in your basket, it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. So, oh, Hannah's had another idea. What? Go on then. Curtains, yes. I'm thinking curtain lining. So say you've used a really, you know, a thick fabric, rather than using your normal curtain lining, how lovely would that look? Mm. But be good for, well, it, so you could use that for to keep the drafts out just even in the summer but i would use it as a curtain lining how lovely would that be when you think of the width of it be gorgeous wouldn't it particularly because the lining faces outwards you get something nice facing outwards and then finally we've got the christmas one which to me is just screaming christmas tablecloth christmas i love this one Christmas tape. I mean, it isn't Christmas, is it? It's winter. It's winter. It's less than 10 metres of this. It is ideal for Christmas bed linen, Christmas table linen. Maybe you're, you have a little stall at a fate that's going to be near Christmas and you want to make lots of little Christmas tote bags and cushions and makeup bags and all of that. Or you want to make just simple drawstring prep bags to wrap your presents in. Make them from here. Remember how much you're getting work out the maths on how much you need honestly if you bought um cat's very excited by our extra wide christmas fabric um it's gorgeous even just like a runner you could just have a table runner with this it's lovely ha work it out but i would say if you put a meter of this in your basket that's going to make enough um drawstring bags for most of your christmas presents unless you've got hundreds of them but it is lovely isn't it or i mean it is about to sell out so if you're not sure get a meter and then nearer christmas you'll know what you're going to use with it because half a meter wide is lovely for a table runner and unless your table's 2.8 meters long but if you bought a meter you could have a table runner and loads of napkins to go with it so there we go that's the christmas one um well it's called ivory winter berries it's not really christmas it's winter isn't it i guess i guess because it's it's not it hasn't got christmas designs on it it's more of a winter thing but we're thinking it would be lovely Message Susan. Hi Rebecca, I ordered the mosaic and blocks this morning. I'm going to use for bag linings and storage caddies. Oh, thank you, Susan. That's brilliant. I did say let me know what you're going to do. I think that's a really good idea because we quite often just use a plain fabric for bag lining. But the um I love the mosaic one. Those have sold out now. But lovely for bag lining. They're a really, really affordable way of lining something beautifully. But then they work equally well as the main fabric. But they are so affordable. 11.99 for half a meter fabric that is two and a half me two and a half times the normal fabric width right jason yenta bundles we have loads of them yes we have loads of bundles so can i stop oh, right there are the bundles oh, I'm just i have got a whole table full of fabric i'm just so confused can i have this one <laughs> so this is the blue bundle now in this bundle we have got um it's called lagoon lagoon jump right in lagoon jump right in three meters so that one is coral this is a mixture of different fab fabrics from different jason yenta collections it's all jason yenta but hannah has personally collated this and she called it jump right in jump right in the lagoon so you've got like a corally one a blue one oh i like this swirly one this would be nice oh i think that i'm not sure i'd jump in a lagoon that color yeah but different tones 
Yes. So if you've bought the nosegay quilt in the blue, you could buy this one to add to it. Isn't this lovely? And you've got different shades of blue. Oh, look at the seahorses. That's so cool. Seahorses. This is last chance. When this is gone, this is gone and we will not be getting it back. So you get six fabrics. So three, half, three meters, half a meter each, 45 pounds and 94 pence. It is lovely, isn't it? No, not today. Oh, jump right in to this price. $39.99. $39.99 for three meters of Jason Yenta fabric. That's a fantastic price, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? So if you bought the two meters of white fabric, I feel like that plain white fabric would go together really well. You are saving £5.95. Not only that, but you're also getting three meters of Jason Yenta fabric. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. That's a lot of money. Can we move on to the next one? I, this is my favorite one because it looks like coral. Look at that. This one's from the In The Beginning range. In the beginning, there was coral. Now we won't be able to make these bundles again. When they're gone, they're gone. I love that one because it is lovely. Look at, I don't know how he does this, but it's kind of, um, you've got like a background color and then you've got layers of color. And then on top of that, he puts a print. It looks like the batik, but it isn't because it's a printed fabric. It's, I mean, he is inspired batik. He loves batik. So it has that filter, but it doesn't have the stiffness. But I love the coral one. And I also really like this seahorse one because I think it's really clever. Half the stock's now in baskets. Look at this one. Can we get onto this one close? Zooming in. Because when you, it's only when you get close you realise it's seahorses with the, with the lines. But it's really clever, isn't it? This should be £45.94. pence. Fantastic, isn't it? And then, but look at when you look at them. See, look at the layers of colour in this one. You've got greens and dark blues, and this one has got a lot of colour change in it. It's quite sometimes when you see them folded up, you can't really see. But look, look at the the shades and the tones of colour. Again, you've got that background with all the different shades and tones, and then you've got all the swirly pattern printed on top. So you've got a lot of different colours in here and a lot of movement. This would make a beautiful quilt. This would look lovely. I tell you what, this would make a nice dress. Yeah, cut it all up. You can do it. You could wear, if you've bought one of Amanda's patterns. You could cut cut all of these into strips and make one of her um, her quilt patterns would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? And with that saving, it's worth it. Over five pounds saving, and then we've got a green and another blue. Um, we've got a purple bundle. Ooh, ooh, already. So I love this one. So in this bundle, so there's four in this one. What's this called? Lush purple. <laughs> Lush. Twenty-nine ninety-six for two meters. So you've got four different fabrics of lush purple. Lush. <coughs> I like this one. I don't know what the flower is though. It is a flower. What is it though? Do you think um, wisteria? Yeah, that looks actually does look like wisteria. So this is um. It, this might not be wisteria, we're just guessing. But I think it's wisteria, it looks like it. So you've got a midnight black. It's great having two producers in the um, gallery because you get double the knowledge. Double the knowledge. <laughs> or double the making it up. Um, no, I think I think that's right, I think it is. There's wisteria. It's called resplendent lush purple so you've got a black background and then the lot i like the fact you've got all the purpley petals and blues but then you've got the greens as well so you get half a meter of that one then oh you get this i like this color it's very fuchsia isn't it circles for circles in fuchsia i'm going to lay them like that see look and isn't that lovely that picks out that really nicely and then we get 
um, I like this purple. It's very indigo. It's got that bluey, that bluey feel to it that really goes because there's a lot of blue and purple in this one. So it's nice. You've got your sort of main um, large pattern fabric, and then you've got the smaller ones. Then you get blue. Look. It's really nice isn't it what a lovely mixture so if you love the purples but with this you're getting such depth of color and print and you're getting lots of different colors so it's really useful if you want to use it for other things if you want to you know you use making something where you think I need a bit of dark and a bit of light as well so 29.96 for two meters of Jason Yenta lush purple fabric bundle if you pop this in your basket, let me know what you're going to make with it. I really like this. It would actually look really nice mixed with, if you've already bought the blue one, goes nicely because there's a lot of the blues in this, um, the main fabric print here. Oh, Sue's just messaged, say, can we have a gallery camera wave? Come on then, wave! Hello! I've heard you and Kat and Hannah are together. Give us a camera wave. I know. And they're not even eating sandwiches. We don't often have Kat and Hannah together, only on very, very special occasions. Today must be one of them. Kat's obviously bored today. <laughs> She's probably trying to not go shopping. Just comes in, I know, because she's so dedicated, even when she's not supposed to be here. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Oh, yeah, she is actually producing. Oh, yeah. No, she is. I oh, know. I meant she is actually supposed to be here. She is producing Hobby Maker later. <coughs> it's not just here just for the fun. She's not here just for the fun. But it's lovely to have her in, have the two of them together. Can I do this one next? Warm. Warm. Mm. She started off so well, didn't she, with her names? <laughs> you know, jumped right in and ended up with warm. We could have called this autumn sunset, couldn't we? <laughs> this one is this is called warm. So this is lovely. This has got a black background, then you've got autumnal leaves in all sorts of colours. I like the I actually quite like this pale blue that's in it. This fabric is sold out by the half meter. Everything that we have, Hannah has put into her warm bundle. So we have the flower, we have all the leaves, and then we have half a meter of, it's like a double paisley making a heart, isn't it? It's lovely. Love that. All, remember, these are all Jason Yenta. So only 29.96, and you are getting two meters, four half meters. And look how the same colors are echoed through. So where you've got all of these colors, because in the autumnal leaves, you often get this gray, silvery color as well. Maybe that's the frost on the edge. Then, this reminds me of those peppermint, peppermint swirls. You get half a meter of this one like all these big swirls of the same autumnal tones and then half a meter of this is the same as that purple one the color the different textures and tones don't show up as well because it's a neutral shade but it's the blue and the purple one that um, you could see that was in it shows up in there lovely for a bit of autumn <laughs> cat's leaving now where are you going, Kat? She's seen the bundles. Yeah. She, yeah. Mm. She's leaving because, because she knew that we got the, um, we got all the extra wide, fact, the extra wide, I can, Monday, what's, I'm on Monday with Kat. <gasps> no. <laughs> Monday. We've got the wooden stick back in stock. The wooden meter stick is mine and Kat's favourite, favourite tool. It's the, it's the wooden one meter ruler and I absolutely love it. And, and whenever Kat and I are together, they let us have it if it's back in stock because it's my favourite thing. It's brilliant for hanging quilts from. It's just a lovely decoration. So don't forget to watch on Monday. 
the wooden meter stick is back in stock. That is quite exciting. Right, so that is the, the last Jason Yenta bundle. They're half metres, four half metres, so two metres in total. And if you want it just by the half metre, we have got those on the website. So what we have available, if you want to have a look, we've got loads of them on the website. You need to go on sewingstreet.com and click on watch live and scroll down. And if you want to buy them by the half metre, then they're there. If you want some extras. So if you've bought any of the bundles and you want some extras to add on it, they're all on there. And loads of other prints as well. But I've got a few of them here. Very nice. Right, okay. Stitch remover. Stitch remover, which I promised I would show. Now, I did sew a seam very quickly. So I'm not at... Oh, that's probably one of the worst seams I've ever sewn. Which is... That is really bad. Um, I did it really fast. This is... You've got 30 seconds. So... I've done it really fast. Now, the, the stitch remover, if you weren't watching earlier, um, it's rechargeable, it's not battery operated, comes in the box, you get the cable to charge it up. If it runs out of charging when you're in the middle of using it, you can use it whilst it's plugged in, but it comes up with a charge. It comes in a very nice presentation box, it has a brush for cleaning, and I don't know what that's for. Has anyone used the bottle? Does it say in the manual what it's for? What? It, no idea what the little bottle is for. If anyone knows what it is... Yes? Well, you may have to um, put... It does say that it requires very little ear oiling, but you might need to. That's obviously what it's for. Interesting. Anyway, just so you know, that's what's in the box. And it's called, I love that, Embroidery Mistake Removal Tool. <laughs> but you mistake. Or embroidery that you don't want or seem... So it depends what you're, what you're using it for. I would mainly use it for unpicking seams. But if you've got a t-shirt or something that's got a logo on it, have you ever tried to unpick one of those? You always end up cutting the fabric. It's almost impossible. But this won't cut the fabric. So once you've charged it up, yeah, it's brilliant. Well, so I, I mean, I collect jeans and I quite often cut things off like the pockets or the belt loops. And then I use the waistband for making into bag straps. Really good for that because it's very quick, but you don't, um, you don't cut the fabric. So... You turn it on and it vibrates, totally safe, Cut, you know, you can put it all over your hands, really, yeah, one day, one day I'm going to go, look, it's absolutely fine, no it doesn't, look, it won't cut the fabric because it just vibrates, amazing. Right, then all you need to do, so say I've done this terrible seam, which is actually terrible, um, you start off and just cut the beginning of it, which is really easy. So you could use a stitch ripper and do it. You could pull it open and then risk ripping the fabric, or you just use the stitch remover. So once I... All right, let's wait till we... Let's wait till we zoomed in. I keep... What am I... Oh, I know I'm tripping over. Right, and there we go. Right, ready? So once you've got a... Once you've got a bit... Look at that. Once you've got a little bit you can hold one end and look how quick that is i wish i had some jeans here C um can you bring your jeans in hannah so i can show how to take very much dress but look look how quick that is oh it's just brilliant isn't it and also when you look at this because this was a very rubbish seam that i sewed it's really narrow and when you're undoing very narrow seams it's much more difficult but look it's not cutting the fabric it's only cutting the threads and it's so easy. Now, honestly, this is like the best gadget. Look at that. Really quick. Really, really quick. So if you've got like embroidery on a t-shirt, if you just run this, particularly the back is the best place, over the back of it, you probably, depending on how much embroidery there is, you will need to do it a few times. It just comes off. So $34.99, it is a fantastic gadget. Comes in a nice little presentation box, lovely gift for somebody. And as I said, it comes with all the instructions and the little brush. 
and the oil bottle and the charger and it's great because there's none of that battery business it's all um, rechargeable and it all lives in this little box it is brilliant if you've got one and you've used it message us in tell us what you think about it because it's your reviews that really count for us and tell us what you, what it has been developed for sewing I'm just getting it back in properly I think I put it in the wrong way around. right there we go fantastic please carry on checking out for that because we got them back in the stock the other day um, and we are getting lower now because we oh did we get them in for Vixie's birthday especially especially that was only on Tuesday we get them specially in for that so we've only got a few of them left 34.99 it does make quite a big difference um, and remember it isn't just on picking seams it is about embroidery removal as well look I have a beautifully unpicked seam now okay right which, which one should we do next I've got some designer fabric ones I'm going to bring them over does it matter which ones I'll get the jam one I really like the jam one these are lovely so now the in these fabric bundles it is designer fabrics so this is the prize winning jam red that Hannah named this one I love the name of that prize winning jam red limited edition designer fabric bundle so you know what it's like when you want some fabric but you unless you see it you're in the shop you don't know whether it goes together or not well Hannah's done that job for you luckily we have a massive warehouse and we can wander around and we can look at all the fabric so we can see what goes together or when we have them up in the studio we batch them so you know how good Hannah is at putting these fabrics together so we've got a beautiful red rose fabric from Anna Maria Horner now these are limited edition everything we've got in these fabrics is what we've got and we cannot make them again so if you want a you know a selection of fabrics that you know go together and complement each other this is the place to get them so you've got Anna Maria Horner Lynette Anderson yeah, I mean, you, do, you don't have to use them all together. But if you want to, they will go together. You've got Anna Maria Horner. Boho Blooms. That's lovely. That's a bit... And we've got a nice different scales of print. Look at the scale of the print of that one. Half a... Is, yeah, half a metre of all of these. And then we've got Poppy Cotton in red as well. Nice mix. £29.66 is what the full price would be if Hannah wasn't discounting them, which she is, 24.99. So 24.99 for two meters of designer fabric. 24.99. And these are all beautiful shades of red. Really nice. So if you think about the makeup bag that Amanda had, yeah, you needed two fat quarters for that. So yeah so you could make um four makeup bags from these couldn't you nice for your charity so if you get the makeup bag pattern if there's any left um yeah if there's any patterns left yeah yeah you can make eight mm. <laughs> Well, no, actually, you need, we could make four because one of these will make a makeup bag. Yeah, so you can make four. Right, blue. Look at these. These are lovely, aren't they? Beautiful colours. So if you love blue, I love the blue. This is single figures of this. Again, this is designer Brunera. Oh, Brunera is a very small, cute flower that comes out in spring. Brunera Blue. Never heard of one of those before. Never heard of Brunera Blue. So, we again, four um, designer fat quarters. Liberty, just saying. Woo! Liberty, and that's lovely. Blue floor with little yellow flowers. Lewis and Irene Blue Stripe. In fact, they look nice just together, don't they? Let me just do that. Look, isn't that lovely? It's a little binding. Beautiful. Then we've got Moda. Eggs. Oh, that's so soft. I like that one. 
beautiful. And then Henry Glass, beautiful little daisies. So they are all your designer makes with little red spots in the middle of the daisies. What a lovely selection. $24.99 for your two metres, four different half metres. Should be $29.46. You're saving nearly a fiver. Actually, nearly minus 3p. Um, the next one is the yellow one. This is lovely, isn't it? Oh, I like this one. So you've got a really vibrant yellow. Alison Glass, really vibrant strike. Now, really, I've never seen this one. What is this? Is this Alison Glass? Look at this. I'm going to have to open that out. Oh, I really like that. Look, it's like a whole, it's like um, a pencil sketch. It's like a little village. You've got bunting between the church and then there's a ship on the sea. Oh, that's lovely. So you get that one as well. I've never seen that one. I really like Alice and Glass fabrics. Those are gorgeous, aren't they? Always very unusual and quirky. Um, then you get Dand. Oh, yes, Forest Floor. What make is that one? Oh, yes, Free Spirit Fabrics. Forest Floor by Rachel Hauer. And that is lovely because it's dandelions and on it you get dandelions and dandelion clocks. And you also get in this bundle from the same collection dandelion clocks in mustard. So what a lovely collection of fabrics. I do like these. I think these, this collection actually would look really nice with the blues as well. So we've got gorgeous yellows and mustard so that's the yellow collection should be 28 pounds and 96 pence but today sunshine walks yellow designer that's a nice name sunshine walks 24.99 for four half meters of designer fabric isn't that gorgeous fantastic right that's that bundle let me go and get another couple yes I might get a green. Let's do a green one. Do you like green? Or maybe you bought the blue one and you're going to use that for your flowers and you want the green one. So again, we've got four. This one, oh, that's nice. What's that one? So it's amazing. I love seeing all these because I haven't seen all of these. Depends what day I'm on. Yeah. So this is Boho Blooms by Free Spirit. That's pretty, isn't it? Lovely shade of green. That wouldn't be really nice if you were doing stems or something like that because it's that kind of shade of green. And because you've got like this cross hatch, it's a real texture in this one. Lovely for a plique. Love it when Hannah and Kat put bundles together. It takes the guesswork out of matching colours or prints from a pick on the website from collecting most out. Absolutely, I totally agree with you because as I said, they've got all the fabrics here. They wander around the warehouse, they choose them all, but they're actually quite good at putting collections of fabric because you need to know what goes together. And these do. This is really good. There's a lot of texture in here. So if you are having to do anything like foliage or stems or hillsides or grass, that would be ideal for that. The absolute classic, classic green gingham check sunday stroll now look at this one i quite like this because it's printed on the diagonal normally when you see a gingham check it's printed horizontally and vertically but this one is across the diagonal which gives it that extra twist i really like that it's nice beautiful very very spring fresh gingham that's a moda um this is another moda this is a lovely oh this is from strawberries and rhubarb it's lovely it's like a kiwi kiwi green with little daisies yeah well i was struggling with my green earlier i couldn't work out what to have called it but it's um kiwi gorgeous right and then the last one oh riley blake riley blake isn't that lovely so you've got a really nice um, scrolling pattern here. But you know when you look at your stash and you think, well, I don't have enough, there's always a colour. I'm really short of orange. Very, very short of orange. I'm okay. Yellow's not great, but orange is very short. 
and it's nice to have them because I use them for all different sorts of things. You know, when you just think you just want a bit of a lining for something or, you know, these the four of them work beautifully together as well. Uh, £24.99 and pence for those four. Right, orange. This is the one I need to get. Oh, I'm very short of orange. I suppose it depends what fabric colours maybe you're drawn to. Maybe that's what you've got more of. I don't know. But, and then you end up a bit like Hannah in a nail varnish collection. She's got pink. But it's nice to mix it up. This is a nice one. So this is um, Riley Blake indigo by heather peterson oh isn't that lovely because you, it's not just orange you've got a very moroccan tile feel with shades of turquoise and lime green and pink lovely um then now i know this one this is jason yenta in the beginning because that's like your sea urchins seaside oh this one's called seaside sunsets try saying that seaside sunset seaside sunsets um, and then we have, this one will be an Alison Glass, classic orange. I love Alison Glass fabrics because they're plain fabrics, but with the texture in them. So they work really well if you're making something that you want to be plain, but that you just want a little bit of interest. But they're so multi-directional. They are actually perfect for FPP. And then, oh, and the last one is, oh, I love this, Riley Blake Seagulls. That's really nice, isn't it? Because... I can't, I don't know what shade of orange that is. More terracotta orange. And then the seagulls are all in black and white. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got the Moroccan tile, the sea urchins, the Alison glass and the sea urchins. So that's £29.96. No, it's not. That's what it was. But not today on Hannah's special, special offer day. £24.99. pence, Bargain. And they're all designer fabrics. There's no solid slipped in there sneakily. They are all proper designer fabrics. Um, I've got another yellow one. I quite like this one because this is sort of a greeny yellow, like a mustardy yellow. Um, I should get better at this. Oh, I can't think what that one is. Moda. Mode uh, Gerard de Nerval. So that's a mustard Dijon. Then we've got a primrose yellow in a little gingham. That's Moda. We've got the sunrise. That's a white background with the sunshine in yellow. That's also Moda, called sunrise. And then we have bees. I quite like that shade. I, I like that shade. I'm going to tell you what it is. This one is, oh yeah, it is Riley Blake. I think it is Tea With Me. Yeah, that's quite impressive, isn't it? When you know what they all are. That one's just, if you look at it really closely, you can see it's a, um, the green end of yellow, but it features tiny little bees. So if you need a little bit more yellow. Now these fabrics, they're all very, very small low volume prints so these are really good to use as backgrounds as borders as sashings they're not direction um i mean that one is directional but you wouldn't really notice because the prints are very small so really good to add to your stash when you just want a bit of extra yellow um purple very very quickly i have two purple bundles i haven't got time to unfold them but we'll do them very quickly so um this one is called Deep Iris Purple. So we've got a very floral all over print. We've got the lovely, um, is that's Anna Maria Horner. This is Free Spirit where you've got the multi colors. You've got a lovely Jason Yent Purple and we've got a Purple Liberty, 24.99, 24.99. And you get a bit of liberty in there as well. That's the purple one. And then one more, only two of those. If you want that one, get it in your basket very quick. One more purple one. This is called Wisteria Garden. We've got the Jason Yenta purple one. Henry Glass with purple. Oh, this is very nice. This has got big butterflies all over it. This one is um, Tamara Kate. I don't know who that is. Ocatex. Oh. 
I haven't got enough for salvage, but isn't that gorgeous? It's a designer one anyway, but look at the beautiful butterflies on it. And then finally, we've got um, an Alison glass, um, like a, a very pale pinky type purple with the outline print on it. Gorgeous. Uh, Rule flock. I love that one. Beautiful fabric. Um, so those are all the fabrics. We have actually got more, but I haven't got time to go through all of them. Um, we're going to put the, put them through now and they will all be reduced to 24.99. Thank you for joining me today. It's been such a lovely day. Coming up tomorrow, who have we got presenting tomorrow? Oh, it's John's here. John's in tomorrow. Yes, so at eight o'clock, he will be in with the discount fabric bundles. Um, oh, he's got two guests tomorrow. How nice. Adele Rowland's in with the Sew Over It Ella blouse at nine o'clock. And um, drum roll, Joe Carter's in at 10 o'clock with the koala toy. Now, I have seen that because she's had it all over her socials. John's been sharing it as well. I mean, Joe Carter is the toy making genius. And oh, I love her. I love making her toys and I love owning her toys because I do have some. I do have the um, the original toy she made when she worked for the Simply Sewing magazine. Gorgeous. The raccoon. And I love her designs. You, that's going to be brilliant. Brilliant kit. So that's on at 10 o'clock. Have a look at her Instagram site if you want to see a picture of it. It's beautiful. Um, 11 o'clock, Adele is back with a Sew Over Ultimate Colotte. Ooh, very nice for your summer wardrobe, like a colotte. And at 12 o'clock, it's all about the overlock and the dressmaking fabrics, which is great. So if you've um, been following Adele at 9 and 11, that will be lovely. Um, loads and loads of jerseys in that hour. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget if it's in your basket, you really need to check out. We are very low on some of the fabric bundles that I've shown you. Um, and congratulations to everyone who's um, managed to get those extra wide backings. Let me know what you're gonna make. Just put it on Facebook. And it's really always nice to see what you're gonna make with yours. I must get some of the Christmas fabric for my tablecloth. Uh, pleasure to join you today. I will be back with you bank holiday Monday, bright and early. Don't forget we've got that one meter stick, which is quite exciting. So. Um, <laughs> Thank you for joining me today and I will see you on Monday.